time on uh, Beneath Dark Wings, you all were reeling from the uh, the defeat really... of Baphomet, the avatar of Baphomet at the very least, uh, at the hands of um, uh, at the hands of Shangoro and you uh, exploded all into the room. He was he was killed by this uh, this sacrifice more or less. Uh, it's it sucked in the power of Gross. the seal mm-hmm. and. Uh, it uh, it allowed, uh, and then uh, obviously Golden Lotus uh, revealed herself to be Rajani, the Eternal Blossom. There was no Eternal Blossom goddess; it was just herself. Uh, Gold Dragon, she took all the glaives, flew off with Hizaki, and the two dwarves, Torvald and Herja Anvilhart, uh, to her lair. Uh, you uh, then realize and learn that uh, although although there were horrible heavy losses and much of Mogurkai was destroyed, uh, the Horn Legion was basically routed and being hunted down mercilessly by the surviving uh, orcs of Mogurkai. Um, you then uh, met up with the Beast Lord, who became the new ruler. You convinced him uh, to take on the helmet of, of Frostfang and become the new war chief. Uh, you try to get him to just be a regular chief. Uh, we're not sure how well that went, uh, but there'll be there'll be d- the discussions about that. You then also figured out how to cleanse him of his um, to cleanse him of his uh, of his horrible corruption, and and and, uh, and you realize that you know that magic was was possibly able to be used as well as the the presence of Baphomet had weakened the hold of Rajani over all of these orcs. And so some of them were able to break their minds free. Uh, you then uh, freed Rivali, who decided to help free the rest, free the minds of all the rest of these orcs. And he stayed behind as uh, you realized that you had, there was a spy in your ranks, and it was Hizaki, who was <laughs> the worst uh, scout of all time. But he was basically just so tailing you all, and you, through some really expert subterfuge, oh, yeah. uh, you decided to uh, just hop on him and catch a ride to her lair. Um, catch a ride. Catch a ride yeah, yeah. to uh, the, the Terrace of uh, Infinite Dawn. Ooh. And uh, you then arrived, it was, you, you rocketed through the mountains, a beautiful, uh, picturesque, almost seems supernaturally beautiful uh, area all around this beautiful valley that this massive terrace is built into the side of the mountain. Uh, and you left Hazaki at the, at the entrance where he's uh, watching guard, and you made your way through uh, Rajani's lair, all of the great collections in her various hordes. Um, uh, are, are all on display, and each time you went into them, uh, you didn't mess with anything. Fortunately for you, uh, <laughs> however, every room you were Give it time, Mike. <laughs> you were uh, you were met. You were all sent to dream prisons, uh, which is uh, an ability that apparently golden dragons can do while in their lair. And uh, each time it was uh, Rajani showing you uh, the the good, the greater good that is achieved. Uh, when people submit, when there is no free will, when there is no freedom, and and showed showed, showed some pretty good um, some pretty good times, but you were able to break out of each one by sowing discord and chaos and raucousness uh, that eventually shattered the dream, the raucousness, <laughs> raucousness, uh, in order to shatter <laughs> each of these dream prisons. Uh, eventually, making your way to the final uh, terrace on the other side, seemingly this magical illusory realm that uh, is where Rajani's original home was in uh, in Yulong, where she was originally first visited by the Six Eyed Hawk. Uh, that, that, that gave her the, 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 the sight of future, the, the, the brilliant future that, that gave her this entire plan that she's been working on for decades. And um, uh, you were able to then purify all of your negative emotions uh, in, these, in, in, the, in the cleansing pool, which then removed the illusory uh, uh, banner, or the, rather the illusory uh, wall and revealed that it was actually still inside and there was a stairwell down into uh, deeper into the mountain and uh, you heard the sounds of, uh, of work, the working of, of, of metal uh, and the glow of a forge of some kind strange strange uh, molten glow and I believe that's it did I miss anything I okay mm. that's it that's oh. it Love Toe's new voice. Hey, it's me, Toa. <laughs> Toa. Hey, everybody, hey, Felix, I hey, got a bad feeling about you, this. You need to Don't stop smoking my so much. <laughs> my name's Felix, and my best friend's Toa. When we entered this relationship, we, we agreed. agreed. 
It's funny. Funny. I got a lot of lips. So I'm gonna. This is gonna be a weird this, session. We, we didn't do a music <laughs> check, so I want to make sure that we're good, producer Mike. He did. He did. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I had dinner. Yeah. If any, if it's not good, chat just start screaming at us. We good? Yeah, loud. Please. So so we can hear you. You all are uh, bloody and bruised from the attacks of the, uh, the the manifestations of the corruption and the taint and the negative emotion. I'm going to keep Every using time. the word. I know. It's an appropriate word for this. Every I'm time. I'm going to keep using it. Taint no mountain high enough. Exactly, no exactly right. Exactly right. And <laughs> you... You're in the picturesque, the, the beauty of the illusory terrace is still um, all around you, but there is now a massive stairwell going down deeper into the earth, and you see a glow far off in the distance. And it seems to be, you see the, 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 the molten glow of, 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 a, of a forge with oranges, but also radiating golds of, of, of morning, and then also the shimmering hints of a, of a deep greenish, maybe jade color that's also uh, refracting in this light that's glowing uh, down deep into this stairwell. And uh, you, you, uh, you feel you feel the weight of the previous battles and your travels here after just you know the previous evening uh, defeating the Avatar of Baphomet. And uh, despite the the tranquility that's all around you in this space, you can hear constantly hammering and banging and clanging from deep in the sounds of the forging of a terrible weapon. What do you all do? So Rajani is not nowhere to be seen. No, so that was a, a another dream right, escape. Right. right. So she's nowhere to be seen, uh, and she had at the end. You could tell that she is was getting a little bit uh, unhinged uh, and was imploring you to to see her way for the greater good. And and you, but uh, if it has to come to battle, then it will. And. Uh, the direction that the sound is coming from, we're able to tell. Yeah, it's that's, down, that's deeper down into deep. the stairwell. It's just a stairwell, stairwell ahead of and us. And it's a massive stairwell, the same size and grandeur with the murals that you've seen throughout this place. Uh, it's not only large enough for an ancient golden dragon to walk down, but also just to fly down. If she, uh, you realize that, you know, you remember that this whole space is massive enough for her to just fly through with her huge wingspan. Toa, uh, I'm sorry to even suggest it, but you, you gotta go first. I'll be right behind you all the way, but we have to go down there and see if hers is down there. How's everyone feeling? I know hers is in danger, but... I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm sweating and I'm, I'm bleeding a little bit. I'm, I'm hurting. But what he's trying to say is that it doesn't matter. We've got no way to go but forward. I, I, I'd say we go... Her chase could be right down those stairs. We gotta go. All right. Then let's go, then. None of you need to rest. There's no time. Well, no, but we could drink potions if we have them. I rummaged through my pack. Check, check what I gave. And I'm going to, um, and if you don't have anything, I will rub in a salve, mm -hmm. a salve on your body. Oh. And so anyone who doesn't have a potion, I'll use some of my Kjol Tom's I'm going to knock back a, hoax, a potion of heroin. I don't have okay. anything. I've got one. <laughs> You're yeah. such a liar. <laughs> so bless. I don't, I don't have a potion. I promise. Okay. Is <clears throat> also attack roll. I can add a d4 to my attack rolls. That's actually pretty good. And saving throws. You also have a So I am going to rub some Kjol Tom's ointment on Caprice, and I'm going to use two applications of it. Well, thank you. I am blessed. I did not <laughs> see this relationship happening. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm just rubbing tanning. it on his yeah. chest. Oh, boy. Ten it's like when you put too much big sunscreen big on. Rub. I'm just rubbing it into his chest while I hold his head. Um, and so then I have to be with it. Thank you. I'll let you color in my uh, tattoos later. That's disgusting. No, it's fine. Everyone needs a shoulder to crayon. Oh, okay. Lol. <laughs> Well played. Um, well played. Can, do you want to? Why don't you roll it? It's forty-eight plus four. Forty-eight plus four. four. D eight, not forty. Fifty-two. Eight. Yeah, four D eight. Got it. All right, so I'm D8. under bless. That's the D eight. Can the minute start know, how, when we well, get how, no? How damn it, Maria? I'm fifty-two out of ninety. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fine. I'll do. I'll do. <clears throat> this is a good idea. I'll see Felix uh, drink his <laughs> potions. <laughs> 
Unfucking believable. Wow. One, one, one. Wow. <laughs> Four ones. <laughs> Wow. That is... What are the odds of that? So uh, That's the bottom of the bell curve right there. There's a whole yep. hump up here of hell. And then there's this. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> what is it? One, a four that's plus eight. four? Oh, th- my nipples. <laughs> Ow. Um. I'm going to... I'm just going to start rubbing vigorously. I'm going to use two more... Why does it smell like Vicks? ...bits of ointment on you. And that <laughs> replenishes one of my ointments. I can't believe, I'm not rolling hot today. This is... I'll pop open a, a potion and, and chug it. Uh, I'll pull out three potions that I have. Um, and I'll oh say... I need... Oh. This is probably the best time to use these! And I will down three <laughs> potions. Uh, I will down a, my potion of fire resistance, oh, wow. my potion of what? heroism, and my potion of growth. Wow, you didn't swallow once. That's information to know. <laughs> Derek, I did the same as you for uh, potion of, of healer healing greater. I got a one, 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 and a three. Remarkable. Yeah, that's so, remarkable. you know, that's just where we're at yeah, right I mean, now. Math, math, you know. So six plus four is ten hit points. But for a wizard, every yeah, hit that, point matters. That's some money. That's like average. This is real D&D, folks. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm um, feeling good. That's okay. And then I am... And I just got to remove these potions from my from my bag. And then I'm going to use two ointments on myself. I also I'm have down a, to three ointments out of the nine your, I have. Is your ointment different than my ointment? I have. You have what? Derek? I've got I've got an ointment of. Jotham's ointment. I don't know if it's Jotham. No, it just says ointment. I got it. Well, I got it when we got the yeah, the, that's, we all got the, the cloud ones. giant stuff. Yeah, that's. What Isn't it two D eight plus two? It's one D four plus one. Oh, as an action. Two D eight plus two. Oh yeah. So should I have rolled 2d8 plus 2 instead of 1d? Yes. Okay. So I'm going to undo this. But I did... 1d4 plus 1 is the... I did 4 on you. You did 4 charges of that? Yes. How much I of this can, ointment do Why you don't have? you do 2? Okay. I had not. <laughs> so oh, why don't you do 2 and I'll just use 2 on It's a 55-gallon drum. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's 8 plus 8 is what I... Is uh, what you're going to do, a giant because I'm doing 2, you're 48 <laughs> plus 4. It's personal you will die your Exactly. Role. 4 it is oil based. plus 4. Yes. Never water based. Never water based. Oh my gosh. Never. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is sticky. Yeah. (laughs) Which ones are the D8s? The D8s look ugly. They're like pyramids. You shouldn't think they're ugly. Oh no, I guess the fours are like pyramids. The eights are like double pyramids. Eleven. Eleven this time. Sometimes I say dumb. Four D eights. Four D eight. I got one 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 four. Hi, you suck. You're really bad at this game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kuma says it's a joke of alchemy, but ointment instead of mayo. <laughs> I like that. I love that. I'm a big fan. Oh, I am not rolling As well. you all are sitting around drinking potions, you feel that there is uh, there's a peace peacefulness in this air, and after you feel like you've purified yourself of negative emotions, you get the sense if you stayed for a little bit longer, you wouldn't need the full hours for a so short you did two, I did two, that means yes, I still have five left. Well, I mean, in that case, Mike, if you're gonna make it easy. Yeah, if we're gonna do a short rest, let's just do it. Oh. Um, then I'm just gonna I, I will some... add Song of Rest, uh, which is just Well, then a... I take all of my ointments back. Okay. Right, because we can just use a fuckload of, uh, Get uh, healing dice. Hit, hold, hit dice. Hold on to that because I only have four eight uh, hit dice right now. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I've been. Okay. We haven't had very many long right, rests right, since I've been taking this. I got a million hit dice. I was nearly I'm killed. My, last then fuck that. Can I take my potion back? Yeah, sure. That's fine. I mean, because like you guys need a role play that you're gonna take. You're gonna need to take probably about twenty minutes <laughs> to rest. <laughs> I'm gonna hack that, my potion like, back in the bottle. That seems insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good. It's still good. It's still good. Yeah. We don't know that. We don't know if we have that kind of time. I, I agree. Feel like That's you wouldn't saying. take an hour. I agree. But. Fuck that. No, I changed nothing. I'm not using uh. no, no short diet, no short rest. I no feel this is like we gotta get down there. You really got me That's by the short dice right now. Thank you. All right. That's why I was using. This party would fall apart without us. I exactly right. We do not take that long. We no, are. We don't. We are okay. We're we're hostile. I'm okay. removing my ointment. 
Yet again. In fact, I'm, I'm like double fisting Potion of Heroism and Greater Healing as I run down the corridor. To do You're it. right, Felix. We should go. Exactly. Oh, you said I should go first. Why are you holding down? Fuck that shit. Catch up. Oh, and so as I drink the Potion of Growth, you see me literally double in size. So oh, I'm now like why? I'm now like 15 feet tall. Holy uh, shit! My weapon grows as well. Everything grows as well. Easy, Kelsey. Uh, everything grows. <laughs> His fingers get very beefy and sausagey, almost like cocaine. And he loses two of them. I'm also gonna drink my potion of heroism. You yeah. got any rings on? They weirdly don't grow, and your fingers just pop off disgustingly, <laughs> like sausage casings. Yeah. Yikes. Um, okay. This is real D and D, folks. We're, we're in for a long ten hours, baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Leroy and Felix, here I come. That's the low moisture monster. Here I <laughs> come. You see Toa drink the potion. You, you just hear the ground rumbling as his his muscles start just uh, growing and, and almost mm. like wanting to burst out of his flesh as he grows disgustingly. Kaneda! <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not that. Uh, who's that uh, in the old the old cartoons like from the. The seventies, he was growing, right and he would no. just like he would just grow in like an instant flash. Something. Oh, he, he like flashes Kanechi white for right? something. Yeah, 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 something like that. Uh, we did have a question, not to interrupt. Said, "What did the DM say about staying around a little longer?" They were. Uh, Mike was saying that if we decided to take another thirty minutes ish, we could take a short rest. But we have decided that we don't yeah. have that kind of time. We need exactly. to save our friend who is potentially in in very deep shit. I'd be real pissed if Iris were captured and y'all were just sitting Wait. around like, let's take an hour. Yeah, let me just <laughs> pour myself a potion. Tea yeah, but you wouldn't like, be you. In yeah. this situation, her just just like, oh, everything's oh, fine. Jesus. I'm not thinking right. about this right now. Yeah. All right, okay. fuck you. We, are we good? We're charging yeah. the fucking fray. Okay. okay. With him leading and I'm right behind so him. So you, you behind uh, Toa are, Giant Toa. Are, are massive Toas. He's so much taller than you, and he's only wearing a grass skirt. And you get a good <laughs> you get a good look up there as you're on Oh, no. <laughs> Weirdly enough, this is not the weirdest thing that magic has ever done in my life. <laughs> it's like dodging a speedball wall. <laughs> 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 as uh, as you all charge down the stairs, and mature these are, um, despite this being made for a dragon, uh, this layer being made for a dragon, these are stairs that can uh, are humanoid sized. Uh, so you're able to make your way down, and it's just absolutely beautiful as as it doesn't get darker, um, and the light at the edge, uh, the ed bottom of the staircase gets brighter and brighter as you get closer, and you realize now that it's coming from two separate uh, angles. There's actually a split in the stairwell, and the same light is radiating from both sides, and uh, you can basically veer off left or right, and the wall ahead of you, you see that uh, there's this beautiful mural, and you see that a uh, massive gold dragon, uh, obviously Rajani, surrounded by hundreds of depictions of these jade statues they look like, um, just row after row after row above her, um, all with tendrils down from their, their chins. Is is this actually Rajani or a statue? The, this is the mural at the, the head. Mural. So there's, okay. there's basically a, a dead end uh, or dead ahead of you. But then there's two hallways that go down, either left or right. And this is a meaningful distinction that you'll need to decide as uh, Toa, I guess. Are you going left or right? Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, which way should we go? And I'm going like, to look down both sides and like, try to listen in and see what, what are the differences. Make a perception check on, please. I would like to look at the mural and see if the mural has any indication as to left or right. You look up, and I'll say it's very easy to, to tell. It is perfectly uniform and perfectly mm -hmm. symmetrical. Tell her I have something that I must admit to you. Y yes? I do not know the difference between my right and my left. Um, well, that, this way is left. Someone and I point once down. told me that you could put your hands up, and whichever one created an L was left, but they're both technically L's. Well, one would be a backwards L, and that's but not really But it's still an, an L. L. Well, it's just a backwards L. Think of the one that's not backwards. That way's left, and I point down that way. Your, your L or my L? Your L. Because the L to me is not the L to you. You're right. So which one is left? Felix, which one is left? Do Why are you guys doing left? this bit? Her just gonna <laughs> die. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I rolled a natural twenty plus six a twenty-six. <laughs> um, I will say that you listen down. Uh, to each one and you look and the glow is radiating it's the exact same glow 
and the sound you now hear the clanging, the uh, the, the the clanging uh, of, of 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 hammer on 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 metal and the the working of metal in a forge, and you you hear that it sounds like to be just echoing up the chambers. And you actually look down and you see that it goes down uh, for probably another 30 feet and then turns once again deeper into the mountain. So you don't see which where it goes. It looks like it might be going to the same place. However, you do hear, I think with a natural 20, which is 20 what? With 26 total. 26 total. Ooh. I'd say that you, he- you, that you get the sense as you hear the, 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 you hear the, uh, deep uh, breathing that almost sounds uh, uh, feline-like or, or dog-like of this, but it's booming of a dragon as it's getting as it's this heavy, uh, 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 intense breathing, as if as if as if Rajani is down there uh, uh, and is is as unhinged in the dream as you saw, and you Yikes. also hear. With, within that as well, the sounds of, of grunting and, and, and hard work of two of two voices, and you actually can can pit one side versus the other, and you hear um, on the right side, uh, you hear sounds almost feminine. You recognize Herja, and on the left side, you recognize Torval. So left is Herja, right is oh, Torval. Oh boy, I think right? right is right is Herja, left is Torval. Sorry. So right is Herja. I think who's just down this hallway? We should go this way. And I'll just start going down the right. I'm gonna follow. Obviously, I'm right behind. So you guys are going left. No, we're, we're going, going right. right. You're going, going, going away right. from Torvald. Yes, and yes. towards Herja. So you're going right. Um, so you're going right towards Herja. As you make your way uh, down, as you find as the the stairs turn, and you now see that that whatever is at the bottom of this next case staircase, this is where the chamber is leading, and you all rock it down, uh, running as fast as you can. And as you enter the chamber before you, you're almost blinded by the by the lights that is, is is emanating from this this chamber, and through the lights you see the massive dark silhouette of 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 no none other than Rajani, the largest living creature that any of you have seen, this massive dragon looming over you. However, this chamber very adequately uh, can can contain a beast of this size as you look up to a a massive uh, somewhat a rounded chamber that goes up uh, dozens, maybe even hundreds of feet. Into the into the mountains, as it's all carved out of this stone beautifully, elegantly, as is the rest of her lair, and you see that that every uh, every several feet there are outcroppings, and and uh, standing on each outcropping is a singular jade statue. Up the walls? All the way up the walls. And going around? the entire way and all the way around. Rows and rows and rows of jade statues. And as you look around, as the, the color, your eyes are adjusting to the, 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 the light of the color, you realize that the, the jade in this is the refracting of the light of a massive uh, circular uh, forge at the center of this room. And uh, surrounding it is a dome of radiating sun-like energy and to refracting and through all of these jade statues. God, are the jade statues almost like terracotta army-esque? They are, they are all motionless and they all have, uh, they're holding weapons, some are holding tools. And you all see that, that as you just take the moment to look up and around, you see that these statues are of humanoids. Okay. And it's, it, you see orcs, you see humans, you see oh, dwarves, shit. you see elves, and they all have tendrils from their, their, their chins going down. As you just see hundreds, if not thousands, of these statues going up all the way around. As you get the sense where you, some are craftsmen, some are, some seem to be sagely, and you think that maybe these are the people that built this place. As they are, as this this massive final chamber of Rajani's lair um, uh, uh, is before you, and you see that there's a pristine pool of water that runs through this space with two bridges to the center. And you finally uh, see, as Rajani looms over, she's not facing towards you. 
She's looking over with uh, her her wings curled behind her back, her tendrils hanging low down from her face. She's looking over the the and where the sound of the clanging and banging of, of hammer and chisel and uh, tongs on on metal is, and you see the from the dome of this from the dome of this radiating protective sunlight. It's you you see within two shapes, two smaller dwarven shapes, working on a massive glaive at the center, as. As you see, Persia and Torvald, one on either side, as the as as the as you see Heart Cleaver on one side, and you see the Glaive of the Seven Law uh, Laws on the other, and at the center on either side, both Persia and Torvald are working together to to rot this thing into a single weapon, and you see that shimmering within this is that silvery power of the seal, as if it's pulsing. Uh, Attempting to spread from the Glaive of the Seven Laws into Heart Cleaver to turn into this massive weapon that Rajani wants to use. Is there, does there appear to be any other entrance to this room than the one that we came into? I will say no. Why don't you remove the map so it can give you a better idea? <laughs> all of it? All of it. Get rid of all of it. Something's up. Something's up. Yeah. Hit the button. Something's up. Oh, the button. Let's just do I one. never get in the button. So please put. Yeah, I can move if you need me yeah, to. Like, let's, let's I'm gonna just, actually use the restroom real quick, so yeah. you can get on in here. If you Please put Persia here. Persia here. Yep. And please put Torvald yeah. here. Oh yeah, Rodak. Which is Torvald yeah. here? Yep. There. So. Damn. I'm dwarfing around. To give you a sense of this chamber. It's massive. So, so presumably these are the two stairs, right, Mike? Venus. So we came down from this side, so we'd be yep. over here. And then these are all the statues. Yeah, and then you go up. Almost. And this this is like that that pool or whatever. Yeah, and that's these are the bridges. Pool and those are the bridges. Yep. Yeah. I found the penis. I think we've all found the penis. There's a penis. Oh. There's, There's always, always a, a penis. penis. Where's the penis? If you do, if you don't know, you don't know. If you don't know, now you know. It. You want to push our gang? Yeah. Over. So we're coming down here. I'd be in the lead. Yeah, I'm right behind you. <clears throat> and as you look uh, at at Persia and Torvald, uh, it's difficult to see them. You can see their silhouettes, you can see their shapes, but you can see in their in their silhouettes through that radiating protective dome that their tendrils are hanging long. They are fully under control, so submitting the... to Rajani. Those are the statues. Yeah, okay. those are the statues. Yep. Uh, submitting to Rajani, working desperately and feverishly to craft this weapon. And you see now, as she looks over, she's breathing heavily. You get this, you understand why. As there is golden tendrils of energy and light and magic uh, all tethering from her tendrils down into this golden dome, oh, as if God. she's transferring her power, her essence, her oh, anima, no. her life force into this dome in order to uh, not just uh, help forge this weapon, but also completely shield it from any outside interference. And and uh, you you and, and and as you enter, she she pauses and. She pauses and turns her head slightly, and uh, you can see that that her eyes are definitely more sunken in, as uh, as there is a bit of it's not that same level of grandeur that you had seen uh, fly out of that 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 seal chamber. As she says, "Do you now see the beautiful future that I do?" No, we don't. You need to stop this! We see a future, but it's not beautiful! It's not It's not what you think! I am doing this for the greater good. You should not try to stop this. I have shown you the future that can be achieved. A future of the greater good, a future of order. I have shown you what I have seen, you mortals do not have the power that my kind does. I can see 
the future. You cannot trust in the eternal blossom. We won't. It's horseshit. What you believe in is horseshit. It's for the greater good. There's still time to go back on this. Well, we're not going to let you take our friends. We don't have to do this. And uh, and she she then starts to turn slowly, and she moves her massive body, and her, her wings start to unfurl a little bit. And wherever she goes, you see that these tendrils of energy from her own fleshy tendrils are always uh, connecting to this dome. As she uh, turns to you and, and leans down, her massive long neck snaking like a serpent. As, uh, <clears throat> as she says, they are not your friends anymore. They are my subjects. Oh, they are believers in the greater good. Nah, I so. can give- That is not true. They are our friends, more particularly my friends, and nobody takes my friends. I will make one last offer. In a world of the greater good, a world of order, I will give you your wildest dreams. All those who submit to me will also submit to you. Wealth, power, comfort. It will all be yours. You will have everything you ever wanted and more. Because when people submit, all that is left to be taken is power. As long as you kneel and swear yourself to harmony and the greater good. Absolutely no deal. There's only one thing you could have offered me and it wouldn't even be the real thing. I'll lean down and I'll get down onto one knee and I will tie my shoe and then stand up and go. I put a hand on Caprice's shoulder after he does that. And she, uh, she looks at all of you and says, If it is either my death or your deaths, I suppose it must come to death all for the greater good. And she rears back her head and takes in a breath as her wings unfurl. I need everyone to roll for initiative. Let's go! <laughs> Do you want to? You can use this inside the mouse pad. No, I, I don't need it. I, I, I'm fine. Roll. I like to use it because you usually use it together. Okay. But I'm okay. good. I'm good. Let's not bet it up. Oh, right. let's go! Is it a uh, screaming? Screaming? No, it's 19. Also 19. Close, but yours, is, your, your dex is way higher than mine, oh, so you're still gonna go first. <laughs> I got a 22 though. That's I pretty good for a wizard. You. That is pretty good. I found a die in my team. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! You found a die? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> when I was dumping out Sylvie's dice to get Iris's, yeah. I must have accidentally <laughs> dropped a d20 in my You're head. gonna have to check your poop for the next couple days. <laughs> <laughs> 20 to 25. Oh, a d20! 22. 22? 20. 22. 25. Yo, I beat Lufty, let's go! I got a 20. Caprice got 25? Yeah. Yo, we all rolled like my maniacs. first good roll of the night. This is indicative of how well this will go for yeah. everyone. I also got a 20. <laughs> who, who goes first? Uh, it's Capri. Oh, sorry. 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 If you don't consume your die, are you even really uh, quiet? Okay. Real D&D players eat their dice. I guess. <laughs> and I guess Toa. Toa, what'd you get? I got a 13. Or no, 14. Sorry. Part of that. So, okay. Just don't make it a D4. <laughs> a D20 would go down smooth. D4, oh, well, D4 luckily, well, luckily, it was just one of the little <laughs> tiny D20s, so it would have been. I, luckily, it's easier to consume, yeah! You were very calm about that. If I saw something foreign floating in my drink, I would have spazzed. Like that time you found something weird in your pillow. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm so upset. I, I, I would agree with you, though. If you're looking in your drink and you're just like, what the hell is. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. I thought there was a lizard in my pillow, but it was just a, a sausage. 
<laughs> Pillow sausage just happened. Uh, time where, time. Oh. <laughs> freaked out. She did freak out. It was awesome. Where is I my layer? I pretty good actually. though. I swiped it out of the pillow, Sorry, guys, like lunged out of bed, and, and like, like flew across across the the room in the darkness. Like... Well, Mike does that when we thank people. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So uh, uh, I'll say thank you, Andy, no. for gifting seven. Was it seven that guy, subs? That guy's seven. an asshole. Six, seven subs. Six, seven. He's an acceptable Andy. Seven subs. Thank you, the great Andy. I'll let you. Matt Foreman has resubscribed for twelve months. That's a whole year. A whole year. Matt, it's going to see you, buddy. Twelve months. Oh. Speaking of, I don't know if you're getting, if you guys are going to be at Gen Con, but we are. So if you are, let us know. Yeah. I'd, I'd love to see you again uh, before, you know, back some plug. No pressure, obviously, as I missed last Gen Con, but we'll, we'll talk about it. Yeah. And then Asian Gimli, boom, resubscribe for two months. Hey, we're glad, to, we're glad to have you. We're glad to have you. Uh, if, if, for anybody who doesn't know, this is also a good time to plug the Discord. Yes. Asian Gimli posts. Absolutely absurd food pictures in our cooking with Kremi channel. Yeah, it so actually good. hurts. I'm oh, jealous. no, it hurts so good. It hurts so good. It hurts so good. So if you need a reason to join our Discord, okay. the cooking with Kremi channel is absolutely fantastic <laughs> for sharing homemade or really any food of any kind. It's and we have and like Gimli yogurt is... parfaits oh, and it's carrot bacon. Yeah. And no, 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 nothing gross. Really delicious food. Really delicious food. <laughs> okay. Nothing gross. So. As you, as she is uh, lumbering, uh, lumbering, and she can see her taking in a breath, and uh, there are wisps of of that that golden mist that you had seen and flown through, uh, as it starts to uh, almost pool and well all around her face as she looks at you. Uh, uh, there's there's a sense of um, of 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 grim determination and 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 weariness. To her, mm-hmm. as uh, she does that caprice. What do you? Oh, and and as you enter, you see that the the, the energy at this forge at the center of the of this chamber is is radiating and crackling with that uh, insane light on either side of this on uh, either side of the glaive as and each side of the room is almost completely split down the middle one side is radiating with the the uh, the half of the glaive that is heart cleaver and the other with the the, the glaive of the seven laws and that would be presumably this line here yes. right okay Caprice, what do you do? Um, just to get a sense, how far of a drop into the water is is it? Uh, that is ten feet down. And does it look welcoming or and water like, or is it you like don't evil, know. evil? You eels? know that like there was a magical uh, effect to the water that you went in. You don't know what kind it of looks like water. Yeah. And uh, this pedestal area here, does that look like there's anything significant? No, like just, looks, a, just a, you, it's, it's there's ornamental. no uncharted lever that all of a sudden the light comes. Out. Okay, no, that's it's, fine. It's, it's <laughs> an uh, uh, I'll uh, I'll turn everyone. Uh, I, I'm with you guys. Let's let, let's fucking go. Let's save Herja. Oh, um, I, I don't have a, a, a song. Uh, uh, R- 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 Johnny, did you change your name from Vagini? <laughs> and I'll cast uh, I'll cast uh, Circle of Power. Uh, <laughs> oh not? shit! What the hell? What does it do? Uh, it's a fifth level spell. Everyone within thirty feet of me moving forward has advantage on saving throws against spells and magical effects. Oh, shit. Additionally, if you succeed on a saving throw that would give you half damage on a success, you just take no damage. Rogue style. Do so we have to be in a circle? Or you have to be yeah, within 30, my 30 feet, feet of me. Of oh, and it, it oh, stays around you. Yes, and, it's all, and it moves with me. Got it. So uh, uh, you all suddenly feel uh, uh, elated. Uh, the, 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 the humor, the capriciousness of the situation <gasps> being what it is. Uh, you are. You feel you have an ally, and it is it's go time. So uh, that is the. Uh, oh, I'll use my bonus action, and I'll just be like. Um, uh, we got this, Felix. So I'll give you inspiration. Oh shit! Uh, what 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 level? Uh, it's a D10. D10. Oh D10. fuck. Okay, this is a D10. So I've got this. I've got my blessed spell. Okay. All right. Cool. That's my, my turn. Uh, it will be. As, oh fuck. Uh, as oh yeah. <laughs> she uh, inhales and uses all three of her legendary actions oh, come on. to do a. A, a massive cone, a breath of this a uh, dense, foggish, a uh, golden mist that blasts all of you in a ninety-foot cone. Holy I need shit. everyone to make a strength saving throw for me, please. Wow, that's strength not good. At advantage yeah. because of circle of power. And then I also oh, get the magic, spell. or is it just? Is it magic? It is a magical effect. It is not a spell. How does that? It says spells or magical effects. Yeah. Okay. So we effect. get advantage on this bad boy. I also get bless. That is unfortunate. Mm-hmm. Uh, may I use a twist? How many yes, do we have? You may. Yes, we have. Use we have a good amount. You probably need a lot of them. Take a thing out. 
You said a strength saving throw. Thank you. Yep. Wow, that is still fucked. Uh, I'm using inspiration as well. Yeah, yeah. I need to add that to ten. I need it. That's pretty good. Okay. I think that's gonna that's gonna do it. Uh, My strength is my weakest suit. Okay. What are we up? Ten. 10? 22. 22? 23. 23? 25. 25? You have advantage on this because oh, it's not my cast. 26. 19. 19. Uh, Caprice, you, uh, all of you, uh, we got this feeling. <laughs> yep. uh, all of you are coughing, but you managed to resist the weakening effect of this magical breath. As uh, Caprice, you are unable to. Uh, being the one to taunt and start off and uh, and use your uh, uh, to, to taunt her as you cough and you sputter and you now have disadvantage on all strength saving throws and and checks all strength based attacks. That's okay. And it's complete. Well, anything that has to do with strength, you have disadvantage. You cannot fail. <laughs> I, I couldn't lift. You I, cannot fail. I couldn't lift a paper uh, a piece of you paper in the so first place. And so. you feel what was your total roll, Caprice? Ten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we don't have you it. see yeah, Caprice's eyes sink in. As uh, you see, Caprice's eyes sink in okay. as it, and uh, he looks very weak. Uh, and it almost is a similar effect to what's happening to Rajani. Um, okay, Felix, now it's your turn. Uh, as this happens, I'm I'm kind of like swiping and trying to like clear the air, and I look over my shoulder and I say, uh, st- "Stay with Caprice. I watch out for the fire. Magic's not going to be great." And I move thirty feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, as I'm clapping my hands and I'm like, Rashani, over here! And then I plant my feet and at my boots, a, a flames begin to lick up around Ooh. my boots. And the flames come up, like up it. my legs, around all of me. It looks as if I'm catching on fire. My mm. blue coat is now a brilliant orange and red as at a sixth level, I cast the spell Investiture of Flame. Ooh. What? And what that is going to do is, it's concentration, uh, flames race across my body, shedding bright light for a 30 foot radius, blah, blah, blah. I'm immune to fire damage and have resistance to cold damage. Any creature that moves within five feet of you takes damage and I can use my action to create fire. But the idea is that I can't be breath attacked by her, hopefully. That's her. And so I'm trying to get her attention as I am this flaming, my, my cloak is on fire, I'm on fire, it looks like I'm on fire, and I'm trying to get her attention as I cast the spell. Make a ooh, uh, ooh. persuasion or intimidation. Let's do persuasion. Okay. It's not good either way. Uh, we'll give it a shot. Eh, I got an 11. An 11. Okay. So, um, as she turns her head to you, she, uh, she, uh, stomps forward in your direction. And she, uh, and her tendrils are hanging low as she looks like, you, your power of flame will not save you. You will all be sacrificed for the greater good. As she moves around in your direction as you wanted, uh, could you move, uh, like that? Uh, no, towards you. Oh, you're okay. Right. Oh shit. All right. Like within. And yeah, go ahead, Mike. You do it. You're, you're the god of this, this world. Direction. All right. And I'll face once her. again, she breathes in, and you see flames start to lick around, and it's this combination of this brilliant golden flame. And she uh, leans down and opens her massive jaws, and a massive cone of flame bathes all of you. And everyone makes a dexterity saving throw. Dex, you say? This one's not an advantage. Well, no, yeah, as long as you're near Caprice, and he he hasn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is this magical? Yep. Okay. Ooh, yeah, better. I got a nine. That's not gonna pass, but I should be okay. Hopefully, we'll see. I'm also barbarian. This was my whole, the DC. This we was my whole plan. That? Is what? that like making an attack on us? Okay, I'm gonna pass. No, no, okay. no, no. It's, yeah, it's not an attack roll. It's a saving roll. Pass. I got a twenty-two. Okay. Twenty-three. I I got a nine, but if it's if it's flame, then I'm immune. Yep, that's fine. All right. Uh, Twenty-six. Okay. So if you if you, you're gonna take half of this if you succeeded, I should have been rolling this whole time. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you succeeded, you take nothing if, as long as you're within thirty feet of me. Okay. Oh really? Yeah. What the fuck? Uh-huh. Wait, so me, I take nothing. Yeah. Yeah. If you, you, you everybody gets evasion basically, the rogue feet evasion. Uh, yeah. Amazing. I have an aura of evasion. How many guys actually might survive this fight? <laughs> as long as it's uh, it might be concentration. Ten minutes concentration. Oh. So as long as he doesn't get you know, slapped uh, upside the head, we'll be all right. Uh, ten. 
uh, 17, uh, uh, 26, uh, 26, 31, 37, uh, 37, uh, 40, 45, uh, 45, 49, uh, 55, uh, 62, 63 points of fire damage if you failed, uh, half of that if you succeeded and or not. And is taking damage? No one. Oh. No one. She also moved within five feet of me, so she's gonna take 1d10 fire damage. <laughs> <laughs> the... Yeah! Nine! Nine is lifts <laughs> up the uh as she stands over you, she does not seem to even care yeah, as the nine, flame nine bursts nine against <laughs> her her, uh, her shining gold scale. There's just a lot of fire seems, going everywhere. Yeah, this fire is is burst out. She seems to be immune to, fu- to fire. Shit. Just like you are now. <laughs> uh, with that, huh. it is Lufty's turn. Good to know. Um so I'm going to I'm gonna spend a key. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna spend a key point to. Oh, this dash. is bad, gang. This is real bad. Damn, this is really bad. You're going for the haunch, eh? I'm going for the haunches. I'm gonna smack it right in the booty. Mike loves uh, designing boss fights that fuck my character. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what was it that fucked you with the Orpheus fight? I am going fight? to, uh... I don't remember. There were so many times There was one for Alphonse where I was in fear the whole time. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you fear. can't, as a rogue, you can't, uh, you can't gain advantage of the fear. You're always right. disadvantaged. So I'm gonna make, um, a series of, of jabs with my spoon, um, doing, like, two jabs up and spending another key point to make, um, a you know, a second series okay. worth of, like, swipes with this spoon yep. hand, head. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll the first one. Separate. Not bad. What's that? Six. 23. Does that hit? 20 hits, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna add an extra D8 for that damage, and then I'll roll the other ones. Natural 20. Nice! Ooh. Here we go! <laughs> yeah. I would uh, like to negate that. Yeah. <laughs> you better not. 15? 15? That, that never that gets not hit. Okay. Okay. Never it's gets so fucking funny. Uh, all right. Um, so that's going to be... That's the first hit. 1d8. Um, oh, that's okay. What do I do here? So I think it's just four. Is that concentration when you cast a breeze? It is. You feel good. Damage. Okay. And I will take the disengage action. Because of my flurry of blows. Larger that. Uh, use the rest of my speed, which should be about two. Okay. Um, as you do that, you. she is going to. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing now? Well, you're you're big boy, aren't you? Shouldn't you be in fourth birth? Oh, I should be. <gasps> um, here. Oh, big boy. That, that's actually the purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. She, uh, she, she's going to turn and look and see that as the flame. <laughs> Don't the, turn. The golden, no, no. the golden flame that's washed over all of you. You are all completely pristine. The, the swirling magic uh, pulsing from uh, Caprice's violin is is protecting you and it's it's, it's emanating as he's playing uh, feverishly and she then turns her eyes to Caprice and says your tricks will not save you please submit and kneel and stop that noise, and uh, she is going to cast uh, charm. Uh, yeah, counter, charm spell, counter spell to fifth level. I'm using my reaction. Okay, uh, as she's going to cast that on Caprice, uh, you feel that magic 
it's washing over your mind that same uh, persuasive that same persuasiveness, and you get the sense that although she does not no longer has the power of the rod of law, she still has this incredible uh, uh, the power of law and order. Um, and uh, uh, Felix, you uh, reach out your hand; it glows silver, and suddenly it, it dispels the magic, and two of her legendary actions are gone. Thanks, Felix. Woo! Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Fifth level. Yeah. Nice. Roger that. That's a good level. <laughs> okay, with that, uh, that's uh, her legendary action. Uh, with that is, um, with, uh, Iris turn. I'm going all oh, in. Investiture of Flame is, uh, concentration, so I gotta, I gotta make up some ground somewhere else. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna move, move around Toa. No, I'm saying I can't, like, haste him. I can't hold monster because I'm using my concentration to be around behind fire him. To not die. Oh, there. Right? Can it, is, so there's water I'm here. Yes. Yeah, she can she can just yeah. move like one, two, yeah. that's like three, four, five. I have five. feelings, Grace, I yeah. can get there. Yeah. So just, okay. I want to be on the opposite side of Tella. Yeah. Is that good? No, like on the opposite side of Tella. Like, so where, where Caprice is? Oh, just here. Just put me diagonal. Oh, good. Yes, I want to be right there. Um, and then I'm going to take my staff, <clears throat> and I action. am going to Sorry. slowly place it onto the ground and start to dig it in. And as it spins, you're gonna see sand whirl up around me. And as I open my eyes, they're going to glow golden as they begin to chant in a language none of you understand. And as I call out, Anka Hotep, you have been called to assist me. A scarab, a giant scarab is going to wrench itself from the earth and charge directly towards her. Let's go! Oh, and I, we got I a giant, giant scarab. scarab from my staff. Oh fuck! Let's go. We, we must, need a we, we need must a have a giant scarab. Is it, uh, it, a new is, is, is like my make favorite. Make it that dragon. Thing. That's exactly what I was thinking. That's That's the dragon. I wanted to name it a new Barak, but I'm like, ah, it's too. I'm trying to call it Manga Hotep because it came from my staff. We got the dragon up here. What size? It's a giant. It's giant. Giant. It's probably large. How about this large muffin? Let me check. I was like, it's this muffin giant. looks like a boo. Well, no, it's, it's, what's the size? Yeah, size, <laughs> size. <laughs> I, think, I think giant is the description. There's probably no description. It just keeps saying giant. There's probably no... What did you intend for it to be, Mike? Giant versions of their natural forms. Oh, so it's a giant insect. Yeah. Well, so can you look up giant insects for... Uh... Yeah, Google it. Yeah. Rich is on, producer Rick's on it. Giant so like insect. Or like like a scorpion large. or whatever. We're fat block. I'm really excited, but I have to pee, but I'm also wearing a onesie. Don't pee quick. <laughs> what? Go pee. Just go pee. Oh. It's a whole thing when it's a onesie. Uh, it's it's a it's a is it a giant centipede, giant spider, giant wasp, giant scorpion. Uh, giant all... spider is uh, is a large creature, so we're gonna say it's large. Yeah, large is reasonable. They're, They're all large. They're all yep. large. So it's large. Large is reasonable. So we'll say this little shadowy dragon guy. Yeah. Okay. Him. And it's gonna charge at the. And he goes on my turn. He, he erupts out of the sand, and you see this massive uh, jewel-shelled scarab as he uh, skitters uh, forward Holy and, shit. Uh, out of the sand, uh, as uh, Rajani certainly wasn't expecting that. And he goes on my turn, so he's going to make both of his attacks okay. on her. Um, and he is going to do... He's going to... No, he's not going to try and do that. He's just going to do both of his mandible attacks. I love that. But with his tags. I, I think I would prefer a giant scarab to a small 24 scarab. 24 and 19. You've seen the 24, mummy. Uh, like... 24 hits. 19 does not. <clears throat> Doing eight points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, and she is here. Um, and it needs to make a uh, uh, strength save. Uh, natural twenty plus. Yeah, it's, okay. it, yeah, yeah. Uh, the uh, the scarab uh, goes in with its its mandibles and slashes into it, and you actually see as it tears through the scales and and, and makes a, a deep gash as uh, as it, it does the damage. Anything else, uh, Iris? Before no, uh, later that's all action. I can do. Um, I turn, I okay, and as uh, as that happens, she uh, uh, looks around and she says. <laughs> Arise, arise, my endless servants! No. And uh, no, her, no, she uh, no, no, lets no. out a deep, uh, deep wrecked. roar <laughs> as it burst <laughs> out, did, and you I'll... see two, 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 six yeah, of there? these, <laughs> six of these jade statues are glowing 
with with energy as the same types of tendrils of, of energy from her uh, tendrils then uh, shoot into them and they will all turn towards you and jump off their pedestals and begin to march towards you as they they glow they have seem to have some sort of connection to her some magical uh, uh, pulsing energy connection to her. and we are going to just have all six yeah just go ahead salt bathe them all over the place they're One. big. No. Two. Uh-uh. Holy fuck! They're really oh, those are from Hearthstone. Those are actual they are from Hearthstone. Yeah. Those are the jade statues yeah. from Hearthstone. That's great, yeah. man. I love yeah. the reference. So here. that deck was fun to play, man. And uh, we're gonna have one go here. Yeah, I figures. Uh, <laughs> we're going to. Uh, we're gonna get Black of Priest because it's supposed to be medium. So is number gonna... four supposed to be near Lufty? So number four I just be perfect so two, so three on either side sort of just gonna fuck you <laughs> no it's a it's a good it's a good thing as they pulse Felix you feel as if there this magic there is this magical glow that is uh, that's washing that's bursting out of them and it feels to have some sort of magic suppressing effect suppressing effect. I, no I know I don't uh, you feel that, and, and, and actually, all of you feel that. All of you who are, I guess, uh, Iris and uh, and and uh, Caprice as well. You all feel that. And they're all going to take their arms and attempt to uh, grapple uh, you. Yeah, good fucking luck. And so we're gonna yeah, get. Uh, oh, then that motherfucker's taking some fire damage. Yes, he is. Uh, yeah. So we did. Okay. So as soon as he reaches forward to grapple you, suddenly it bursts and he uh, the, the flame erupts out of you, and he uh, is dead. Uh, so obviously save these. We're gonna get a two. A, we're gonna get one grapple <laughs> on, on Lufty. Okay, we can just a grapple. Uh, that's gonna be a twelve to hit. That's gonna mess. Yeah. The other one's gonna hit. That is going to be an eighteen. Misses. No. Okay. Wow. To you quick. dodge out of the way. <laughs> we're gonna get on Iris here. Too slow, that is going boys. to be a, a nineteen to hit. Okay. It smashes into. You. You're going to take a bit of 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 damage here. A bludgeoning. A bludgeoning damage. You're gonna take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage, and you are now grappled. And we are going to uh, one's gonna get eighteen. Yeah, uh, that is going to be eight, eight points. Eight points of bludgeoning damage from this side. And then uh, we have a 20, 22 to hit you, Toa. Uh, twenty-two does hit. Wow. Okay, and that's gonna be uh, fourteen points of bludgeoning damage, and you are now grappled. And then Caprice. It's fine. You can skip me. Uh, that's gonna be only ten to hit. Oh, that missed. got out of the way. Okay, that's their turn. Her turn. <laughs> oh, uh, and with that, it is that actually was not supposed to. Uh, sorry, Toe, you're up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Toe, you're up. I will see uh, all of these guys around me, but then seeing Rajani sort of fucking people up. I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Caprice. I'm sorry, Iris. I think you can handle this. And I'm going to run oh, up Jesus. here. Uh, one. Yeah, I can definitely get that. Oh, you're grappled. Yeah. You're grappled. Oh, I'm grappled. Yep. <clears throat> Even as, like, a motherfucker? So my size for grappling is... Oh. Can, he's, Huge. he's medium. Okay, no, he can't, he can't okay. grapple you. He still so he he's smashes into you. Just shake him off. And you smash him, <laughs> you manage to just kick him off oh. Uh, oh. as, as oh. You, you run forward. Yep. So he grabs gosh. your calf and is, like, hugging an oak. Shit. <laughs> 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 Am I able to squeeze in between here? Yeah. So they are so they are only medium size. so you just ignore one of their squares. I just mean the scare oh, the up, scare right? Up. Yeah, 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 I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so I'm going to run up, and I would take opportunity attacks from two of them. Uh, and I, I would, I'm, I'm, I'm raging currently. Um, I'm raging. Or I would, I would bonus action rage before I... Yeah, yeah. So. You, as you step into your trance, you kick off the, the jade. You are <laughs> triggered and not trash. Uh, so, hold on, let me take the 14 damage. First. Um, I would go into my battle trance and then uh, run forward. You do that. So are they going to make opportunity attacks? Or oh, yes, they are. Okay. So they two are. Of them. Uh, so three of, the, three of them, right? Oh, no, just two. Oh, two, two of them. Okay. Oh, but I would have passed him, so three. Uh, yeah. Natural 20 on one. Okay. Wait, what's a natural 20? I got a natural 20 right here, so you could. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm going to stop okay. that. Right for that? Love that. Four. Uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Natural one. That misses. And a natural 20. Wow. You no, know, actually, I'm not going to stop either one of them, to be honest with you. Okay. We should save them for her. I only have four. Yeah, I'm going to save them for her. 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 Yeah, I
I would recommend that. If she gets a natural 20 on someone, that could tank their health all okay. the way down, yeah. and Toa can handle it. I'm not, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm checking because you like to troll us a lot. No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think it makes yeah. sense to save them for her. Cause and your eat. voice, because of your allergies, sounds like a really reasonable. sassy New Jersey I mean, bear, <laughs> and we're like, we're just expecting you to fuck with us right now. <laughs> Yes, I actually no. Six. I'm just I'm, gonna save them. I'm constantly <laughs> I'm, gonna save, points of I'm damage. just gonna save 30, them. 30. Okay, three points of bludgeoning damage, and that's factoring in all of the all of the heads. Well, <laughs> besides, I told you, you the already damage so it's after. Okay. As they're smashing into you, and you uh, have as you run past yeah? them. What? Yes, oh, yeah, 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 I did. Yeah. 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 You took fifteen points. Yeah, 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 that okay. would have been a total waste of mine. Oh, no, absolutely. I agree, absolutely. I agree with your, the, yeah. your assassin. Has no, the dungeon master really well, trying to stop you? You just like getting natural toys I, without me stopping I, I agree. I, I enjoy <laughs> that as well. I enjoy that. I have a question, Dan. Yes. So I'm trying to read it to figure out how it would work. Um, whether summoned creatures, because they are made by like my magics, are they affected by bless? And so I'm trying to read about it because mm, they they're get. Creatures. Yeah, they're yeah. Blessed creatures. They're creatures. So yeah. Well, no, because I have I have blessed for my potion summoned oh. by me. So some people are saying yes, some I people are saying so. no. The no. rule is basically you ask the DM. I th- I think if you're if it's from potion of heroism, I would say no. Yeah, yeah. I, I would agree. I would agree. Okay. So basically, it's if it was something that like affects you, if it was like, but it is really summoned the other creature. Actual blessed spell that's yes, different. Yes, but if yes. the potion only affects you, yes, I would agree. That's a very interesting argument. I it is. See, I could see it going. So the way. reason they say to ask the DM is because bless is concentration and summons are concentration, you can't do both. But it does say from the, the potion of heroism that it's not concentration. Like, otherwise I wouldn't be able yes, to do it. but I'm I know, that's why I can summon yeah. him. Right, right, for sure. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. Tom? Uh, okay, great. So I will uh, run up and I will attack twice. Um, and uh, they both hit. How do we know what her AC is? Uh, well, presumably they both hit. I mean, you got a 19 and 18 plus whatever oh, yeah, to yeah, hit yeah. is, which is probably 10 or 11. The lowest we've hit with right now is 20. Yeah. So is his, yeah, he's he's is his AC or her AC is, is presumably lower than 30. At least 23. 10, 20. We know 23 hits. <laughs> You're okay. fine. So, 23 hits, we're good. You're uh, good. Let me make, I should have done this, but I will see if Wind Fury procs. Does it? Uh, it had a two. No, it does not. Oh. Um, so then I will. I just noticed your new mouse <laughs> Henry hugging his brother. It's Henry Bug and his brother. Oh, the colors shit. are so much more vibrant than I anticipated. Yeah, I thought that was my hero academia because the colors are so vibrant. <laughs> No, it's just Henry Pug and his brother. It looks Give away like that I won. Do I reroll ones and twos as a barbarian or is that just Rodak? That's Rodak. Great as master? a weapons master. Right, and barbarians don't have them. Okay, perfect. Uh, ten. This guy. Uh, Trying to uh, reroll ones This two. fucking guy. Yeah, that's why I checked. Cheating yeah. Michael Keaton. Uh, 13, 14, Best 15, Batman. 16, 17. <laughs> that's Batman. Um, and also Jack Frost. Shamey on Sam Raimi. So 37 oh. points of uh, blood needed. 37 points? There's it. 37 points. Okay. 37 points. I don't believe in the Okay. I don't. Care to win? He's a cheater. As you smash and smash and smash, and you are absolutely massive, but Rajani is so much bigger than you are still. As but you, your your massive maul, your totem rather, is is smashing in. It's it's cleaving off dragon scale, and, and oh. wounds are uh, 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 deepening in. And she's letting out uh, these uh, these growls as you're smashing into her. And she looks around, and she says, "Get away from me!" And she uh, raises both of her wings and. Sm- Mashes them down oh, in an incredible whoa. gust of wind. I need everyone around uh, Rajani uh, to make a uh, wing attack. Wing attack. Wing uh, I attack. assume that Iris and I are exempt. Yes. Yeah. Uh, dexterity saving throw as they oh, smash down. Uh, I got an uh, 18 plus 3 is 22. 21. 21. 21. Yeah, 21. 21. Passes, yeah. Let's go. All right. 22 for me. Thank God for bless. Oh, You're gonna take half of those. Oh, ah, shit. I don't want to take half. Watch, I forgot to. Oh, that's concentration. Shadow that's not good. That means I gotta roll I a con saving yeah. throw. 
So no battery mode. I thought I had some kind of resilient con. Was it? What do you guys get? 19. 19? I just get proficiency in con saving. Nikki, what are your scare roll? Fuck. Oh, I didn't roll for my scare roll. Okay. All right, all right, all right. What's it rolling? Dex? Dex. S crab. S crab. We'll get a plus three. I love S crab. It's a plus three? Plus three. Um, 11. 11, okay. DC is 19. So anyone who fails is going to take 15 points of bludgeoning damage and is not prone. I did not fail. Um, and uh, and then if you, you're going to take half of 15 uh, and not be not prone. It's so a gust. So how for con, I have to. Sorry, was that? Half, half of 15. 15. Half of 15. Uh, uh, so 15, if, 15, I, if I pass, I took seven. I just have to roll greater than a 10 for my con saving. Yes. Throw, right. Yes. Or equal to 10. Okay. Ten as, or better. Meter B. Got it. As she, uh, with that, well, she that's oh, plus your con. Her, her that's wings. Oh, sh- no, 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 no. I get, I get bless. I get bless. Plus, plus your, plus your con. Of air knocking you back, unable to make opportunity attacks as she does what? this. She flies away and lands behind oh, Caprice. Shit. No! You, you no! hear the stomping of this massive no, dragon that flies over you yeah. and she is looming You're behind you. Oh, I just part of that. Okay. Oh, actually. I'm good. I'm good. I forgot about Bless. I'm good. He passes. I forgot that because he is short footed, he gets advantage on this. Day. Oh, yeah. So you can come short footed. That'll do it. And so he takes half of that then? Yes, he'll take half of that. And that was 15, so he takes seven. Yes, okay. Seven uh, and with that, you all, uh, you're hearing the clanging. Okay. And the uh, and the the grunting of the dwarves in this protective dome as they're working hard to finish this, the energy pulsing, uh, uh, and you hear a loud <laughs> as as a burst of that same shivering uh, shimmering energy that had uh, sealed it, sealed away the old, the uh, the chain god merges with each side of the of the glaive and bursts out on either side into two. Uh, Bursts of energy. I need everyone in the room to make a. What the hell? What is the. What, what is the, the. A wisdom saving throw. Oh, Are you Jesus. still holding your thing? I still am holding my thing, which yeah. means Just that. Me and you. Uh, no, I think Felix and Toa might be in range. Are you guys 30 uh, feet? No, I'm out of 30. Because I moved 30. DC is 15. Okay, good. I passed. This is Wiz. I should be all right. I'm out too. Okay. Uh, you said just saving throw? Saving throw. Do you see wisdom saving throw? Do you see wisdom saving throw? Oh, and for oh, my metal dragon. That ain't good. Got a 29. He fails. 28. 28. I, I rolled natty, natty 20. <laughs> natty 20? Oh my god. Uh, Yeah, 20. Holy shit. Did uh, anyone get less than a 15? I got uh, an 18. I was my, worried that it was, needed to be a 19. My, Put your finger of shame down. My I raised my hand. Okay, so you failed? I so opinion. both of you are on Torvald's side. So uh, the energy bursts oh, over you shit. as you are blasted with the power of oh, law. And I need, uh, I need you to uh, Scarab and uh, Lufty to both make a roll d6 oh, for me, please. Shit. Oh, no. Six. Six. Uh, the scarab, uh, you see as the scarab is blasted, it feels, it's restrained almost with like it's under heavy shackles. It is affected by the slow spell, which is minus two AC, uh, minus two on dexterity saving throws, no reactions, either one action or, uh, or bonus action. And if it has a multi-attack, it only has one attack. Oh, I got a five. Five? You, um, you, wow, you guys got pretty lucky with these. Uh, as you <laughs> feel compelled lucky. to, to, uh, submit, you, you kneel and you are now prone. Okay. With that, it um, is a uh, Carissa's turn. <laughs> no one on hers side failed, right? Yeah. No. I love that you've split this into a law chaos room. I just want to commend you. Before yeah, I take my turn, cool. very cool. Um, very cool. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. Uh, I turn around and I see Rajani, and I'm surrounded by monsters, and I'm. Uh, 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 you're, you're not doing the right thing. You, you, you're confused. You don't understand. I'm still gonna fuck you up, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna bring, uh, hit the uh, the strings of my viol and uh, create a huge destructive wave of oh. musical energy in all directions. Let's I, go. I will cast destructive wave. Okay. Hey, uh, everyone I that. that I choose within 30 feet of me, and I will exempt oh, yeah. Iris, obviously. Uh, no, no, I'll exempt Iris. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Iris just gets a run. Uh, these three minions atomized. have to make Constitution saving throws and also Rajani. How's it saying this? And uh, 
and with that, you feel the uh, you feel the suppression of magic, as uh, from this radiating from these uh, these jade golems, as uh, uh, the DC is lowered by two. Uh, oh, okay. So it's a DC 15 constitution saving. Roger that. And they're, uh, gotta roger that. That's very sneaky. Mm-hmm. I love that. Uh, but did they take damage either way? Um, yes, it's, it takes half. Okay, so as you burst out, every single jade golem around you is completely Let's shattered go. to the ground. Hell yeah. And, uh, Rajarmi is going to roll a constitution saving throw, and she's going to pass, so she'll take half of that. She will take half of what I have to roll now, just yep. one moment. And as they are shattered around you, you no longer feel that suppression of sound. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Iris mm-hmm. and Caprice. 11, 13. And Felix, actually, you feel um, fine as well. What suppression? Oh, magic. There's a radiant shit. magic suppression around these. Uh, so these we don't really know goals. what it's doing. We're just assuming that it's. At some point, it's going to stop. It's going to fuck your plans. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 11, 17. All right. Um, you're going to take. Uh, 10, 15, 16 points of uh, thunder damage. 16, okay. And uh, half if you succeeded, which okay. you did. Thanks. And then you're going to take 10, uh, 19, 20 points of uh, necrotic damage uh, or half. And you're not knocked prone, uh, presumably because you're immune or because you, fi- you succeeded. So uh, you succeeded, dude. Yeah. So I knock out okay. everybody and I do some damage she burst, to her. And she uh, use her wings to quickly to shield herself from this destructive uh a bur- of a a a, a sonal, uh, burst from your your your, your violin. Uh, Iris, I know, I, I know I can rely on you. Uh, uh help. And I'll give you uh, inspiration. And uh, help. with what is that, your inspiration. It's a d10. With that, uh, she is no more. She has no more uh, legendary actions. So it's it's a uh, field. Um, so seeing all this happen, I'm going to steal myself and kind of with knife in right hand and, and left hand open, I'm going to make like a, a, a twisting motion and fire a fourth <laughs> level ice knife. And there's almost a, a, a level of steam that kind of explodes as the knife leaves my person amongst all of the flames. So there's a uh, regular attack. That is going to be uh, 18 plus 11 is a 29 to hit. 29 to hit, that hits, mm. yeah. So that's going to be all of this is ice damage. At Rajani? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I have a question. So this water, this is open over across, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. It's so, and and Capri- it, Caprice has to, Caprice is going to take some of this. I don't know why I have like a Sorry, little pal. Little Cold damage. damage. Probably. I'm resistant. Good. Uh, I get to reroll ones and twos. <laughs> you, you can shape your spells. It's not, it's not uh, evocation. It's conjuration. Oh, okay. okay Thank you, though. Uh, that's gonna be, uh, 10, 16, 18, uh, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, plus 9 is 30, 1, plus 5 is 36, uh, and let me make sure there's nothing else I need to add, bear with me, no, that's it, what did I say, 36? 36 ice damage to Caprice and to the dragon. Uh, 36. Does, does she need a you roll? Don't, you don't have to, sorry, uh, minus nine. Does she so, roll? No, because it's an attack roll. Oh, okay, yeah, So yeah, it yeah. hit. Yeah. Uh, you, you, what is 36 minus 25. 18. 25, 36. 25, 25 for you. And then I have that? And then you do your thing. 36. Okay, so 12. 12. 12. Which so 12 to Caprice, uh, 35 to the dragon. I still, oh, need, to, I still need to that. roll concentration. You, uh, your hand turns this shimmering blue as that shard of ice uh, pierces deep into her flesh. She lets out this uh, pain growl. Uh, and with that, I got deal. 10. Okay. Holy shit. And I'm going to move. <laughs> uh, with that, it is her turn. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I move closer to the dwarves in the center. She is going to... She is going to. Uh, she uh, is going to lean back in the most grandiose pose that she can. And says, "I am the Eternal Blossom. I am a being of good, a being of order. Bow before me." And uh, her scales shimmer and radiate, and she has a. Um, she she radiates with a mesmerizing presence. Everyone within 120 feet of her needs to make a wisdom saving throw. I'm not. I'm very. It's, it's not a spell, that. I assume. 
What was that? Advantage. 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 Wisdom saving. Wisdom. Yep. Okay. All right. Natural twenty. Oh, I'm not advantaged. Um, nineteen. Let's see either way. Oh boy. Uh, I'd like to twist this if I may. No. Oh uh, yes, you can. Yes. I'm willing to twist it as well. Uh, wanna... Yes, you can. Twenty four. Hey everybody, just... my name's Chubby Checkers. This is a little dance I like to call the twist. <laughs> okay, we're good. I rolled two ones. I'm good. I'm uh, good. Yeah, uh, I got a twenty three. You were meant to die. Yeah. It's your time. So who? Who? Uh, <laughs> who I fail horrifically. You fail three. <laughs> Uh, 19. 19. Uh, yeah, level. Early levels of failure, I As, feel, the worst possible uh, way. She is so mesmerizing. You are now charmed. Oof. By oh, no. Radonic. Okay. Oh, shit. So to- is just Toa? Just Toa's charmed. That's nice. And... He's the biggest of us all. <laughs> <laughs> and you can keep the saving throw at the end of your turn. That's a big one. What can I say uh, except you're dead? And then she's going... <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> she is going to um, uh, le- uh, raise her claw at Caprice and swipe down at oh, you. No. Um, okay. Uh, I'll I'll yell out as she I see the swipe coming and she because she's projecting her punches like twenty seven. Um. <laughs> don't fuck this up. And uh, <laughs> oh no 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 I, I won't do that. Twenty seven. Okay. No, <laughs> she sweat, rakes your your skin and she's keeping an eye on the. Uh, the radiating magic from your violin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, nine plus six is uh, fifteen. Uh, fifteen points of damages. Yeah. Mm. All right. I will roll concentration. Okay. Thirteen. Um, that's easy. So okay. rolling again. That's going to be a uh, twenty-three to hit. That hit. She claws the shit out of you uh, with uh, <laughs> sixteen points of uh, slashing damage. Sixteen. Sixteen. I'll roll for concentration. I'm fine. Okay. She's going to roll again. Oh, oh my god. (laughs) As she leans down, opens her jaws, her tendrils are almost to the floor as she is going to try to bite you. Uh, and is only going to get, however, it's because she's a bending down seventeen. And just that big. Uh, that hits. Okay, she uh, tears into you, and she's going to. Staring off in the distance. Right? <laughs> no, I'm just saying stupid shit. Oh wow, I rolled really terribly. Like, <laughs> acknowledge my stupidness. Uh, uh, that is going to be sixteen points of piercing damage, as it tears into your flesh. <sighs> ow! 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 <laughs> Wow. Natural 20 on my concentration. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You do that every time. And finally a natural 20. Uh, let me just quickly do I'd some like health math that, here. <laughs> I've rolled like three natural 20s tonight, but she's the only one's been on the tax. And as that. she tears into your flesh, <laughs> she's going to look at you, Toa, and say, My dear friend, protect me. Protect my plan, the future that we have seen. With that, <coughs> do I? So is it charmed like by the book? Where yes. like, so I, I'm not mind control. I'm friendly to her, but yes. I'm still friendly to Caprice. Yes, right. Yes. That's good. That seems uh, like okay, a your plus. Turn. <laughs> your turn. Um, I'm right. going to. It's half my movement <laughs> oh, to get up, right? Right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna spend half my movement to get up and I'll brush the dust off Which and is pick my stick up and my spoon and. Because that wasn't very nice, and I'll swing back and forth and make an attack on both of the. the okay. What are they, golems? Jade golems. Jade golems, Jade golems next to me. Because I am a shameless hack. No, <laughs> I, I think that you take inspiration from things that are great. Uh, one's a natural fail. Uh, 17? 17 hits. As you okay. smash into it, it cracks and shatters into pieces. Okay, well, we're going to say that's four. Yeah, um, and then I will make a secondary attack on number two. You smash your attack. spoon. Uh, attempt to smash your spoon against it. Uh, that is a twenty something. Yeah, that hits. Their AC is sixteen. Just it, it shatters oh. as well. Yeah, right. you don't know yeah. the damage. They're minions. Okay, so they despite their good. Their so that was twenty five. So I now have, um, so that's fifteen. I can go here. I'm just gonna move right here. Roger that. Uh, with that, man, she is going to. Oh, shit! Never mind. Uh, ho, ho, ho. what is she going to do? She's gonna cast a spell. As she <laughs> is going to say, 
I'm tired of your music. It won't get out of my head. As uh, she's going to, you need to make a charisma saving throw. She cast banishment on you. Yeah, oh, nice. I'm just going to uh, use my reaction to cast another fifth level cast. What? Uh, you do that. The entire time I'm singing, I want my baby back, 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 baby back. And, uh, that is counter. That is counter. Uh, with that, it is... And so it continues. Baby back, baby. Uh, yeah, Caprice is focused, man. I gotta be the counterspell man. I'm good. With that, it is, uh, it's Iris' turn. Iris Iris and the beetle. Um, wonderful. And the beetle is slow. The beetle is slowed, so it's going to move uh, 20 feet. Because that's all it can move, is half its speed. To where? Just closer to her. So, this one way. and a half, three, so there. I wonder what happens uh, if you're on the line. And that's what it can do. Ignite? You just explode in the And then there. I am going to cast at the spiritual weapon at a third level right on top of her. Okay. Let's go. You also notice that I am surrounded by a pool of my own blood. <laughs> oh, God. The crook and flail appears uh, right on top of Rajani and swings in hard. Um, <laughs> Battle Beetle. Isn't that it's a my, thing? My There's upcoming series. Okay, okay. And so, yeah, so I have to Possibly. make an attack on her. Sorry. Mm hmm. Seven plus a five. What's seven plus five? That was a seven, right? Thirteen. Uh, twelve. Twelve. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of a song. Uh, I ribs. How does it feel? Beetle back ribs. It, it uh, feels terrible. <laughs> yeah. So uh, my spiritual weapon won't hit. Um, and then for my actual action. Ribs are good. Took a long time. Can you? Go ahead. If you cast a spell for a bonus action, can you use an item yeah. for an action, yeah. even if that is technically casting yes. a spell? Okay. Yes. Because then I'm going to use my onk to do mass cure wounds on everyone. Ooh. On everyone? That's uh, an action, right? And I, out I used a bonus action for spiritual weapon. So I'm using my action to do... Wait, where's your spirit... My spiritual weapon is on top of her, but it's Oh, what did you take? What did you take? Oh, uh, it, it didn't hit. I missed. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, got it. oh to cast a spell from the. Because you're using the item. Because I'm using the really item. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Spell, so that's fine. That's fine. You all feel the warmth of the sand uh, over you. Uh, oh, can I make a request? Wounds heal. What was it? Uh, can I make a request that Iris says, Onk, go to horny jail? No. <laughs> um, <so. laughs> got him. Uh, nice try. Nice <laughs> try. And then I, I'll tell you what the, I'll roll the okay. hit points as it, as it stands. And I should be able to get, yep, I can even get one. Oh my god! So I'm going to get everybody. You're so centralized. As <laughs> the warm sand, uh, <clears throat> as the warm sand washes <sighs> over you, she looks around the room and says, <laughs> Oh, you still do not see my future. Perhaps now you will. And uh, she bursts with this light. And everyone, make a charisma saving throw, please. The entire oh, room. That's, uh, that's not good. The, scarab, the scarab and Iris are at advantage. Natural twenty. That's the fourth one to make. Charismatic is not how I would describe feelings. Hello, lucky dice. Can I, can I twist this? Yeah, absolutely. Oh God. Um, I might need to as well. I take two out. Me. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it a shot. We'll take two out there. I'm gonna get rid Everyone of this bad boy. Everyone gets 22 points of Woo! Not bad. Wow. Woo! I'm definitely that not near death anymore. Scarab. Love that money. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna go with a 12 for charisma. 12. Yeah. I failed catastrophically. Yeah, I think I did too. Oh, and then I'm sorry. I'm doing a what? What kind of saving throw? Charisma. charisma. Oh, and I'm in. Chuck. Capriccio, what do you get? 28. Natural 20. Hey, congrats. Uh, 27. 27. Twins! We both rolled natural 20s. Yeah. As. Oh, and then my scared. As you all are fighting, as the, 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 the blast uh, feels very familiar, and the three of you 
all look and where Toa and Felix were, they blink out of existence. As Toa and Felix. Put a marker down where you walk. You blink it's out of marker. existence. Well, and my scarab failed as well. The scarab oh. also blinks out of existence. Can you use like a marker? I got you. Uh, oh, I, I have, also. I have a ton of those. Uh, do you Here. Of Here, you so. can use this uh, strange animal for something. I have a DG. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, give me a DG for the scarab. Here's a DG. The DG for the scarab. I'll pull out my D2 so you can have them in case other people get dudes out. Woof. My D2. That's all I can say about that. Oh, I got one too. I have this. Clearly, when they all hit the same Kickstarter. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, well, we blink it here. I'm going to keep going. Felix and Toa. Oh. As you blink out of existence, you're going on an adventure. And the beetle. And the, and the beetle. <laughs> you you realize. The can the beetle talk for the sake of this scenario? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you want to role play as the beetle? Uh, you can role play as the beetle. You're enjoying your only amazing moment. You're in the dream floor and there's a horrible this is a dream scare bomb. You there. are in comfortable wooden chairs oh. of the, of, of the <sighs> finest. Uh, craftsmen in the Makani Islands. As you sit uh, in, uh, in the sand, you hear the lapping of the waves on the shore. You hear the cry of gulls, the, the cool breeze, as you're being served drinks by uh, by Goliaths with tendrils hanging from their, their chin. And you are all relaxing, uh, the two of you, and you see that the beetle uh, is also uh, s- uh, scurrying around and digging in the sand very pleasantly. He's building a little scarab sand, ca- a little sand pyramid oh. uh, in the in the sand. As as you look to your, uh, he's got a little t- bikini on. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> as you turn Scared to the right, right, Felix, and you see Milo. He's sitting and enjoying a drink mm. oh, with horrible. your with with you guys. And he doesn't speak, but he's just his eyes are so happy. He's at peace, and you haven't seen Milo in since the last horrible dream that you've had. And here he's fine. He's totally safe. I would immediately run to him and like scoop him up and hug him and and you know grab a drink and and like show him around the Makani Islands since I've been there. Yep. And there would it would never even cross my mind that this is out of the ordinary. And you are banished to a dream world for the, for about six seconds, but it feels like much longer, like a dream, as you are in pure uh, idyllic beauty, as you see uh, Golden Lotus, as you turn, you're you're hugging Milo and Toa's, you're all laughing together, enjoying your drinks, and Golden Lotus, in her tabaxi form, her hands clasped, says. Is this not the future you wish? I can make it happen. Stop this nonsense. Convince your friends. This is the future I saw. This is the future I was told. And that happens. And we will cut back to what is happening. At the, end of this camp- at the end of this campaign, when we're doing exactly that, we're going to be like, man, fuck that golden lo- lotus. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm not happy right now. Andy's not happy right now. Felix is really not happy right now. <sighs> and the Beatles is also there. Uh, okay. Uh, and they blink out of existence for a moment. There was a scarab on of course one of the, you and me. the chairs, yep. right? Yeah, like, well, the scarab was like building sand pyramids. A thousand miles. miles. Oh, right. Toa's just drinking cuddles. Uh, Toa, oh, it's your turn. You're out. Uh, you are out. Do, so uh, now it is uh, Herja's, or uh, it's the Forge's turn. And once again, it blasts out. Everyone, please make a wisdom saving throw. Not us. Yeah, not us. We're just having a good old time. Advantage for thee. We're another world. Advantage for not me. me. Natural 20. Gotta give it up. Gotta give it up. So many 20s. Up. What is it? Wisdom? Wisdom, DC 15. Oh, I passed. Oh, I passed. Okay. Just by the, you blast out and resist the, 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 the power of, of law and boring. chaos. Yeah, right. uh, with that, it is the priest's turn. Fuck. I am the luckiest motherfucker on the planet. <laughs> um, he says and then runs away smartly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you already have uh, inspiration? No. Read troops. You, uh, no. I used it. You used it? I did, yeah. I needed it. I, I, I didn't think I was going to make it, Iris. Uh, th- 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. 
I'll turn to uh, Rajani and I'll be like, Yo, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yo, tell me what you want, what I really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Yo, tell me what you want. And I'll just continue to repeat that. <laughs> and as I do, I start to transform and grow yes. into a dinosaur because that's what I fucking do. I'll, I'll cast Polymorph and, and uh, T-Rex myself. And... <laughs> <laughs> and King Gabriel returns as he always does. As, as, Holy shit! As you grow into a massive tyrannosaurus, uh, you know, crocodilian tyrannosaurus rex. Damn it! That's Why'd why you do that? I said thank you because I'm sorry, but. <laughs> you know I healed you, right? Yeah, but like. <laughs> but you lose what? I was at four hit points when you healed, he healed me, oh. so thank you. <laughs> As um, you like, turn like, into a crocodilian Tyrannosaurus <laughs> Rex, uh, still dwarfed by the size of this massive uh, dragon, but still not that, but, but not as much. Um, I guess that means that I still technically have my. No, I used my bonus action to inspire you with my thank you. Oh, you did? Yes. Oh, okay. And well, then I, I accept it. And then I polymorphed into a T Rex. <laughs> then I forgive you for dropping that. That, thing. that means I don't have any more things I can do. I yes. only have a reaction, yes. and that's the conclusion of my turn. Uh, so, yeah, I am now uh, uh, Tiny Arms uh, creeping up on uh, Golden Lotus. That's me. And she says, I have spent the past day telling you exactly what I want. This <laughs> is going to tear into the <laughs> Well played. Well fucking played. It's like you're tear. not even listening. <laughs> well fucking played. As the music drops, however, and she's going to get a natural fucking one. <laughs> I accept. As as she is, is so uh, frustrated at this point that you are, she she stumbles and misses uh, despite the massive target. Because that's how Dungeons and Dragons works. You hear the T Rex go, <laughs> don't don't fuck this up. <laughs> uh, Felix, uh, you are enjoying the cool breeze, uh, the island trees. Uh, so you have a new island home, and you are it is it is perfection. It is I, ideal. You never want to leave. You never want to leave. Heard that. And uh, with that, it is. Uh, it is her turn. You get no action. No. Uh, I'm I'm enjoying my life. Yeah. Drink some drink. natty bumpo on the beach. You use your action to drink natty bumpo on the beach. Yeah. yeah. And and <laughs> That's exactly right. And talk to my brother and introduce Aww. my brother to Toa. Well, you You're don't want a, a cool time. Budweiser. <laughs> I would love a cool Budweiser. I'm playing it hasn't, it hasn't been invented yet. Oh yeah. Yeah, I guess that's right. That's no, right. No. Well, the kids are not invented yet. <clears throat> What's that? Do kids remember the Budweiser? Yeah, yes. Uh, kids, kids you know. Do. People our age do. How I'm far kidding. away is Lufty from uh, Caprice? Uh, far. To... More than 60 feet. Yeah. Because she's almost exactly 60 feet from me. Three. Oh, no. Six. Uh, nine. Oh, I can make it work. I can make it work. She's don't a, like that statement. Golden Lotus <laughs> is about to use her legendary action to throw T Rex into Lufty. Oh no! Or yeah, yeah, that too. T Rex. <laughs> um, as, so, yeah, sixty feet away. Exactly sixty feet. As actually, no, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna actually. Oh, she's going to say, oh, <sighs> "You will see. You will all be blinded by my radiance." As she uh, oh, no. uh, uh, takes off into the air, flying over uh, you, uh, Caprice. But that like so you, get an, you get an opportunity attack exactly. As she's gonna fly over and she's gonna land right in front of the forge, kind of right there at the center of the room, like where she started. Um, yeah, yep. I'm gonna use my bite, so there's a chance that you could get grabbed. She is uh, gargantuan. Okay, <laughs> then I'm going big. to then I'm going to use my bite. <laughs> yep, that's a big one. Uh, that's going nice. to be a um, twenty nine to hit. Uh, it's going to be actually can a can, can a gargantuan? Actually, can you grapple one size bigger? Mm. I want to yes. say yes. Is it T-Rex? It's a disadvantage. T Rex is huge. Yeah. It's a disadvantage. But if it hits, it's a grapple. So she's actually gonna get fucking grappled. Okay. <laughs> I, I I grab her neck with my huge T Rex mouth, and can I get another D twelve from someone? Yes. Does he need to make a saving throw or, or anything? Uh, uh, find you a good Derek, one. Yeah, it's a, a, yeah, yeah, you have to, you have here, to make an escape here, DC, here, DC seventeen. Yeah, but that's well, one. That's that's, one. One. that's, uh, that's my turn. Dealer's choice. Oh, thank you. Pick that one for you. I'm sorry. So here, one, one, two, one. Oh, no, he's still on the road. <laughs> this rolled very well. <laughs> she was over here. She was over here. One, two, I was right. trying. I'm sorry. I was in the middle one, of putting one, her like under him. 
Oh, oh, Zada. Well, no, no. So she's not under him. She's and just so next she's to gonna him. fly over, and I'll say that she lands right here. Yes, yeah, so he like. So she's she's trying to fly away, and you're gonna sma- snap onto her tail. Uh, eighteen That's points incredible. of uh, uh, piercing damage. Eighteen and points. You did not su- you, you succeeded the grapple. No, no, no. So uh, it, it, a grapple when it hits, it's automatic. It, yeah. She's grappled. So no matter what, it, so when the, when the escape DC is when I need to use an action to escape. Oh. That's the DC. So oh. you're just, you're just clamped on to her. So, right so, so, so she flies over you, and as she's about to get out of your radius, you uh, you manage to uh, quickly move and smash, smash onto her tail, and she's struggling with her mighty wings flapping away. She's flying slightly in the air. As you're, uh, how much damage was that? Sorry, I didn't. I've been. Uh, it was seventeen. Or 18, so, yeah, so we'll it takes see. the 17. Yeah, we'll um, I will try to do my scream through my like now biting mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She is still. But, Thank you. Okay, doesn't matter. And she's gonna say, Be blinded by my radiance! And she bursts. She's gonna cast yeah. Sunburst. As because no one here can counter spell, uh, as she's going to what? burst, and the, the 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 golden light of dawn radiates the room, and it's so powerful, so incredible, it is singeing. Uh, I need everyone to make a Constitution saving throw for me. This is yep. not good. Uh, Twelve uh, cents. Uh, How are we doing on Twisties, McMisties? Uh, feel free to use them. Yes, feel free to use them. I rolled a two. Yes, this yes. Is yes. Level use spell. one. Yes. Use one. Uh, nobody can count that shit anyway. It's eighth level, Jesus. Does that mean I can roll out of it? You think? Let me let me use one as well. All right. I mean, not without rolling. Oh, that's gold. Twelve. You could technically count a level three counter spell. Right. Um, right. I got a natural one, uh, but I'm a T Rex, so I'm gonna take it. Twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah, yeah, that's reasonable. 30, I have one hundred and thirty. Thirty three. Uh, where's the little belly twist? button? Is, is that? <laughs> if you bag, fail, <laughs> what's the pass? Uh, it's nineteen. Okay. 19. Thanks for the twist, Jack. Really yeah, good. this is, uh... We're needing them tonight. This is Thank helpful you, because we're in okay. deep shit. Our hearts 44 your points ears. of radiant damage as it blasts oh. out singeing and uh, half of, uh, and you are blinded for one minute. And what was the, uh, the total? It was 44. 44, 44 so 22, of 22 if you if you succeed and you're Race. not blinded and you're not blinded if you uh, succeed as the the, the 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 brilliant rays of dawn almost singe your eyes out of your skull it is horrible I am with that T Rex <laughs> just kidding I'm fine my turn <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. oh sorry dragon bro yeah we gotta get some cards stuck um so I'm gonna move so that's 15 20 I'm gonna come up. You guys better stop that right now! And I'm gonna bonk him on the head. Well, there's, there's a giant a dome, dome of, oh. of radiating you energy. You can still try that, but it, yeah, it's, they that are, changes things. They're under a barrier. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Just go kill Torvald. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Just murder him. So there is no like. Okay, it's a fully radiated shaboo. Yeah, magic. You get the sense that you need to kill Rajani in order to break it, because this is a game. I do get that sense now <laughs> that the DM has it said that. It turns out that Dungeons directly. and Dragons is still a fucking game. It's a okay. what? This isn't Sweet happening in real life. If you die in Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> do you die in real life? I do. Uh, that's I do, I do. Look at us just hanging out over here uh, on the side of yeah, the Yeah, we're just having a party. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to make... The Makani Islands. Uh, Three Which attacks. Island? Oh my god. Whatever island you want. This is gonna be so f- we'll get, go ahead. Rajani, I feel like it's the one we went to in the first year. Because I wouldn't Rajani, know any other island. Yeah. Rajani. Wow, Rajani? that was I don't know. fucking awful. Yeah, maybe some like, just weird approximation of like, tropical island. God awful. And we just think it's Does a 17 hit? I'd be very yeah. happy. Okay. Uh, as she's flying in the air, you're still able to get her. She's struggling against her massive wings are beating. She's struggling. You're trying to swipe her at her like a pinata. Stop and that! You're just Hold and you're still, you're still. silly. I can't hit you if you're moving. <laughs> uh, and with that, she's going to swing her. Oh, she can't swing her tail down because uh, it's in the fucking mouth of a tyrannosaurus. Uh, <laughs> Sucks to suck. How is she going to... Drop it, drop it. <laughs> oh! Then pauses for a second and you think you have it. <laughs> you have As... to go into the lips. <laughs> Let go. What do you have? She's what do you going have? to swing her... 
Oh, she's going to lean down, and, and, and as you're trying to attack her, she's going to lean down and try to bite you. Ooh. Uh, obviously lifting. Obviously. Obviously. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit. That hits! Okay, that's going to be a bite attack. Ah! Chomp, 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 chomp. Ooh. Oh, when I take damage uh, in a T-Rex polymorph form, 17 points of piercing damage as she tears into your flesh. Okay. Ah! Iris, you're up. Wait one moment. Oh. Uh, I drop back into Caprice. Do you oh. twist it? I mean, we can. Let's twist it. Let's twist it. This is important. Yeah, yeah I we, think we got him. Use him. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I took Point. 44 points of damage, so I need to roll higher than a 22 in order to Correct. succeed. Which means that it's I need... It's worth a try. It's worth a try. Means that I need... But it's a con saving throw. A 18 or higher. Yeah. I don't think... I don't, go my, for it. It's my not a reason. My is gone. We pulled it out. Oh, go for okay. it. How do you go? Concentration. Oh. oh. Six oh. Ah, close. Good try. All right. We have to try. We got to yes. try. We got the twist. We might as well use them. We right. got about as much benefit as we were going to get out of that guy. So she's now ungrappled. Got it. Okay. So, so that was uh, from the blast, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so, so we should so have rewinded she, a little bit. So she done. can now move on yeah. her turn. If that, Roger that, Roger yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's fine. She'll still try to. She'll still bite Lufty as it bursts out. The, the Tyrannosaurus get blasted away, and she is now in the air and uh, is going to uh, land. Um, okay, uh, Iris, um, what's up? I'm blinded. So how does that affect spiritual weapon? Just disadvantage. Okay. Contact rolls. So even for like moving it to her. No, no. You, I would say that the dragon is so massive, and she's right behind you. You know where she okay. is. So I would say so that I will move it. You to can her easily move it. You might just, you might just whip. To attack, and I'm gonna whip. It, you think that you know where she is, but it's it's difficult in the the, the crook and uh, crook and flail. Uh, uh, swing and a miss. And swing and a miss. I am going to when well, my concentration is down. You're not as advantaged on spiritual weapon. Oh, you don't, you don't have to see it. Oh, as long as it's so then just roll, 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 take your highest roll. Yeah. They both suck, yeah, so fine. I miss. I would say roll but it again. Thank you. Hey, uh, well, Mike wants to give you another roll. One more die. Roll again. So that was my fault for not knowing the rules. Uh, 17 Ooh. plus Ooh. 19. Ow. Uh, that misses. Uh, okay, it was faded. It was faded. Wait, I, have four, I, I rolled a 14, right, Kelsey? You saw that? Yes. Should be plus whiz, right? Yeah, so it's actually plus I was going to say. So 14, so it's 19... 2021. 20, 21. That hits. It smashes hey, into it. Hey, let's go. Oh, I can't math. I'm let's sorry. Go. Uh, it's not your fault. You know, level. D and D always makes me want to play a boss fight since Zero. Like a real boss fight since Zero. So this is now your spiritual weapon instead of your scarab. Bingo, bingo, bongo. Isn't that cool? It's so Isn't that big. cool? Sorry. <laughs> Six points of Six damage. Six points. It smashes uh, into nice. it. Gag me with a spell. Gag me with a spell. But it's spell. force damage, so that's cool. Um, and then for my actual <laughs> spell, I'm going to cast uh, Toll the Dead on it. Let's Love that. It. It's a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> wisdom, you yeah. say? <laughs> Uh, shit, does a 15. That misses, or that's, yeah, that fails. Uh, so, and she's been hit, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna use a legendary resistance. Okay, so she takes no damage then. As, uh, it, it gongs and she steals herself and one of them is down. <gasps> one of what? One of the, to- the legendary resistance says. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Uh, layer action. You all are uh, suddenly the, the two of you are zooped back into from from the dream. And ah! They are and underneath, the, the, dragon. underneath under the, dragon. the dragon. I need you both to make strength saving well, throws. Well, no. So, so Felix is here. Oh, yeah, Felix I'm is not under okay. the dragon. Okay. So but the I scar- am. And the scarab doesn't poof back. Yes. No, the so, gone. so fuck okay. your strength saving throw. <laughs> uh, Toa does a makes makes a strength saving throw though. Oh, strength. So you say I'm advantaged on those. Here. <gasps> I'm rolling like <laughs> shit. God, my lips hurt real bad. Um, and you're going to take half of this damage if you succeed. Mm-hmm. Oh wow, that was terrible. Is, this, no, that's, is he I still a uh, big too. Toa or is he regular Toa? Or rather, he's still big. I'm is still he big. big Toa or big Toa? He's, he's 19. Uh, so five, but it's a saving throw, right? Yeah. Five, six, seven, so 14, 15, 16, 17. 
Uh, so no, seventeen. It, 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 I rolled literally seven, so seven points of damage total. Oh. As you are pushed outside from underneath her, <laughs> uh, as that you direction. almost, as you have been enjoying, you you don't know how long you were at, uh, in that idyllic future with 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 Milo Toa. and Toa in the Makani Islands, but oh. you are it, it is terrible to get Where did back. You go. Yeah. Very pleasant place. You know, it's weird when we're in the middle of something and you just leave like that. I know. Why do you smell like coconut? <laughs> Am I still a charmed? Uh, from like two rounds ago, hold three on. rounds ago. What, what was you the probably one? should have had some sort of anti saving throw. No, you're not charmed anymore. No, nope, nope. Am I still blind? Uh, you need to reroll a, a saving throw. Oh, oh did well, I get to reroll at the end of my turn? You can do it. Okay, I'll do that. Then you're charmed. Right. Uh, and so you were no longer charmed. Wait, uh, wait, wait, how did I charm? And it's a what? Did you say it was Khan? Uh, it was Khan, yeah. Okay. It was some big AoE blast, and I failed. Okay, no, then first. you are, yeah, and you are no longer charmed. As you feel the, the power of the uh, the rod. Uh, the, the, the rod. I don't trust my head I anymore! Feel the With that, I feel the power it of the is, rod. Uh, as you <laughs> come, my servants, you will serve oh, me no. if they will not. And the golems uh, jump down again. Oh, classy. As they radiate, we're going to put one on each, three on each side uh, emerge, no. so one on each, two on going to go on Caprice. Yep, that makes because sense. she's fucking pissed at well, him. I'm thinking horrible, horrible things. Uh, as they are, uh, they land there. As they're all going to make attacks, they only have one attack just to save on time. We're going to two <clears> two <throat> on Caprice. Natural. Are they both? Wow, that was terrible. Okay, uh, nice. on Iris. Okay. <laughs> 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 Toa. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Okay, we got Felix left. They all miss. Roger that. Uh, I did not roll uh, higher than a five. Um, okay, that's it. And you feel that radi that you, they have that connection as uh, as they're all uh, there's some sort of magical connection between her and these uh, jade golems as they all pulse with that energy, and you feel their their arcane suppressions radiating out from them. Uh, with that, it is Toaster. Um. That was not very nice. I mean, it was pleasant, but it wasn't nice. And I'm going to uh, rage as my bonus action, and I will uh, I will attack twice. And I'll roll this all together because okay. So let me just put these dice together. That does not proc. Uh, that does not proc. I love these dice. Uh, 14 plus 11. 11 is... Let me just go to action. Oh, and I'm recklessly attacking. It should be... Just go ahead and saying. Um, uh, 14 plus 11 is a 20 that hits. And then these two go together. Ooh, this might actually miss. Uh, 6 plus 11 is 17 plus... 18, 19, 20. Does a 20 hit? It does. Okay. So, oh, okay. Let's see. That's our um, Thank you. So that's two hits. And I need a, some B4s for those as well. Uh, okay, so we have four, eight, uh, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, plus 20 is, tw- uh, so 29, 39 points of blood. 39, you smash and smash and smash and 39, Jesus. Mm. Uh, That's another use of rage. Okay, you're smashing in recklessly as she is going to... Uh, 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 uh. As she's going to uh, look... uh, she looks down and uses another of her legendary actions to, uh, say, You've returned, and you still strike me. You still resist my beautiful future. <sighs> so be it. <sighs> she, uh, leans down and, uh, centered on her, a fireball erupts. Oh, uh, she casts Whoa. fireball as uh, one of her legendary actions. I need to have every- to that. Um, I think she definitely need everybody except for Caprice. Uh, what's the radius? 30. 20. Yeah. 20 feet. Uh, 20. 20 is the radius. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone look at Priest. Happy to look it up, but it's I believe that it's 20. Town nice. Uh, well, the, the range is 150, but the the radius, the area is 20 feet. 20 foot area. And what is this again? Fireball. 
Oh, I'm sorry. We're not making a save. 21. Yes. Oh, dex save. A dex save. This is 19. Oh my god. I'm immune. 24. Are you just that all the time now? 10. 13. Only with Investiture of Flame, which is a 6 level spell. Oh, you yet? No. I'm digging it. 23 points of fire damage if you fail. Half of you succeed. I took one damage. So 11. 11 if you succeed. Shouldn't you still be hurting her with fire because of the adjacent? She's immune too. Okay. <laughs> With that, it is <laughs> whose turn is that even? I don't remember. You, you just go. Who's one? Toa. Uh, Toa. I was one. Toa. Okay. Uh, with that, the forge once again hammers, and you see, uh, as Torvald and uh, Herja are working feverishly, you can see that the each of these bursts uh, at, uh, of this energy, uh, there, there, it's the the power of of Striga, the power of death, is being channeled into this thing, and then uh, combining with each side of this double glaive and bursting out as it bursts out again, and you see that each, both Tur- Herja and Torvald, are slowly changing with each eruption. As you see that Torvald's hands are starting to harden and turn to a shade of jade. As you see Herja's, Herja is starting to get dark fur hair on her <gasps> arms as they are working away. It bursts out. Everyone, please make a wisdom saving throw for me as it erupts. What the hell? Yeah, what in the hell is right? Shit! Ooh. That's terrible! Can you uh, take out a twist for me? Yep. Me as well. Me too. Yep. Okay. That's great. I need to use my best d20. What is this? I got a 20. Yeah, I actually what? fucking killed 18? it for wisdom. This DC's 15. Oh, woo! 27. Uh, nat- Love that money. Natural 15. Oh, the DC's 15. Uh, we knew that. Yeah. He is a- I, I didn't know, know that, that but I'm also. But I'm glad I didn't. Yeah, Stupid yeah, as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid as hell. For That's this, it's it. her. So for all her DCs wow. are, are 19, the layer and the and the, the, the terrain are, are all 15. 12. 12. What side are you on? 12. D6. You are on Torvald side. D6 Torvald side. Yeah. Oh. What, girl? D6. Sorry. Roll a D6 for me, Tom. Oh, me. Sorry. Yeah. You sorry, failed, sorry. yeah. A six. six. Oh, that's the... Slow. Should, should one of us re-roll? Or, oh, uh, we slow? both got sixes. Yeah, so you're now under the effects of slow. As you feel the, the weight of, of shackles on you. Uh, with that. I don't Until the, until the next forge action, obviously. Um, okay, with that, it is Caprice's turn. I use a bite. I use a spell. Okay, that's all. I... You're slow. I think that I will just... If I... I don't remember how Thunder Wave... Um, it's a cube from it's you. It's a cube from you, so you can basically pick a cube so in front of you to go. If I move you. here, could I hit both of them with this cube here, or is that not? Coded? Well, you hit. You two. could go here, right, and point it that way, and then it's ten feet or across. You hit, you hit Iris as well. So, well, no, if it's this way. Well, I'm if, saying otherwise. If yes. he wants to hit the other two, it's it's gonna hit Iris. Okay, so, I'm gonna. So step yes, a, you can hit. You can hit both if you angle it. I'm gonna right step way. aside. I'm still singing uh, for the purposes of. Yo, I'll Ooh. tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Annoying uh, Rajani as much as possible. Is someone getting the best, 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 the best? And I cast Thunder Wave, uh, which they need to make a constitution saving Did you have throw. damage if they fail? Uh, yep. Uh, as soon as you do your, you scream they out the best, they're like, <laughs> and they all shatter. I hate Foo Fighters. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> Foo Fighters are overrated. Cave Girl isn't even that cool. <laughs> um, I'll turn towards Rajani uh, and, I, and I'll be like, uh, 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 fuck you, Rajani, you fucking beetroot. You got this, Toa. And I'll give him inspiration. Thank <laughs> you. I think she has one line during. Oh, no, she does not. Okay. Felix, you're up. Um, so this is after the fire and all the shit that's happened. Yep. The fireball. I, I'm suddenly thrust back into what is happening around me, and I I, I look at my hands as, as my brother turns to sand and, and, and drifts. Oh, he knows that's exactly what happens. He literally turns to sand. He no. looks at you terribly no. as he reaches out and begs no. for help, and then and then. No, then no, 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 no. That's a great idea. Thank you. Want my alone. No. That's a great idea. Thank you. <laughs> and and as I look from my hands up to Rajani, I say, How could you? 
How could she do this? And and I am no longer covered in flame. I'm steaming. Oh, as, okay. as, as 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 the the investiture flame is gone. It's like an Attack on Titan when ah. Aaron gets out of his Titan. That's all. That's literally. Steaming. I can't believe you would do this to me. And and I rear back, and then the uh, the the dagger begins to glow a purplish blue. And I, I lean forward as I cast Arcane Hand, and, and a giant fist comes from my fist towards Rajani as I oh, try to uh, uh, punch her in the head. Um, so that's gonna be. A, we need a hero. <laughs> I'm that's gonna be a regular attack. Just a regular attack here with bless because I'm I'm very blessed. Oh, let's go. That's gonna be a uh, 18 plus 11 is 29 to hit. 29 to hit. Oh, that'll hit. Yeah. So then we've got the old uh, 4d8 force damage. Force oh, damage is so. You, you are still charmed. Sorry. Keep going, keep rolling. Oh. You are I was like, charmed. bullshit, I'm charmed. Uh, you can you can re-roll at the end of your, your turn, though, so you can re-roll the, the charm. So I re-roll the two, and I roll like a fucking madman, and that's going to be 27 uh, damage to hit. Force damage. How much? 27 force damage. Smashes in, this big arcane hand erupts and uh, clocks her right in the jaw. You hear a loud crack as her long serpentine neck kind of is, is thrust to the side. And, and I do in, I do nothing else. And I she just, turns to you and says, I have shown you the future that I can bring you, what I can give you. And 27, let me just math that out before I forget. Okay. Okay, with that, it is, uh, she's out of, oh, it's her turn. It's Biggie Batty. Um, but Rich, you can re-roll the saving throw. I don't know if you re-rolled that. For the charm. I haven't re so I've had two turns. You've since had then. two one turn yeah, two, two turns since then. So just re-roll that. Okay, yeah, like give it a couple shots. Okay. Uh, okay. Them quick. With that, it is uh, her turn. <gasps> uh what's the DC? Uh, 19? Or no, 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 uh yeah, 19. Uh I don't know. Like a mate. <laughs> uh, this might actually be better. But you better. have, uh, you have, uh, this thing. Guidance. Do I? I gave yeah. you an inspiration. <gasps> yeah, inspiration, sorry. Yeah, so I pass. Mark that out. Because you'll at least get a one. Um, this is why we did that. <laughs> <laughs> I love this is why we did it. Bravo. <laughs> sir. And she is going to. Oh, and he's gone. But I need to do this anyway. And she's she's going to turn and says, "I have shown you, I have shown you the future that I have seen. Join me, join me." And she's going to cast Dominate Person. Wisdom saving throw. Is she going to do that? And uh, you're casting a spell on him. I'm and I'm going to attempt to. Spell. I was going to attempt to counter spell. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me. Do one of these, and let me do one of those. I can't do it that level, so it's a it's a fourth level cool. counter spell. Yeah. So I don't these know what I actually need to roll for it. It's actually not that hard to hit the roll. Did I just Ooh. lose a die? Hold on. Tempest one fifty one. I just watched. As I you. said, I had a shot on one fifty one. So I picked up a die, and it literally just imploded upon itself. It's gone forever. I heard yeah. it. It's right there. Kadunk, kadunk. Thank you. Okay, so what do I actually need to roll? You roll an intelligence check. The, it's 15. You see and 15. so you need to get a 15. With this, so it's, with my you make a roll plus 5. Oh, it's a, is it count as a save throw? Nope, it's just a roll plus Yikes. 5. It's okay. an ability check. It's, 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 it's just an int ability check. No, I'm good. I'm good. So if, as long as I don't roll a 6 or lower, meter beat, 15 or higher? Meter, yeah. 20, natural 20. Yeah, 20. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm gonna counterspell it, it's, and I'm I'm running very low on spells. She's trying very hard okay. to uh, okay. to bring you to her side. I'm With that, sweating. It is uh, profusely sweating. Lofty, Lofty. It's me. Yeah. You. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say, oh, it's so crowded in here, <laughs> and I'm gonna jam my spoon back under my arm, and then jam it forward into Rajani. Um, so the first uh, attack will be on uh, number five, mm -hmm. which is a battle hit. So it it bloops into it nothingness. Bloops away. And then the secondary hit will be Johnny. It's a 19 plus nine, so 28 to hit. 28 to hit, okay. That hits. Wait, how many damage did that do? Sorry. 
She has a rule damage. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a rule damage I, yet. You um, killed the golem. Got yes. it. Right. Right. Yes, I killed the golem. Um, and just for the, the sake of things, I will make a secondary hit on our Johnny. Measure. Just like nope. all together, which we'll miss. So that's going to be nine damage. Nine damage. You smash your spoon and uh, knock some scales away. As that I got one of those. Okay. <clears throat> uh, with that, she uh, looks around. <laughs> well, I guess this is it. It is death for you. I will survive and get to the future that I have seen. And her wings uh, reach up and smash down with another wing attack. Everyone except, uh, can, does it actually hit Caprice? Uh, uh, 15, 15 feet away? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Sma- sma- uh, everyone yeah, needs to yeah, make yeah. a dexterity saving throw for me, because he's 19. Huh, 19. Ooh. I think I'm good. I, I got a 19. I tied. Yeah. Need your beat. 18, uh, 18 damage and prone. 16 plus 3. 18 bludgeoning and prone. two on this d4. 20. Oh! 18 and prone, if not, and then half of that, which yes, is nine. Not nine damage if you succeeded. And not prone. Ow! Ouch. Hey, I was gonna say that. <laughs> Jinx, okay. you owe me a healing potion. It's like oh, nine damage I don't have an... if you succeeded and you're also not prone? You are not prone. Yeah. It's 18 you damage failed. if you failed, and then six, and then and, and she, not prone. And she flies. Otherwise, nine just, if you didn't. And once not again. Prone. Correct. Y'all better be taking them. Seeing that, them and for lands and oh my fla- God. is this uh, flying right Is here. there a uh, opportunity attack? Oh, she's it's fly by when she uses that. Fly okay. by night. As you are burst. She flies by night away from here. Okay, with that, it is, um, ha ha ha. It is Iris' turn. Um, I'm going to try and attempt to hit her with my... Oh, I'm not at disadvantage with my... Correct. Yeah, no, if you're still blind, you're not as advantage still. So. Yeah. So where does your actual weapon go? Uh, it fails. It will well, just be. It was like it around here. Yeah, you just move it over. over. Yeah. Right. We're good. Um, and then I'm going to cast. <laughs> I'm going to cast mass cure wounds at a fourth level. Let's fucking go. Four. So, uh, all of us. You feel the warm sand as it heals your wounds with the blessings of Anubis. With that... 21. 21? Ooh! That's good money. That's really good money. It's really good money. She is... going to... use a... Hmm. Me. Uh, she is going to. Who's coming up? What's the range of advantage of that touch? Uh, no, no, sixty feet. Sixty feet. Uh, she is going to see see Caprice, and she's going to look down. And she is going to use her uh, last legendary action to um, cast uh, banishment on you. I can. Nope. Nope. I'm out of reactions. As she says, no, know, "You, you are the one. You are the one who have turned them all against me. You are a being of chaos." And uh, so you need me. It was a uh, uh, Christmas saving throw, please. Should I try a raw counter spell? It's a fourth level. Couldn't say we got. So if you got three or better, you're in good shape. I will attempt the counter spell. Uh, you turned everyone against yourself trying to subjugate our minds with your crazy bullshit. <laughs> uh, and I need to roll. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it at third level. So it, as a. So it should still be 15, right? Three to four, four to five. It's all 15. Yeah. Right? It's all 15. So right, I need to. Right. Ro- what do you mean it's all 15? So, so like, it's a 14. He's getting a 14. It's a DC 14 because yeah. it's 10 plus yep. the level of the spell. Yep. Oh. And the yes. level of the counter spell, if, if you're not hitting the spell level, it doesn't matter what it is. It yes. doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. right. So oh, I, roll. Wow, you can use a 1 to try to counter. That's fucked up. Okay, guys. So <laughs> I, 14. Uh, I need to roll a no. 9 or higher. Yeah. That's hey! A 17. That's a 17. There you go. 17? Okay, you counter spell it as you feel the... Uh, 
the, the, the magic being uh, getting ready to whip you away to a dream world. Ooga chaka, 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 ooga chaka. And you can tell it's actually working. Uh, in her unhinged state with that, it is, whose turn was it? Uh, it was Loop D and I, Iris, Iris, Iris so and now it's Lair Action. Probably yeah. Lair, Lair and, and then And so uh, first, the golems are going to make their attacks to grapple. Uh, on, Fee- on Toa's advantage, yep. that's going to be a natural 20. Oof. Uh, 6, 10, 15. 19 points of bludgeoning damage. As uh, Are you still massive? Yes. They're unable to grab you. That. We got an attack on Felix. Really That's going to be an 18 to hit. It's a, it's an attack? Yeah. Uh, I cast shield. Okay. So then uh, it goes the, up to the 21. Shield. Yeah, no, it, it, what did you call it? Uh, one's going to walk towards Iris. Oh, no, I just, I'm kidding. I don't have my reaction. I don't okay. have my reaction. You get me. Okay, that hits. Okay. Yeah. Smash into you. are now grappled yep. with uh, 13 points of uh, bludgeoning damage. Okay. And we're going to make an attack on Iris. So then I got a cat roll for And that is going to be, uh, I'm going to say, 14. Oh, no, Felix. And I'll be laying on the ground and I'll kind of wave my hand and a uh, spectral boar will pass through and take some of that damage. And with that, Damn. um... So seven, seven. All right, all right, all right, all right. I still got to roll for concentration. And with that, her eyes go wide and they shimmer and glow and they they, they, they glow with this golden light. And she says, yes, I, I can see the future. I see the possibilities. Yes. And uh, she is advantaged on all uh, rolls for the next. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm good. For the next. Uh, Plus seven. So, uh, the next round. This is four to seven. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I passed okay. my concentration. Uh, with that, it's Toa's turn. Uh, I will... I'm still slowed, correct? Yes. Okay, so I will stand up. So I only have 20 feet. I'll stand up. I only have 10 feet. Oh, I feel so tired. I look at Rajani and... Uh, actually, hold on. Let me let me see if... Let me check something real quick. Yeah, that'll be better. Uh, um, I'm going to say... Uh, Johnny, don't hurt Caprice. And I'm going to take out a javelin. Oh. And I am going to chuck it oh. at Rajani. <laughs> uh, reckless, well, reckless attack is only for melee, right? No, and it's, a, it's an attack. Oh, no, melee weapon attacks. Okay, so let's be normal. Ooh. 20 is easy. Four plus... 16? Uh, four, five, four plus 11 is what? Is 15. 15. Um, I think there's this here. You're not inspired anymore. But I have bless. That's and I can't hit it, right? Right. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So yeah, I, just, I, I miss. It clatters off of the side. It hits one of the, the unactivated uh, jade golems. Um, and because I'm slowed, I can only do one attack. Um, oh my gosh. Mark and so game. I will instead... Um, I will say, Nico, maybe you can help. And I'm going to bonus action. Uh, my bracelet is going to glow blue, and a watery shark will emerge. Oh, and uh, that's right. And chomp. Miko emerges. The shark made of seawater. You smell the sea. What do you got here? If this were Final Fantasy VII, tell it'd be me a we Miko don't have a reactor. shark. You know, we should get a shark. We need to get like a bucket of mammals, or it's a water or ant fish. So. <laughs> we'll use this. Hag. Sure. Uh, the hag is a shark. The hag is a shark. The cooldown is just a day, right? Yeah. On that. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You're, you're way good. Cool. Dawn recharges at dawn. Nico, Nico, Nico. Damn, I remember Friday. Damn, that thing is mean. It was nasty. Nico, so, <laughs> this is a water shark. <laughs> just and pretend. I, and it's <laughs> pretend it's a game. shark. It's game. Uh, yeah, and so then it's going to show up. And it's magical. And it's magical. And it is going to... Um, it's not going to work very well. 13, 2 oh, 8 plus 4 no. versus... Did you say watermelon folk? Okay, yeah, so it's going to um, <laughs> slam her with two attacks, actually. So slam her! Ah, oh, one hit. So mm-hmm. uh, and it's going to be uh, 2d8 plus 4. So, 2d8. I love it. Can you see what it was? I love it. The sound was, was so fucking good. <laughs> hold on, hold on. 
Hold on, I'm gonna turn my flashlight on and see what the is. No, I got nothing. No way. No, it's too murky. Hold on. We, we got no, a dice bullshit. in the whiskey cup. A bullshit. A dice it's too murky. It's too murky. No way. This, oh, this overhold is pretty dark. Yeah. No, you're toast. Okay, I'm gonna roll a different D8. Why is it that everyone's dice is in the I don't know. Uh, four, I got a dice stuck in this can. That shit is, it made the perfect No. <laughs> it was such Indeed. a good clue. Uh, oh, shit, sorry. Um, that is eight points of magical bludgeoning. Okay. okay. Smashes into it. That yeah. shit is so funny. I'm not gonna fish it out, it's just gonna okay. be in there. You'll get it actually. Just don't take two giant yeah. gulps. Okay, with right. that, it, uh, once again, <laughs> uh, Torvald and Herja are working tirelessly, each one transforming more and more with each round that passes as another burst of uh, energy from both sides of the glaive bursts out across the room. I want to make a wisdom saving throw for DC 15. You know the drill at this point. If you fail, roll D6 for me. I'm way over. I'm good. I'm good. I didn't pass. Oh, I'm good. I'm Wisdom way over. Saving throw. 19. How do we have, uh, do we have a... Yes, yeah, we twist. have twist. Okay, I'm gonna twist it. Yeah. Okay. I know I failed. Yeah. How are we feeling? Feeling good. Well, twist if you want to twist it, twist it. We got, some, we, got, we got a few to spare. You need to be alive. I announced to everyone before this started that I was low on spell slot, so I'm very low. Yeah, let's twist this. Okay. You gotta twist it. As little amount of damage uh, as possible. I need a please. 13 or higher. Oh, oh, a yeah. natural 20. Gotta get it high. Like six, and for a second, these dice are hot. The power of the sides of these things. As, <laughs> as you see that they're getting closer and closer to rot uh, these, uh, to work these, uh, these uh, different glaives into one single weapon, util- util- utilizing that silvery power uh, with them. Uh, and with that, Hmm. Maybe we should be doing something. Caprice's about. turn. It is Caprice's turn, correct? Oh, no. shit. Um, I will turn, and instead of singing, I'll stop. And I'll hold my bow and my um, viol, my viol up. And I'll just be like, we can stop right now. We can stop all of this. We, we never really had a chance to talk about it. You showed us a bunch of crazy dreams, and, 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 and uh, we, we know how passionate you are about this. I suggest you calm down and just sit with us to talk. I'm going to cast Suggestion to see if I can get her to stop combat. What, no. is, what is the uh, the DC? In DC is 17, wow. and it's a uh, wisdom wow. saving throw. Fuck wisdom. Wait, she's shitty to wisdom this oh, whole she, time? She's immune to charm. It doesn't I'm going to be so mad. Me. She's not immune to charm. Really? I'm going to be so mad if she's shitty to wisdom Maybe this whole time. Maybe they're not Shitty to I wisdom. I just assumed the dragons were wise as fuck. Okay. <laughs> That's the title of my memoir. DC shitty 17. to wisdom. DC 17. I am shitty uh, to wisdom. I'm going to use legendary resistance. As it, That's as what I wanted. You're, you're beautiful. Your, your words seem to wash over her, and then she blinks and she stops for a moment and says, I will not listen to your lies. I know whom you serve, and you should kneel. I am good. You are tainted by evil. You are all tainted by evil and chaos. I am doing good. You think you do, you think that you are doing the work of the heavens? Why do you wage war against me? And with that, uh, uh, he'll, he'll, I'll quickly turn to uh, Felix and uh, uh, be like, uh, c- c- "Come on, buddy! Uh, I'll like it. Uh, hell, uh! And uh, give you uh, the inspiration. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I'm a big fan. <laughs> That was I'm smooth as butter. I'm, I'm a very hurt. That's classic Caprice. <laughs> it's vintage. <laughs> uh, Felix. Uh, um, I, I'm almost like not even hearing what Caprice is doing, even though I feel the weave wash over me. Yeah, and and then I'm I, ah, How could you? You don't know me. You don't know Milo. You don't know anything. And as a bonus action, I, I swing in with the fist. It, it flies at her. Flies. Uh, that's going to be a, just a regular Damn. old magic attack plus 11. Oh, let's go. Uh, that's going to be a 33 to hit. That hits, yeah. Yeah, Felix is on fucking fire at the moment. Uh, yeah, I mean, I use my die, but feel free. I don't know what happened to my actual uh, inspiration token. It's somewhere here in this the house. massive arcane hand flies forward. Oh, is it large? I'm on it right now. It is, yeah. I mean, I, there, I'm saying, oh, so I can reroll this two. Are you not it's large It's still a anymore? two. No, I am. I 
So that's Basically. gonna be 10, 15, uh, 15 plus five is gonna be 20 points of force damage. Uh, and then as a bonus action, I'm gonna follow up with an ice knife. Sorry, the, the, the moving in the attack was the bonus action. My normal so attack's gonna be an ice knife. You feel as the hand goes forward that the suppressing magic would have lowered that uh, sure. attack roll by two, but it doesn't sure. matter because you got a 33. Uh, and then I'm also going to use a third level ice knife because that's my actual yep. action. How much damage was that? I'm sorry. I'm it sorry. was 20. 20 force damage. Nice. Uh, so I will smash roll. into it. Her, her blood is flowing from her wounds. Uh, to hit, that's going to be a 26 that with the ice knife. Come on, why are all my pens running out? <laughs> the, the problem here is that Caprice is probably getting hit again. Uh, you don't know. Bingo bango. There's a blue ink joy in the Batman. It's going to be a 15. Yeah, uh, blue ink joy, please. 22. Oh, thank you. Uh... Nope. 27 ice damage to uh, uh, 27 ice damage to Rajani. Roger that. 24 oh. ice damage to Caprice. <gasps> what about my water element? I'm unconscious. Oh no! I'm, I'm no. Not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, yeah, to to the to the water elemental as well. Uh, the the 24, not the 27. And I believe he's resistant. Uh, sure, uh, I figure. To... <clears throat> so is Caprice. That's why I just let it rip. <laughs> As it, the ice knife fires in and explodes, ice shards burst out, going into Miko and to Caprice. Uh, and with that, um, but it's a no. Yeah, you're no. Wait, wait. I, I apologize. One second. Give me one second. I apologize. One second. Yeah. So if you guys pass a Dex saving throw, you oh. don't have to take it. Oh, oh really? What's dex seventeen. Dex seventeen. You're probably good. No, nope. Miko, you got this. I mean, it's like no damage. You're both resistant. Like yeah, you're fine. fine. These are collateral. It's it's all part of the plan. Yeah, you fine. just He's... cut my health in in a third. Yeah, you're good. Water elementals are hard resistant to cold. Well, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Let's do the freezing. Nah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah. So that's uh, that's all my that's my turn. Some of the stat blocks are weird. Cat's not having dark vision. It's no, 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 that's my turn. She uh, is going to move back as she is regained. I've, she's recharged her fire breath as she leans. <sighs> I'm doing this for the good of Avantress. <gasps> and a massive burst of golden yep. flame. Dexterity yeah. saving throw. And I'm gonna uh, take she that needs one. to she needs to move back. Can, uh, she needs to get Caprice to. If I'm yeah. uh, if I'm grappled, is it a, a disadvantage? Me, oh, I don't know. Let me see. I need to twist. Natural no. twenty. No. No. It's not a disadvantage. Natural this is Dex, 20. correct? Yes. It's a natural well, I'm definitely gonna fail anyway. Dice. I fail. Oh, I need natural. to roll it. What is it again, Dex? Yep. Maybe I'll roll shitty. Yeah, I are fail. we all doing it? Are we all doing it? I got yeah. a natural. One. Yeah, we're all in it. And I fail. Nineteen. Can I twist? You may, but we're very low. Fifteen. Yeah, I got a natural. One. You're twisting. Wait, Dex? Yes. DC's 15 or 19? 19. 19. Oh, it's yeah. 19. I failed. I, I'm not even going to re-roll. It's not worth it. I can definitely pass it. I just rolled okay. a natural one. You're wrong this. Yeah. I failed. Uh, I failed. 25. I failed as well. Whatever. This is how combat goes. Combat. Combat. Oh my god. Wombat. This might be the end. I rolled no, four. No, we're good. I we're rolled good. four ones. Okay, four. He's resistant to fire. He's a fucking devil. Four. Oh. Uh... I forgot. Shep knows four. that well. 24. Yes. Knew that well. I'm actually nice resistant to uh, oh. fire, cold, and poison. Now. Yep. 30, 36. As long as he doesn't say 48, we're fine. 43 points of uh, fire damage. Okay. As it bursts out. So that what's half so of 43? 20, 20, 20, 21. 21. So we can pass that. As it bursts, we can pass that. I roll very poorly. I roll very, did very you? poorly. Did you? Did you, Mike? Yeah, it doesn't feel like you did. I got four ones. I got four ones. I take ten. Uh, I drop my concentration. Believe it or not. <laughs> so the arcane hand. Uh, ten if you pass. Whoop. Yep. This baby's hand. Baby's hand. Some moment. Okay. With that, it is Lufty's turn. Gosh, I'm really far away. Um. I gave it all I got. Dang. Thank you. I don't have much left. Me neither. God, I can just get to I her. like these two fights in a day thing. It makes it challenging. Agreed. Isn't 
Doesn't Wizard of the Coast be like, you need 13 combats a day yep. in order to <laughs> yep. make this real? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, we expect, yeah, 30. It actually is a combat. Unpopular combats. opinion. Watsy can Sugma. Yikes. What's that? Um, so I'm going to. <laughs> that was not very nice. Watsy but I'm going to dash up to Rajani, um, swing right my spoon, and just, just in a flurry of blows. As spells and as the the is going. You're not so what you're right? saying is that the blows are flurry. I don't think no, you ran out. Oh, it's basically yeah. it resets at the end of each uh, forge phase. So, but I'm still blinded. Still? Uh, are if you, that was from the spell, then yes. You are you revved well. up like a douche? <laughs> <laughs> blinded by This was not the first time that, that Lucy would give a flurry of blows. <laughs> nor would it be the last. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> What's it? Uh, Twenty. Uh, how many enemies are in the room? Say that in a Morgan Freeman voice. <laughs> so I got one hit. You know, I'm not that. sitting in a tiny the first. You smack, and she is blocking with her claws as you and manage to only get one. Just let out. me hit you! Uh, Did you frame was a tall drink of water? <laughs> um, but I will uh, spend a key point to make it a stunning streak. Oh, Roger that. <laughs> That's A plus money right there. It's top Six shelf. damage, but hopefully a stunner. <laughs> Six damage, rather than that, okay? What's the uh, save for... Uh, I'm not going to say it until he rolls. <laughs> Kong? 16. Is it Kong? Is it Sunny Strike Kong? Uh, yeah. I'm Kong, sorry. 16. God damn it. All right. You what smack you her on the head with that, uh, but she managed to resist the stun, and with that... she's just sleep! She is going to... Uh, Swing around with her tail and smash it down on you, Lefty. Oh, guys! Uh, that's that's gonna hit. It's gonna be twenty. Better you than me. Yeah, you're on your fucking <laughs> own. Oh, oh. oh my god! <laughs> awfully. Where are my d8s? You're gonna take no sixty points of bludgeoning damage. Smashes into you. <laughs> Iris, you're up. Iris. Um, I am going to use my bonus action. My cast bonus action. Mass healing word. Oh, uh. Oh, On all of us. Let's fucking go. It's mass healing word. What word so. is it? Ugh. Legs. Ah! The word is legs. For a total of six points. Six points of healing. <laughs> Iris coughs. Six for everyone? Yes. <coughs> well, I'm fine now. None of her damages will ever hurt me ever again. <laughs> Everything's fine. I'm still I dead. I'm going dead. to use my... Oh. Better than I thought. I'm going to use my action to... Oh, I told the dead her. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, wisdom. Wiz? No. Uh, 20. She passes, she, nothing happens. She passes as the as gong, uh, rings out. And with that... We're getting our arses handed to us. It is... Oh, we're, we're, we're fine. We've never been better. Uh... I feel and, like I've felt better. <laughs> she's gonna use a... She's gonna use a legendary action. Mm. I'm about to get my... Right, please, huh? Sanded me here. <laughs> and she is going to. Uh, look at. Who's coming up? Uh, Iris. Oh, uh, yeah, she's. I think she's too far away for that. So she is going to look at. She doesn't worry about that. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. Um. She's just going to swing down with her tail on uh, on on Lufty again. As you know, on Caprice. Well, thank you. You made sure to take six healing points, right? And that's going to be two... <laughs> Fourteen? Yes, Is that did. it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it misses as she, sw oh, she swings, Lucky slams down. Okay. Her. Roger that. Okay, uh, with that, it is a uh, layer action. Are you wearing a Mr. Clean shirt? No, I'm not. A I'm wearing a clean. Oh, okay. Shirt. The, uh, all the golems hey, are going to, to stalk forward when they're going to make their attacks. Wife, <laughs> on uh, 12 on t uh, Toa. That, uh, on, on what you call it? It's going to be on Felix. It's going to be a 24. Uh, 
Excuse me? A 24 on Felix. To hit. To hit. Yeah, that's gonna hit. And then, uh, it's 12 on Iris, so it dodged out of the way, so, uh, can you march him forward toward, towards Iris? And the, then, yeah. The oh. As he's gonna smash into you. They're just a little full. And grapple you. And the, wait, 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 I'm already grappled. So oh, so he's just by crushing seven. you. He's yeah, crushing yeah, you. Yeah, 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 he's crushing you. Damage? Uh, it, it is no. It is uh, twelve points of bludgeoning damage. Oh, uh, as, as he's crushing your your, your body. Uh, okay, and then she's going to say, "I can still convince you that we do not have to fight. You are right." And she burst out again to send you to the dreamscape. Uh, charisma saving throw, please. For everyone. Yep. Everyone in the room. DC fifteen. Wisdom. Oh, way higher. Oh, Christmas, Christmas. I'm sorry. I way higher. I got like a 22. Yeah. I'm good. I rolled a I'm good. 16. So I'm 26. Good. You're good. You're good. You're good, uh, brother. I'm Lufty, good. You're good. you see Lofty blink out of existence. And oh fuck. That was my whole fucking plan, Lofty. Why do you have to suck so much? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Just kidding. Dude. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, but not really. We're in deep fucking shit here. <laughs> My whole plan was on Lofty staying alive. What, what do you mean we're in deep fucking shit? I mean, I can twist it, but like... No, you can't. No, no you, you cannot. Oh, I can't. Oh, we're what? Out. Guys, we're, we're out. We're out of twist. We're, we're out of twist. <laughs> we're raw dogging this D&D right now? No! <laughs> this is real D&D, folks. How often do you raw dog D&D? As you emerge once again in the middle of... I love like, this got the music ready. Uh... A, a raucous, a wild party in Kirstein. People are absolutely wasted. Hammer, you are surrounded by no fewer than twelve men that are looking <laughs> at you lasciviously, and oh. it is an absolute dream. And they all have tendrils on their uh, on on their chin. I don't all, even the, mind. All of them are just pointing straight up. Yeah, they're, they're straight up. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and actually, as you step and as you see, you have your pick. They're humanoids of all varieties. And it's as a great brother Gruber's there. He raises a, a, a stein. As you, it is absolutely perfect. As you are the the it's it's the festival, and you've been crowned the queen of this year. As you have been, oh, always so will right. be. Uh, and Basically. as you are just feeling like you. You have your pick of all these men. You see a figure I walk forward. I want you to turn into a turtle. Walking for a second. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Oh my god! Mike, go home. You're drunk. <laughs> Just kidding with me. What's and his name? Mike? You've never been more attracted. <laughs> To this, <laughs> my turtle. Like I literally hate right now. <laughs> and he's very saucy fingers. <laughs> Only three. <laughs> his fingers are as thick as this. Like this. Like imagine. I told you that in confidence. Imagine if I had three fingers as thick as this sangria. Just penguin, imagine. Penguin style. Let it sink in your brain and, folds. And as he steps forward, he just says one word: cowabunga. <laughs> When D and D and IRL can collide, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I personally uh, wish that I was dead. That's <laughs> a story for Evandris and Chill. So this if you want to understand over. why that happened, stick around. Stick after around and show. sub, I guess. <laughs> Shit. Anybody shares out a story, I'm <laughs> quitting the group. Yeah, well, we're gonna share it. So goodbye. No, no. Quitting. Oh, respect. Well, I won't. I will no, not. We should. Well, uh, yeah. It's a turtle. And with that, <laughs> it's, it's, it is it's a turtle. turtle. We'll give her a couple uh, more white claws and she'll share the story yeah. herself. <laughs> Good old white claws. Uh, and with that, nice. uh, Toa, oh, it's your bed. turn. I bite my lip and then we flash back to the scene. <laughs> <laughs> So hold on. So I I come to and I'm not slowed anymore. Nope. I'm totally normal. Yep. I'm still raged. So let me just make sure. Back. So hold on. I, I just want to count to make sure that I have. So Are five, you ten, as as fifteen, fuck? twenty. Uh, you can dash. Twenty-five and a. As long as you don't need your bonus action, you can dash. Oh, I can get there easy. Oh, you're good. Yeah, because barbarians are fast as fuck. Uh, yeah. So I move from there to here, and I am finally within range. And I'll say. The spirit of Maka flows through me! We'll show you that your path is not the right one! And I'm going to attack twice. Um, <laughs> Stop resisting. <laughs> Do we know her AC? 20. 20. Uh, it'll be reckless. Is it worth doing power attacks? Probably. Uh, that's right. That, that is dicey, my what friend. What are the Should we do some calculations? What's your plus? That? What's your plus? Uh, it is a plus. 
11. Uh, no, it's not. It's, this is wrong. So it's plus 11 minus 5. Six. No, no, it's I'm plus. asking what your plus is. Fuck the minus. It's 11, right? So normally it's 11, but a power attack, it only becomes a then plus no, 6. no, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I can tell you it's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Not worth it. Uh, okay, so I am going to... Not worth. It's not worth, I agree. Uh, so I'm going to make... Um, hmm. Make a wall. That's one attack. Yeah. That hits. Uh, then another attack. Oh, no. Six, oh, no. seven, eight, nine. That does hit. It's a 20. Okay, on the two. Uh, let me check to see if in, in either of those attacks proc Wind Fury. That is a 30. Ooh, 76! Proc, mean. proc? Proc is, means to trigger it, it's an short, effect. It's short for procedural. Hmm. But it's a term from our RPGs. So yeah. if you if you know, know World of Warcraft, uh if you've ever been being attacked in Warsaw Gulch in 2004 by a fucking troll Never have. Uh, shaman motherfucker, and he's attacking with a big two-handed weapon for some reason. And then reason. all of a sudden it's, and, all of a sudden it's <laughs> and you die instantly, that's what happens right now. Procedural. Proc is short for procedural, and it's a programming thing. Like, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that is another hit. So that is three <gasps> hits. Um, so one, two, three... One. Hurts you is personally offended by your, your, your bringing it up. Oh my god. I You know, if, if you were an alliance back in vanilla, nothing worse. They frost shock you, and then you're moving like you're basically frozen. Oh, let it ride. Okay, let's mm, let her rip here. Not bad, not bad at all. Uh, 9, 10, uh, 20, uh, 30, 35, plus 30. Oh my god. Is 65, 65 uh, points of magical bludgeoning damage. So half because magic. <laughs> and then a quarter. As you smash in over and over and over again, you're chipping away, and now the cracks and the wounds all over her scale, she's bleeding. Uh, she is taking, she's looking rough as you're smashing into her over and over again. Um, um, I'll say. Uh, I will say so. That was my action. Uh, let me just look at my uh, my notes here. Uh, <laughs> I say, Miko, get over there! And I'll see Miko, and he's he since he took part of that ice knife, he's actually partially frozen, and so he's slower now. Oh. Um, and so that's right. His oh, speed shit. is now ten feet. So he goes. And that's all he can he's do. The, oh, he's, he's, he's right. He's right. No, I think he's just shy, right? No, she no, no. no. To, she, she's back there. No, there, there, there's uh, no she way. She backed up to smoke us. Um, oh, all right. Um, and then for my bonus action, a frozen uh, shark. I don't think I have anything else to do. So uh, that's my turn. Okay. Caprice and then feel it. Caprice and then uh, feel it. So the once again, uh, Torvald and Herja are working away tirelessly. They're changing more and more, and suddenly another burst of the forge. No, no, no. no Everyone, no. make a uh, wisdom saving throw, please. Oh. It's been ten turns. Oh m- uh, no. Uh, close, but no. Mega pass. I got 21 base, and then you said what? Charisma or wisdom? Uh, wisdom. What's um, the, 27. What's the Way over. 15. Oh, yeah. Way over. I didn't do it. 14. Oh, wait. Do I have to do it? I'm not even there. <gasps> No, you're not there, no. <gasps> 15 Ooh. exact. So Caprice is the only one that rolls a uh, d6 for me, please. A d6? And you're on the chaos side. That's where I'm a Viking. Oh, no. I'll take a six, please. Oh, no. A six. No. Um, oh, as no. you, uh, as you, as it bursts out, you feel the, uh, the, 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 the power of Baphomet. As, as although his avatar is slain, his weapon is still there, and the pure chaotic energy, you're breathing, you are completely overwhelmed with the power to hunt and to kill and to feast on blood, and you are, you overwhelm yourself and you are stunned. Is that a penis cake? Yeah. Oh okay. my god. What you are stunned Kelsey for the next time. Come I know. Kelsey this sounds a family time. fucking wife on Twitch. What the <laughs> fuck, man? And with that, it's Caprice's turn. If I'm you can below this table right now. So that's my... You're stunned, and so you can't do anything. I can't notice a penis. You are... are uh, 
stunned and paralyzed, like and you uh, <laughs> then what you, you come to again. Like, uh, it was so I am I still restrained by these. I'm, uh, restrained. I'm grappled by these uh, these jade golems. I focus on my knife and and I, I look to toe and I say, uh, uh, so please end it, save us as as the. Uh, the jade golem tightens and cracks what you hear are ribs and blood begins to drip from my mouth. Oh, no. And I cast haste on Tella. Ooh, Ooh. Roger that. That's a classic. Snaps. Classic classic beanie. combo. Classic beanie deenie weenie. And move. that's my whole turn. But <laughs> I am I am uh, there is there is a visible amount of blood dripping from my mouth and you hear you hear you you hear cracking. My I'm in deep shit. Oh will Felix! Just hang in there! That's my whole turn. Nice scream. As she sees uh, Caprice getting stunned and blasted by the power of Baphomet, it's like, see, I knew you, I knew you were of them. And she leans as he as he uh, raises, like, I am the fury of the celestial planes. I do the will of the gods. Fear me! As her voice booms out, and she's a frightening presence. Everyone, please make a wisdom saving throw for me and see if you are feared. Trust these dying. Nineteen. Woo! Oh, that's exactly boy. what I rolled. Whew. Plus seven. Natural one. Can so you like to confirm what I rolled here? Yikes! I uh, fail miserably. <laughs> you are frightened. Miserably. You are frightened. One. It, you said it's whiz. Whiz. 50, uh, Nineteen. Yep. As she is then going to use her Wait. full. Uh, she's going to. Uh, you're frightened. That's a tie for me. So meter, meter, meter beat. Meter yeah. beat. Uh, then I'm good. Woo! Uh, she uh, leans down, Caprice, and smashes into you. It's with her you jaws. You're doing an attack. Attack. Yeah. Let me check. Let me you. check. Let me check. You're no longer stunned. Let me check. Let me check. Okay. Uh, that is going to be a. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. That's going to be like a twenty-five to hit. Oh, 29. Sorry. Okay, that hits. Uh, so okay, um, it's going to tear into you. No, you don't get any bonus to... Mm, yikes. 15 points of piercing damage as she tears into you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and dex saving, that's it. He's... She's going to then bring her claw down into you. I am... Uh, he's well, he, he's disadvantaged, he by oh, the way. She is? All, of her, all of her melee attacks are disadvantaged. Okay, oh, I'm, uh, of, uh, so that was it. I'm gonna keep that first roll. Oh, really? So I'm gonna roll again. Hold on. I'm taking a. Uh, it's the same roll. It's the same okay. roll. Okay. So fine. She tears into you, bites, and you're down. I am now unconscious. I am taking my first steps across the rainbow bridge. Well, a, a, a a a. Uh, Isn't that just her dog? A a uh, spectral tuna will will jump person. out of the water <laughs> and try to take some <laughs> of that damage. Some I don't know if can I go. Hey, right? we're trying to we're trying to uh, absorb some of your damage. Oh, the spring. Would you say a spectral tuna? Well, tuna. Points, it reduces the damage by twelve. Oh, so it's only like minus three. Like a tuna. Milo, you got anything sporty like a tuna? Uh, if it's only minus three, <laughs> then I am so still, I'm still, I'm still conscious. <laughs> I'm still conscious. So I'm back up. Breeze though. Thanks, to ah! oh, Fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck up. And her claw is just falling right after it. She so swipes into you. Advantage? Disadvantage. Yep. Seventeen. Uh, I will say, uh, is that Baphomet? And I'll use cutting words. It's negative one d ten from her attack, which necessarily means it misses because my D okay. is seventeen. So, yes! so that's what says, where? <laughs> she turns it out and it just totally whips. And then and she's the <laughs> oldest trick in the book. I will not be fooled again. And she swings her claw around at you. Please, it's got to be like a one, two, or three misses me. Do I come back? Well, uh, no, she's your, coming back on around. Your turn. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna be twenty-five to hit. Yeah, that one hits. So you miss your turn. So. It's better than uh, it's death saves. Yeah. It was you will. Worthwhile. You will. You have to come back. Let me come back. You can blame it all on. Oh, me. Oh, 13 points of damage. Thirteen points of slashing 15 damage. Fifteen points of damage. 13, 13. 13. Okay, and let's do this right. again. What? <laughs> Minus With that, zero. it is her uh, Lufty's turn. Uh, Lufty, you are once again you are partying in whatever you want to do. Uh, it is the best night describe of your life. Describe it. <laughs> <laughs> you can describe what the best night of your life is if you'd like to. No, I shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> and Iris, Iris, I shouldn't. Uh, I'm gonna turn and look at all of my friends, <laughs> and I am going to use five charges of my staff. 
You know what? And I'm uh, gonna cast Mass Cure Wounds let's on all go. of my friends. Let's fucking go. Capri, since you're down, you will take max healing. Oh, Thank really? You, Grave Great Cleric. Cleric. Let's wow. go! Wow. So you're gonna Mike, take, let us play these characters. <laughs> uh, 3d8 plus 5. It's. I mean, it's something. Yeah. I think that our party, like, in full force with Herja, is, like, the most OP no, we're party that you could possibly do. I have a million counter spells, and that's the only thing I need. Everyone, everyone else takes 23, except for Lifty. That's oh, my God. Good. No, that's wow. literally life saving. I'm so basically good. max health. I shouldn't have said that, but, Mike, I'm basically max health. <laughs> you know, I know. <laughs> I'm not. But have that, you ever been kicked in the nuts by a dragon? <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> you're about to get kicked in the nuts. And because that was my staff, my action, yeah. I'm going to use my bonus action to Bo-zang. cast Mass Healing Word and do more healing. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> you know, I miss all the good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and that is... Oh, you miss all of it! 1d4, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, oh, it's Mass! That's fair! So that's nine more points of healing. Let's fucking go! I'll take every fucking point. That was max healing. Every max healing fucking there. point. So, yes. Mike, I'm not max health, but I am one less than max. <laughs> no way! Max don't, don't even tell him he's that. In, he's oh. an inch away from death, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> and that's my turn. No, I want it. What was the plus for the second? Uh, the plus for the second was uh, nine, because it was max. I healing accept. Max healing As <laughs> she looks at that, she yeah. use her last uh, two legendary actions. To... Uh, to, as, as, as the power yeah, we all radiate with golden sand as your wounds begin to close. Just blast after blast. <laughs> as, as, it's almost as if uh, as the virus is like, oh, this oh. is the burn phase. We and need to call wanna, the cool I want to turn to her and I want to look her directly in the eye. He has not called them to him yet. And that's Ooh. all I'm going to say. She's a resto druid, so she's in tree form. She's doing this. And all this. No, like, tranquility. Tranquility. Or is this and this? Yeah. <laughs> As yeah. she cast <laughs> trank. Basically, she casts Trank, and instead oh, of Iris rain, it's trank. sand. It's sand, yeah. Uh, Iris, uh, Iris, Iris cast, can, can, uh, you, can you cast Trank on this uh, on this next one? Okay. <laughs> what was the spell I, yeah, yeah, that we got, had to cast it. on uh, the Sun King? Uh, uh, P, was it P.I.? No. Power infusion. No, Power no, infusion. no. You P.I. your healer, but the healer has to do, like, wild burn. Oh, guardian angel. Guardian, guardian angel. Guardian guardian angel. angel. And it was like, we have to G.A. the fuck. Oh, okay, sure. Good times. As, uh, Lots of like the Warcraft, you. as she, she, she's, she sees... Uh, just the, the power returning, the strength, the vitality, everything that she's done, almost entirely undone. That's and she she looks and says, no, I, my plans will not be undone. I am doing this for your god, for all gods. Feel the power of the gods. And she uh, breathes nah. in and a nah. beam of sunlight, or a, 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 a bead I, of sunlight appears in the I back just, of her throat. I, I disagree. And it was a flash. And suddenly, it's a beam of pure radiant I mean, sunlight like, burst out, hitting everyone. Uh, everyone, everyone. Yeah, everybody. Wow, you guys are all lined up. Exactly yeah, right. Uh, as it, you burst out, everyone needs Good to. Good job, everyone. So he is up, but he's drop. gonna go back down. Yeah, what about yeah. Sharky Boy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's out of it. No, fucked, it's a line. What it's is line. the saving throw? It's, a, it's not a cone. It's a line. Oh no. Uh, is it so even Iris gets it. Yeah, no. It's 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 like a meaty line. So it's, a it's, meaty line. Have you ever seen says, Dragon Ball Z where yes. Piccolo no. uses spear no, beam? No, 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 it's, no, like no. A, it's like a decent, it's like a decent beam. And you said it's the, the, the saving beam. throw is what? Uh, 19. I failed. All these no, no, Con. Yeah. Oh, then I failed. I got 18. Who's the best 18. Dragon Ball Z character? Krillin. Because he's the only human who's not like part of some 18. ancient alien race who keeps up with them until nearly the very end. Destructo Disc is the best spell. He died a thousand times. Sorry, well, uh, what kind of spell? Uh, Con. Con. It's, it's, it's 19. 19. It's pure, pure sunlight. It erupts. Uh, so and so everyone who fails is blinded and taking this damage as you are, as <laughs> once again, you're oh, blind again. Uh, but blind shouldn't matter. I just have to roll my constitution okay. saving throw. <laughs> I passed, actually. Shit. 23. Uh, 31. Will those 31. that fail be revved up like a douche? 31. I wish you'd stop saying that. <laughs> That's how he's 35 the points of radiant damage. Ah, and ah, it's ah, worse at, and blinded. Ah, and you're fine. I'm blinded again. If you pass, I'm is so it half? Bad. It passes half and not blinded. Yep. So 35. That I'm living out my dreams. 
I was not unconscious here briefly. With you all, I wake fuckers. up momentarily. I immediately um, get hit by a beam. Wait, so wait, you said it's 35. What is 35 and a half? Mm. 17, 17. I pass my constitution saving there. This is plus seven. No, the guy's cool. smell of it. That's the, that uh, is, yeah, no, you're good. I'm you're way good. Set. Well, I, it minus my health pool, but yes. Uh, <laughs> yes your your cool. concentration's good. My concentration is good. So um, Toa's not like out for a turn because he's exhausted. Correct. He with, correct. With that, that would be, I didn't think about that. Uh, with that, uh, uh, it is later action. Lufty, you poof, poof back into reality. I poof back into reality. You poof back into reality <laughs> after <laughs> having a wild night. <laughs> after having a wild night. Uh, so please, please, I wish please I was dead. Back. Uh, poop. <laughs> poop. Uh, <laughs> and with that, uh, the golems are going to act, uh, and that's going to be man. I they cannot hit Iris for shit. Uh, Are and you so the one is me? going to crush, uh, crush you, Felix. Attempt to crush you at the very least. Twenty-four to hit. It hits. Smash cracks you. Oh, no. Smash crackle and pop. Mm. Are you concentrating on something? Yep. Concentrating. No, no. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. There was no. There was no point in me casting shield. Uh oh! Wow. Uh, it is such a good roll. Uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. I'm unconscious. As it cracks and smashes you. So what does that mean for me? I'm unconscious. And the other one is going oh, to walk right. uh, walk forward, uh, so walk forward to you. Correct. So I fucked up. I, I took a calculated risk, but it turns out I'm not good at math. <laughs> 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 so <laughs> you took a risk. That's the uh, uh, other one is going to walk up to Felix. That needs to be a quote. <laughs> yeah, a quote. Yeah. Attack. No, I heard that. it. I'm coming back. Oh okay. my god. And is going to what? attempt to smash into him. Yep, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, oh, that yeah. is uh, that is going to. Uh, if it hits, it crits. Shield is still in effect, technically. Uh, right? No, I did not mm-hmm. cast shield. Oh, you didn't cast shield. No, because it wasn't worth me hitting. Right? I, it was a. Fa- it was. A, it was going to hit either yeah, way. Uh, I wouldn't have done. That it. is going to be a. Oh my god, this is bad, guys. Or yeah, we're going to die. Ten, ten to hit. No, no I've seen it. It smashes. Well, do you lose? Do you lose? Um, do you lose? Uh, mage armor when you die? It's not a concentration. No, no, you do. Then not. no, then it misses. No, it's it misses. It smashes into you. Okay. Oh, I want to pause. Quest and chaos. Thank oh, you for the thank, you. thank you so much for the raid. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We are uh, in the middle of a boss fight with a uh, golden dragon at the end of a, an arc. Uh, We're getting climax of an arc. This kicked. is a final <laughs> boss of an arc. And they need uh, to be gay, actually. Everybody go give Quest and Chaos a follow. Oh, thank they you, do Winnie. A, they have amazing Winnie. content. Thank you, Winnie. They thank play you, D&D. Winnie. They play Call of Cthulhu. They do a lot of different stuff. They're awesome. They have a great cast. Go ahead and go follow them. Please. And Winnie the Druid, thank you so much for the five. I'm minutes. assuming that this means you're home, Winnie, so give the cat some extra scritches for me. Oh, mm. thank you, Winnie. Scritches. Uh, and that's a twist! We have one! Oh, so we're just gonna do it while, while Andrew Oh my god, is in the we needed that so badly. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, we uh, need this. Uh, 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 Pretend I'm, I'm a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Cowabunga! <laughs> Most bestest. Oh, <laughs> thank you for the ew. twist. Ew. Thank you for the raid. We love you. Thank you so much for the raid. Thank uh, you guys. We love Andrew you. of the Burbs. Thank you. If thank you, you like the uh, Dragons, we really appreciate the follow too. Thanks. We play a lot of D on this channel. Thank you. Stop twitching and driving. We play D and D every Tuesday. We have one uh, <laughs> monthly Saturday campaign, and we will be starting Ghost of Salt Marsh at some point this summer. No, goats of Sorry, Salt Ghosts of Salt Sorry, Ghost of Salt Marsh. Yeah. Our interest on Salt Marsh. Uh, lots of goats. Thank you for the follow. Brando 30 Rock. Thank you. Um, ah. And thank you all. And join our Discord to hang out. Thank you so much. We play a lot of D&D. Thank yeah. you again for the raid. Yeah, the the most chaos. Awesome Dude. stuff. All right, let's go. Dude. Okay. Dude. Um, as Felix is I'll unconscious in the arms of these golems. Yeah. Felix, no! And he's like, I, I see the future. I see the future. I see my future, the future of Avengers, the greater good. And with that, uh, we are going to, uh, she has future sight, so she has an advantage on all rolls. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die here. 
Oh. So I'm sorry, you lose a turn. Yeah, you're Shut, shutters. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah, and you're exhausted. I'm literally you're just exhausted. bent over. No, Felix, no. no. I fucked up. I fucked up. Someone my, help him, please. It's your turn. Oh, no, Felix. Fun. That's my turn? Yeah. Uh, it should be Lufty's turn. No, it was Lufty's turn away. It was my turn. I that was the lair action. Was oh, I forgot that Toa's Toa's turn. Yeah, sorry. Okay. I, I That's where we're going. Once again, I pass again. The forge burst out. As a uh, wisdom saving throw, uh, Felix automatically fails. Sweet. Uh, wait, 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 like as a death failure? No, no, no. Just you, you fail yeah, the saving throw. Throw. So whatever is going to happen. Good. Actually, no. It is on your mind, so you don't have to worry about this. Okay. God damn it! All right. Uh, mm. Wait. Mm. Why well, you know? You, no, you, you'll automatically fail. Sorry, mm. no, I'm sorry. We need to so start my better. my question is: Does that's that equate to a trick. failure? No, no, no. no. It depends if you roll one of those damage. It's just damage. So it's only damage. Yeah. So basically, you automatically fail. It's all that. DC 15. My strike. I mean, there's no reason for me to roll. What's the? No, because you automatically fail. Right. Right. It just doesn't do anything. Oh, wisdom. Wisdom. I don't think I can pass that. Me. Whoever fails, roll the six for me. Just tell me what it is. And what side you're on. Oh, we're all. Uh, I'm on the chaos side and I rolled a six. I have failed on chaos side. Everybody's oh. on chaos side. I'm sorry, what was the roll? Felix is no more on wall side. You need to get a 15. Okay. I got a four. What variety? Wisdom. You need to roll a six as well. I failed. Oh, uh, no, 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 he no, said no, it was on my body. It doesn't matter, right? Yes. Someone conscious. So, you, so who fails? Everybody except for me. Oh wow! Okay, uh, Toa, you're exhausted, and suddenly it bursts out, and you feel uh, once it, you, but you're exhausted, yeah, but then suddenly bad. you get energy back, and you're frothing, you're overwhelmed with the power to feed, and you overload yourself, you are stunned uh, what, until the end of your next turn. Um, what do you get? Six on chaos. D six. D six. I will decrease. roll a five for you. Five. Five. Uh, you. Five. It, you know, you lost your name. You, uh, you. I lose my next turn. You, uh, you are so right. bloodthirsty. You I are just up. being absolutely oh, reckless with how it's much you want to, 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 to destroy and kill. The name of, Attacks I'm against you are advantage. Oh no! That's Wait, oh, oh, I'm sorry, sorry. sorry. Attacks, Attacks against him are advantage. What did you roll though? I rolled a five. A d6? You got a five. And so what was the effect on it though? Attacks are advantage against me. Four? Does that have a name? No. Uh, I, I don't think, I think it changes based on yeah, the level, I, I, so I don't think. There's also twice as much the number of effects. Wolfie. I roll you a four. Four, yeah. you are compelled to kill, to hunt. You need to use your reaction to do a full attack action on the weakest ally near you. Well, thank <laughs> God it's not me. Thank God it's not me. Like now? Now, right now. Use your reaction. Use, which it's is, gotta be Caprice, is Caprice right? unconscious? I am uh, very oh. near death. I am no, blind. He's up. He's I up. am blind, and I am hungry no, for violence. How many hit points? He's up. Have? He's up. Is the point is no, no, that no, you're not down. He's, 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 he's prone. He's prone. He's prone. But many, you're not. You're not. Conscious. You're not how unconscious. Many I have three hit points. Have. Okay, I have so three hit points. Nice. I am blind, and I hunger for blood. And Lufty's advantage and makes two attacks. With a reaction, I can make two attacks. It is the, the way that this works is that you are so overwhelmed with bloodlust, you are the consummate hunter. You are going for the weakest of the pack. So you're all, advantaged so on you're both at, attacks? Yes, because you're advantaged on both attacks. I am about to get my dom stomped. <laughs> I mean, you paid good money for that City shit. City boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the evilest laugh I've yeah. ever heard. 19. <laughs> so that'll hit. That'll hit. Uh, well, so roll, roll, roll you, you need to roll damage because okay. the next hit is auto, it, it's going it to auto crit yeah. and to take away two of his saves. I hate to do this, but like my manacles, it's my first hit attack on you. Yeah. Okay. So he, he just automatically, like, he has three hit points. So whatever you roll doesn't matter. It's going to. I mean, it rolls for over, it matters for overkill. Oh, I mean, because her next attack is a crit. Okay, I'm unconscious. Yeah, so you, you don't need to math it out because he's unconscious. 18. It's not going to overkill him. Right. Okay. You you are you're overcome with with with, with the, the the instincts of a hunter as you smash your spoon, cracking it in under Do you know what I was taken from? <laughs> <laughs> and then for your next hit, he just takes two failed saves. If, well, if, no, if you still need to roll the hit because you can miss you can an miss. advantage. Does that? Oh, yeah. Would I go towards someone who is clearly nope, unconscious? Nope, you are you are here to kill. Yep, you are you are here to kill. So you need okay. to attack Caprice again. Oh my god! Only because I wasn't in the vicinity. Thank God it's not me. Sixteen. Miss. What? In my fury. No, 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 no. One and a four. What's? Wait. No, a seven and a four. It's sixteen. Oh, it's a seven. Bullshit. A 16. 
You have plus nine? My, I have a DC 17. Plus nine to hit. Wow. Yeah. My AC is 17. Holy yeah. shit. So I will just be cackling maniacally and like shut the whiff fuck and up. like you know, hit right next to his head. And it shatters. No! <laughs> you know, it lands <laughs> in your head and, the, and the, the rocks, you know, the, the, the... I am the luckiest fucker on the planet. I've used all my legendary actions, haven't I? Uh, yeah. you tell us. I said, that, I mean, we trust you, man. Okay, you know, Caprice, the you are, I roll that saving throw for me, please. Uh, yep. It's you are bleeding out. Uh. Okay. Roll the saving throw for me. Wow, if, if she had hit you, you would be dead right now. Yeah. Because she what was gone dead, dead, dead. and then it's you would have just dead, failed. Dead. That you would have been dead, dead. Dead, dead. Oh my okay. god. Um, I you fail, don't know that. I fail myself. None of us know that. No, none of us know that, but I'm telling yeah. Meta. Just, just to here. confirm, I fail. Oh, you're you're dead too? Not, I'm not yet. I'm, I am bleeding what out. What did you roll for your six? All of my ribs are cracked. Uh, no, there was no six. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you failed the... Right. I thought we were still going Big bad, around. yeah? Big bad, yeah. Um, so, with that... I feel so bad. Duh. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> I fucked up. I am... You cannot stop me. The future I've seen from the six eyed hawk and, and my I mean, my future cool. sight. It is coming true and I will make it true. And she uh is slams her claw down on you, Caprice. Okay. Mm-hmm. She would do that. All of my jingles were Twenty four to hit. Yeah, well. She tears into Caprice's flesh. You so did your rending hands, flesh. He spits out blood. Caprice oh, is torn apart. No, I'm angry. <sighs> Caprice is dead, dead. Wait, you're literally like shredded to shit. Yes, yes. Dead, dead. I, He's I don't dead, know dead. where my pen just went. That's really weird. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do that. I'm dead, dead. You're dead, dead. You're dead, dead. Caprice is dead. <laughs> as I guess as, I would be laughing at him. Yeah, you would. She you and I are both like <laughs> as uh you're. <laughs> As you are, as she's going to then swing and swipe and uh, slash you, uh, Lefty. Oh my god. Uh, 18 to hit. Misses. Misses? 18? She is. Okay. You look at 19, uh, right? Swar- swipes at you, and you're stunned, Tell, right? I'm stunned. Yeah. And then also exhausted, and also stunned, and also. That was last turn. And also yeah. stunned, and also. Uh, and this is definitely going to hit you. Uh, it's going to yeah, swipe at you. And is, is that a crit if you're stunned? Yes. Is that? No. 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 It's no. Paralyzed. It's, yeah. it's, uh, it's it's unconscious. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, that is the bite. She's leaning forward so luckily, with her bite. I'm still enraged because I took damage, thank God. So, uh, oh, as she is going to use her bite on you to tear into your flesh. This is not good, people. Ooh, 19. <laughs> Uh, 22. Like I, I don't care. Oh. Weird. Oh. That was weird. 28 points of uh, piercing damage. As it tears 13. into your flesh. Um, and... As long as Toa survives, <laughs> everything's fine. And with that, it is, uh... Lifty's turn. Lifty's turn. Is it? Yeah. You are now... You are all free of your effects now. At the start of your turn. Please. <laughs> No, do I remember Phoenix. what I did? Caprice! Like, do I have memory yes, of yes, doing that? Yes, you them? remember what you did, and you smack. Oh, Caprice, no. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry! Is it... Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Kill her, little fti, kill her! Ah! And I'm just gonna, like, like blindly, like, swing just m- manically at Rajani. Roger that. Um, and I will uh, spend a key point to make... Uh, so it'll be a total of four attacks on her. Okay. Hate all my dice, so this is probably gonna be bad. Oh, actually. 18, 19, 18 plus 9. So three should hit. Okay. Boop. Fifteen. What is that? Thirty-two damage. Thirty-two damage. As you smash your your spoon in, it's cracking. Her, uh, the 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 thick draconic blood is pouring from Rajani, Rajani as she's looking rough. And as... I would cycle. I would just move around um, as much as I can towards here, towards the wall. Okay. 
Oh, Caprice, wake up. I'm so sorry. And she is going to he will just be the first, and it is all a sacrifice, a noble sacrifice for the greater good. Oh. And she's going to make an attack on you advantage because she has future sight. That's a natural 20. It is not. It, mm. Hold on, hold on. Out of range. I'm out of range. You're out of barely, barely, barely out of range. I think I'm in range to her, not to look. I'm not, I'm not her Jack. Oh, wait, do you stop it on the person or the enemy? On the enemy. On the enemy. Oh, JK said. JK said. It cancels and she not chomps into Shut your mouth. <laughs> 19 points of piercing damage. Sorry, you priest. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold. We're gonna reduce that as a, uh, let's say it's some kind of like lemur. A spectral oh, yeah. lemur is one of my ancestors in the form of this lemur, kind of this light blue shimmering lemur reduces the it's damage by seven. not a tuna, but. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'll have a little like. No, of blood I can't. On my, on my I have to be able to see, and I'm doing good. Oh, Sorry, take it back. You're critted. Rewind. Well, so Rewind. Rewind. So just rolled more damage. Hold on. So I'm gonna. It's so damage seven. It's all, it's all and then what did you heal me? I didn't heal you for anything. No. Reduced, or what did you reduce it no, by? No, 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 no. I reduced by seven. You don't affect that. You're gonna take more damage. Yeah, you're fine. So I'm gonna explain it to her. Let's stop talking over each other. I negated a crit. I can't do that because I'm blinded. So Mikey is going to do more damage to you. Toa took away some of the damage. You took away some damage. damage. Which is still true. And that is stat. So you're so just going to take is more fine. damage. We're good. Just add whatever, add, we're gonna add add whatever Mike tells you. I'm going to heal add. back to that seven. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would negate it yes. seven. Okay. Yes. And Got now it. it's minus ten. Again, another ten. So you only take an extra three. <laughs> Oh, shut I'm gonna the cough fuck up, up blood on my jumper and shut the just fuck kind of up. loosely fall over. When do the uh, when do the uh, golems move? Layer action. Oh, well, unfortunate. As did she chomps in and you see the 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 glorious uh, uh, the, the realization that Rajani is close to her aim. As you see Torvald and and um, Torvald and. Persia are working tirelessly and they very almost nearly fused both of the glaives together. They are very near to completing creating this this mega weapon. Okay, Iris, you're up. Um, I'm gonna look around between all of my friends. Um, you can see tears streaming down my face as I look Spectre. to Lufty. I'm so sorry. And I am going to use my movement to because oh, I'm right next to that guy. Um, yes, I, he under, I yet, understand. Though. No, actually, fuck that. Um, not I'm going to do. He can't seem to hit you. I'm going to cast mass healing mode. And because both of you are, um, uh, I am going to have to move, do this. Are you low enough for, like, moving away and yes. knock you out? Yes. Oh, shit. What's the range? I'm going to use, I can't because it's a bonus. If you get, what's the range? Time out. Just give me a second. Don't move her. Just don't move her. Me a second. Yeah, every, 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 single, don't move every single thing matters, so it'll give you the time that you yeah, need. Take, your, time. take you. your moment. Thank you, chat, for bearing with us as we... Uh, High stress. Try not to TPK. High stress situation. Try not to TPK. We're trying not to TPK here. Oh, it's six, we're good. It's 60 feet for Mass Healing Word. Oh. So I am going to Mass Healing Word at a fourth level, and so the two of you that are unconscious are going to take Max Healing, um, and so that will be two... D4 plus or mass five. Healing. Are you so dead? that's eight plus yep. five. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna take thirteen <laughs> for the two of you that that survive. I'm alive, but I mean, I'm still like in the arms oh, of this girl. <laughs> so, like, I'm not, I'm not prone or anything. I'm just in the arms you're of the golem. You're yeah. prone in the for, arms, for arms of, of the golem. Nice. All right. Um, and the rest of us are gonna take. You mean me 15. and you? <laughs> me and you, yes. Fifteen. So what was the what was the mat? Thirteen. Thirteen. Wait. 
No. Okay. The 13. Let me see. Oh, you're dead. Let me dead. Dead. No, you you take max. So. 13. Oh, why did I roll d8s? They were d4s. Sorry, we don't. Oh, I was going to say. We, we no, no, no. That's too hard. So it is. Um, we, <laughs> eight. <laughs> eight eh, you know, better than nothing. Wait, so the total is 22? You. No, you take eight plus five. Oh, 13. 13. That's 13. what I said. Yes. Okay. All right. I was I had to roll for me and no, you're good. You're good. and it's forty four. So sixteen good. is the max for No, you take you take thirteen. 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 Woo. The priest is dead dead. And then with my action yep. I am going so I'm to prone but alive. <laughs> Sorry, just I'm clear. No no no, take your time. time. No, no, it's fine. fine. It's fine. I... I'm just playing my Can you think experience. when your friends are dying around you? Can you handle the stress? I can't. Oh, I can't. I'm about to poop my pants. Can I just get a meal quick? Yeah. Um, I am going to... Yeah, there's not really much I can do. As long as Toa still draws breath, we're... Well, I'm going to... How do you draw breath, really? <laughs> Like a little loopy, like a, like a line like a and a loopy at like the end with a little cloud yeah. thing. Yeah, it's the fort sign. Okay. Yeah. You know, I'm emotion. going to call out uh, Toa. You're you're able to attack this upcoming round. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There, eh? <laughs> Chicken fricassee, there, eh? Could for my like, um, we have an object interaction. Interaction. Could I throw a potion to Toa? Oh, or pass it to him. He's literally cash. right next to me. That shit. He's right next to uh, me. I can hand it to him. Is that, uh, yeah. I'm going to hand this. I'm going to hand the potion to you. Okay. If I fall. You need to use your reaction, though, for that. Just take it. Do I have my reaction? Just take it. Did take you it, take use it. it? Put it put it on the ground. I'll put it on the ground Just next to you. Put it there. If I fall, I want you to take this. How are you looking at I look in, like pristine, basically. How do I'm, you I'm healthy as fuck. Oh, everyone I'm, around there's me dried, is so, destined. So I was I was unconscious. You brought me back, and there's dried blood all over my mouth and my chest. Okay. And then I am going to use my the last part of my staff, and I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on... Am I? It's touch, isn't it? It's touch. Damn it. touch. Um, you get up to Wolfie. Oh, I mean, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Screw it. I'm just done tolling it. What do you mean? I'm okay. it down. <laughs> it's a wisdom saving throw. I'm using the last of my legendary resistances. Hot damn! As okay. it gongs again, and she's looking very rough. Um, as she's <sighs> no. So now you have a potion. I have a potion. Oh, it's on the ground for but I'll use my free object interaction. Not even your god, not even the power of a god can stop the future that I have seen. I am a being of good, a being of law, a being of order, a being of pure fire. And suddenly she breathes up into the air to cast, use all her legendary actions to cast Firestorm as it bursts up into the air and starts crashing down in a storm of fire, everyone but Felix needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, uh, can I even... Hold on. I mean, just give me one second. No. If you automatically uh, fail, she's just as disadvantaged. I fail. If you no, have, I mean, I'm, I'm, gr- I'm still grappled. If, if you have a reaction and you have a third level spell, I don't. I don't. Just, I don't. I don't. I don't. If we're I, I looked, prone... I don't. Disadvantage. I'm gonna spend two key points to use my drunkard's luck. Okay. And and negate the. I'm gonna roll the damage real quick. Can you do that on your turn or as reaction? When you make an ability check, an attack roll, or a saving throw, yeah, and have disadvantage. Love it. Love it. Um, so and I'm it's just a not in it. Dex you're saving throw. It. Gosh, do I even want to do that? I can't. Dex you're out of range. Wow. Are these like yeah. the meatballs yeah. from uh, yeah. Sea of Thieves? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Well, be Meteor Swarm, but... Yeah, yeah same, same idea. Same idea. Could yeah. I use our twist? Yes. Uh, yes, absolutely. Thank you. Who gave the twist? Winnie. 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 Natural Thank 20! You. Thank you, Winnie! Yeah. Winnie! Yeah. 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 We made that TV 14, game! 14. I want to uh, cry! 17, Thank you, Winnie! 20, 21. Oh. Uh, awesome. 
I got a 26 on the 31. Save, oh my gosh. Uh, 31. Uh, 36 don't points cry, of fire damage. 36. 36. 36. Half, of half of that? Half of that is. Uh, we take half of that. 14. It, right? uh, 18. 36. 18. 18. And I'm resistant to take 9. As the fire rains down. Hey, give or take. Shut easy. up. <laughs> anyone, is anyone down? Um, out? Hold on. I'm a little fucked Did up. Did you succeed? Here. I healed back. You're prone, so you're just a, oh, but you remove the disadvantage. Yes, I need to know what I heal to. You heal 13 points from me. You heal 13 points. So, yeah, you take more than 13. So you're out again. So all, all you had was 13, so you were unconscious. Again. Yeah. And it was 16? Uh, 18. 18, because I had 19, yep. and I'm down to one. It's all for, all for legendary reactions and a 7th level spell. Okay. I as, as Lufty is charred and falls to the <laughs> ground. Layer action. The golems are going to go first. So, yeah, I'm fucked. I'm in deep shit here. As they are going to attack, and this is, uh, you... This regular attack. That's going to be a 22. Here. To hit me? To hit you. Yeah, it's... You're conscious. Smashes into you. And you have your reaction. Well, yeah, I, 22 is more than my shield would hit. Even with mage armor and shield? Uh, and with that, that's nine. Nine, uh, plus. Sorry. Um, this ain't good, fam. Uh, 14 points of bludgeoning We've damage. been in better I am, <laughs> I'm unconscious He again. smashes into you, and then the, the one that is gripping you is going to try to break your spine. Oh Rich, could you, uh... Can you topple him? He's oh. unconscious. We're gonna back up here and show the battle cam. Uh, that's... That's gonna hit. Uh, yeah. And uh, it two smashes failures? into his two yeah, failures. Felix and he crack, as you hear a sickening crack as Felix is being surrounded by these jade oh, golems. Oh, Felix! Um, There's a lot of blood gushing from my mouth and orifices. Yeah, it's my turn. Uh, and uh, with that, she is... She is going to... Mm, no, this is what's gonna happen. As like that. she, <laughs> as uh, she yeah, says, this, this as she looks, and there's only <sighs> she's going to look out. I love this, and this. is going to call out more, more of my servants come to me. Yeah. As three more golems jump down, and uh, two are going to go over to Lufty. Wow. No. As one, oh, uh, one needs to attack Iris. That's oh, miss. the one that's up needs to, right? One at, uh, and then the other one is, uh, the other one's gonna go towards Felix. I fucking knew it. You gotta be kidding me. Does a nine hit? <laughs> to me? Yeah. No, I have 16 AC. It's As it smashes in, it, it just knocks off the side of the other uh, the other golem, and these two are going to make attacks on you, Lefty. The highest is a nine, and it smashes <laughs> in. And it's going to get one more, one more advantage. I got two twos. Uh, and they're both going to miss as they're trying to scoop you up and crush you. And you're definitely done rolling? Yes. Fuck you. <laughs> wow, okay, all right, all right, Jesus. I don't want to die! Okay, okay. Uh, with I that, don't want to die. with that, it is... Agreed. Uh, I just don't want to jinx the rolling! It's Toa's so so turn. Go to the ire of the no, demon! What do we do? <laughs> Felix, no! He sends us now! Miko, please! And, um, first the shark will, uh, I think he's enough movement to, like, jump and then yeah, swim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, that. fuck yeah. He's gonna jump and and chomp twice as he's swimming in the air, you got uh, it. against her. Um, and, uh, let's just make the old double attack, multi attack, two slams. Everybody, let's resonate. Positive Miko energy. Two nines plus seven. Oh, he misses. Ah. He misses. Uh, I'm large. Caprice. I'm large. 
And I look and I see that Iris and I are the only ones that are conscious, right? And yeah. I'm barely holding on. And I see her and I see. Jesus. Marka, the first ancestor, please. Please, if there's anything that you've ever done for me, please end this now. I'm going to end you! And I'm going to just attack twice and see what happens. Uh, not power attacked. So these two go together, these two go together. And I'm advantage, so that goes with the green. Uh, this, I need the D4 that matches the color of one of these. Okay. Huh. Fuck. Um, you really oh. need the dice tray. You're too messy to not have a dice tray. <laughs> Ten. And then D4. Uh, they all hit. Or both hit. Uh, let's, let's check for Wind Fury procs. That's a proc. I think we're going here, ladies okay. and gentlemen and everybody. That is three hits. One, two, three, four, five, six. I am large, so I add three more D4s to that. Take the dice tray. Just use the dice tray. Please just use the dice tray. Come on. Big rolls. Big rolls. No. This is why you have to use the dice tray. <laughs> Ugh, even it, it was a four, though. Okay. Big money. Big money. I think we're all right. Oh, that's, Four, eight, that's good money. Twelve. I think we're golden. Sixteen. I think we're golden. Uh, twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Um. Plus. A thousand. Thirty is 60 points of oh. bludgeoning damage. Oh, shit. Sixty? Sixty. How do you want to do this? Ah! Ah! Yes! Uh, I just want to say, she was at 390 health. She has 450. Is that exactly? That's exactly, that is exactly 60. That's God. crazy. Um, to the number, meet it or beat it, motherfuckers. Meet it or beat it. So as I called that out wow. to oh the spirit God. of Maka, which is the name of my totem, wow. my mall, um, the, uh, the there's there's sort of a kind of a a stylized face that's carved into the face of my totem that represents the first ancestor, the founder of the Makani Islands that brought the Goliaths from Jakar to settle the Makani Islands on these sailing ships. The eyes and the mouth will glow for the first time the Toe's ever seen. And as I come in, uh, she'll be sort of distracted by Miku, that's sort of this, this water shark that's trying mm -hmm. to attack her. She, I basically, her head will kind of spin around as she dodges. And I want to just smack her twice, one up, one across, and then one down. Just cave her fucking as skull. And I just right on the top of her head. Let's go. With final attack. Um And that's how I do it. And feel free to she, you know, as, embellish. She as you you are a massive creature. Uh you are 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 despite despite her her Despite your massive size, she's still looming over you. But as Miko jumps up and she dodges out of the way and roars at it, you catch her on the side of her face. It smacks her as her eyes start to roll back, as there's some a horrible realization as you're looming over the fury, the rage that you have now. As your tattoos glow, your eyes glow, you are channeling the full power of the wind spirits of the Makani Islands. As you are smacking around and then smack her again, as you leans forward and she says, my the future I saw, could it have been wrong? And then as you stand over her, her serpentine hand oh, wow. lo lowers down and then she says, 
What have I done? And you split her skull. Like you a goddamn overripe watermelon. She lets out a, uh, a guttural roar as her skull splits blood, pours Don't down her it. face, and as the golden go. energy in her eyes uh, goes out, she slams and crashes and uh, collides, smashing through, plummeting into the water with a splash. And you see as she sinks down below, the tendrils, uh, uh, the, the energy tendrils going to the dome uh, now disconnect. And as the dome loses that connection, it starts to gyrate. And as uh, Herja and Torval are all about to finish, you see that there is only some finishing touches to finish this weapon. The, the gyrating energy, you all hear very briefly as the room goes silent the soft hoot of an owl as it bursts and erupts and you see in an instant as it all washes over you, you feel the power that erupts out of it and and you, it's almost blinding those of you that are conscious. Yeah. As Not me, man. You, <laughs> Not this guy. As you, your eyes return, the swirling dome of, of, of dawn-like energy is gone. The, the, you see fragments of metal around as heart cleavers scattered off to one side of the room, and you see bits of metal surrounding just the rod of law, no glaive. And on either side of them, you see Torvald Anvilhart, completely motionless as a jade statue. Oh. And Herja is unconscious, completely covered in fur, da long, dark horns coming around her face, restlessly unconscious, completely consumed by beast plague. Holy shit. And we're gonna take a quick break there. Should we be our dinner shit. break? Shit. Yeah. Dinner break. Holy shit. Oh my god. As you, my as you see the water below you, Toa, finally finish rippling as Rajani sinks beneath the water. You see that all of the jade golems have been rendered inert. Felix unconscious on the ground, Lufty unconscious, Iris barely hanging on, Caprice's corpse shredded by the claws of the golden dragon is just at your feet. What do you guys do? Those of you conscious. Caprice, no. Can, can you help him? Go to Felix. And I just, without and a word. Don't forget that you have that potion. Well. Yes, well, exactly right. So I would snatch the potion off the ground and I would sprint over. Let me just take off this. These are st still technically stationary. Yes, statues, they're just. Right? They you you can get rid right. of the map. It's yeah, yeah. But but the idea is I would I would sprint over here to Felix and immediately kind of pick him up and try to feed him a health potion. Like I'll just throw it up and down. <laughs> and, <it's so> <laughs> um, and then I'm going to run to Lufty and I'm going to put my hand on her and give her a fourth level cure wounds. Mm. So that's 48 plus five and it's max because you're unconscious. So just figure out what that is. So in so that time, do they need to make another death save or anything? I think uh, Felix does. Uh, I don't know, it's up to Mike. I think it's fine. Okay, that's fine. You you guys didn't have any plus death one. saves, so even if you crit fail, they wouldn't have killed you. Okay. Got it, so it doesn't matter. It's four D8, so four times eight, plus five. If you'd have like two, then I would have said yes. 32, 37. 37. And I am not going to stay with I Lufty. Am. That's fine. I'm not going to stay with Lufty at all. I'm going to wrench her hand off of me and and immediately run over to. I don't how long you'd let me do that. <laughs> Felix, are you okay? <laughs> oh, I, she's dead. She's dead. It's over. I, I don't think I'm all right. It's not good. Just 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 rest. I need to help. I need to help Iris. <laughs> I'm going to run over to Iris and. To sort of just stand behind her. You're sitting on the ground, Felix. You're, you're what getting, happened? Yeah, both of you are just coming to your senses, just seeing the final quiet just that's come over this chamber after being suddenly ripped to consciousness by a healing potion and by the power of Anubis. Iris, are you okay? I do not have time to speak. Uh... And I'm going to begin to start drawing runes, and not runes, but um, pictographs into the earth around using my thaumaturgy. Um, just these symbols all around Caprice as I light my candles and I pull out my sensor and I'm going to um, yell out for silence, um, but I'm gonna grab uh, Toa's hand and 
stand behind me. I need all the strength I can get. I'm like weak. I'm, I'm bleeding. I still only have one health. I'm here. <laughs> I'll stagger up and just put a hand behind you as well. I am going to lean down and I'm going to whisper to Caprice before I start my ritual. And I'm going to say, I forgive you for the choices that you've made. A soul was tainted, but you are not. You are good. You don't deserve what has happened to you. And you cannot be judged in this moment. I will do what I can, Caprice. We love you. Hear me. Hear us. Come back to me. And I am going to cast Revivify. And I can find it. I'm going to I'm gonna put my hand onto Caprice's chest as all of the it what feels like a strange darkness engulfs all of us. It's just the light of the flickering flame beneath the sensor and the billowing of smoke as it undulates around us. Anubis et her ka sek mythsides, guardian of the tomb, land of the duat, he who adjusts the balance in the hall of two truths, come forth from the darkness, deliver back this soul unto us. Anku, jackal of the graveyards, first of westerners, he who is upon the mountain, I ask that you mind these scales carefully. Let them not tilt against my plea. Governor of the dead, master of the house of bandages, royal one from the body of Ra, grant me the power to pull this soul from the realms of the Duat. Father of Kabahet, he who eases death, bringer of the peaceful death. If it be your will, a place by your side shall be open to me. Stand as my eternal guardian, forever watchful, as I guide this soul safe passage to the living. He who embalmed Wasir, he from the city of Pillars, the great Anubis, Lord over death, be praised, and may this soul find a home atop the mountain. Damn. And all darkness will descend. Holy crap. It's the, 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 the words of your prayer to Anubis echo in this chamber, bouncing off the stone walls, now so eerily quiet after being so cacophonous just moments earlier, as the the darkness, uh, the, the, the light of the censer glows and the power of Anubis washes over the mangled corpse of your fallen friend as your soul is called back, Caprice. Uh, am I free to return? Uh, you, your consciousness, your consciousness comes to you, and you, the power of this spell is incredibly strong, and you feel like you at least have momentary, momentary consciousness as your life returns to you. You breathe in. Oh, shit. Reese? What you happened? Uh, you did it, Aris. Caprice, you did it. What can you see? Can you hear anything? Can you can you hear us? And I'm gonna dissipate the the darkness around us. It's really just flavor. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a healing dissipate the dark. flavor. <laughs> dissipate the flavor. So obviously you can see us. Uh, how do I feel? Like you feel as if this is very temporary. And you suddenly feel control of your own actions starting to leave you. You know what's happening. Guys? What a case. Am I, am I, am I alive? Am I okay? You're fine, you're fine, you're you alive. Look, you look alive. Yeah, you're right We're here. here. You're speaking to us. It's okay, I, the same thing happened to me and I'm back. I don't, uh, such an idiot. You're not an idiot. Okay. No, you're fine. You, you'll be okay. Aris, I'm, I'm right going to. I had my hands on his chest. I'm going to cradle him in my arms. You cradle. You feel cradled as you feel your grip on this life leaving, Caprice. Your your. If you feel a tug on your soul, Do, can I, being what I am, feel that he is leaving us? Make a religion check. An advantage because you're a great cleric. Natural twenty. 
<laughs> Let's fucking go. I will say. I will say with that. Plus you know that the yeah, you get the sense that, that the only that does is intense in her to intensify her grief. <laughs> you get the sense, Iris, being a farrier of souls, that the only reason why Caprice's soul is back for a brief moment is because of the sheer power of Anubis and the connection that you've had with Caprice. I'm going to, so I can feel that his soul is leaving. Yes. I am going to scream out, no! And I am going to cast Diviner Dimension. You do that. It's <laughs> going to fail because it's a very low chance it succeeds. Holy but I am going shit. to try. And I'm, I'm shaking. I'm crying. I have one hit point. I'm bleeding all over Caprice. <laughs> and I am, I beg of you, please, no! And what the hell? I have to roll. I didn't sign up for that. I don't even know how divine intervention you works. Have I have to roll a, a D100. You have to roll and you have to roll less than 11. Equal to or below your level. My what is my level? 11? 11. No. You call out to Anubis. And Anubis has done much today. What the fuck? And his power was strong enough to, brute, to do the seemingly the impossible. But... Not enough to prevent what's going to happen. I'm such an idiot. I should have... I should have kissed Herja that night. Said I just taught her knife monopoly and we just hung out. <laughs> you still can, Caprice. She's right there. She looks a little different. Yeah, she's right there. Don't give up. I look and I see a jade statue of Herja. You see a jade statue of Torvald standing over a destroyed forge, and Herja's body is alive, covered in thick fur. Her face is elongated, almost as if she's a, uh, a, a beast creature of, of musk oxen variety, completely consumed by beast plague, turned instantly. This world is lost. No. Felix, you're the smartest person I know. I I'm gonna reach in and hand you a piece of parchment as well as I can. This is this is Glacius' fault. You just you just curse her name with all of these curses, okay? No, 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 no! Stop! This isn't the end. This is this. You're, no, what, what do you mean? I, I don't know what this is. You you can't put this on me. You, you're fine. Uh, Iris is going to fix you. She always does. Is that true? You can fix her, right? I will not lie to you in your moment of death, Trace. I've called to Anubis. And my call has fallen on death. Your soul does not belong to him. It does not belong to me. I have done all that I can. I will preserve your body the best I can, and we will find a way, someday, whatever it takes. And I will, I think I can cast, I, it's a ritual, so I'm pretty sure I can cast it. Um, I'm going to um, gentle repose. Yeah, it's one action. I'm going to cast gentle repose on you, and you feel a warmth of the, the desert sun shining down on your body. No, 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 that, that, that can't be it. There, there, there's nothing that we can't solve without enough information. That, that, that can't be it. No, he's I'm, fine. Look at him. You just saved him. He's I'm not dead anymore. I'm going to turn your face towards me and I'm going to stare into your eyes. Should you meet the Lord beneath the mountain, should your heart be weighed, do not lie. Or too good to lie. Do you understand me? If you lie, there is nothing I can do for you. Oh, I won't lie. You will remain here with us always. A piece of you in our hearts. Always. We will avenge you. I don't understand. What's what's wrong? What's wrong? He's fine. He's alive. You're, you're, you're here, aren't you, Caprice? Caprice, you start to lose control of yourself. You feel like you have time. Just a brief instant as you feel compelled you feel you, you have time for one more song he does not have much time say as your you begin goodbyes. to lose control of your your own mind i'll sing 
You say that the cost of a diamond is a price that you're willing to pay. Don't cry, but a soul must be free to return back to its natural life. Why so sad? Remember I had an agreement with his great, 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 great granddad. <laughs> oh, it makes me so glad. Now enjoy your bereavement because he's my man. Caprice won't be back, don't you see? His eternal soul belongs to me. He won't be back, despite your spell. He's forever stuck in the nine hells. Devils rise, heroes fall. Such a joy to have caused it all. And if push comes to shove, I will send a full battalion to destroy everything you love. Ba 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 bye ba ba bye ya bye ba bye ba 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 bye bye ba ba bye ya da bye bye bye. You say that you want Caprice back, or you can't go on. You've missed the fucking point of this song. Caprice will not resurrect My sweet, capricious subject My shiny new soul object Forever and ever And ever and ever and ever No! Oh. No! Oh. As, oh, no, no, no. as the maliciousness on his face fades one last time a lifeless caprice collapses into your arms and then you all you all feel a slight breeze and the shadows move and ever as caprice collapses dead oh, ah, this I, I i'm i'm wrenching the the parchment he gave me in my hand i've cr crumpled it in in, in. This, this, this can't be it! And I'm shaking him and I'm looking at Iris. Please! This, this can't be it! We, we can't lose any more people! Do, do, it, do it again! Iris, do it again! Please! I'm going to, tears streaming down my face, I'm going to slowly begin to clean and wrap Caprice's body as this is when I will cast gentle repose on him. O oh, glorious Anubis, Lord of the sacred, we call on you, the jackal god of the dead, and embalm you. Come to the aid of our dear friend. He has left our world and entered into yours. We humbly ask that you guide and protect him, bestow on him wisdom so that he can make his way to Osiris. We pray that you remember all the good deeds that he did here on earth, of Empress. It is our hope that he finds his way to paradise, to a place where he will be reborn, and spend eternity free of all earthly sufferings. Keep him safe, Owen by Anubis, in the toilet. Let's just wait. Let's just cut he can't come back? No. No. Oh, no. let's fix him. <laughs> this, this, there's no way this is it. Hey, he, 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 we, we heard his song. Yes, right. you all heard the song, and you saw as Caprice gave one last song, but that was not your friend. That was, his soul was ripped out of him the moment he began no, that song. No, 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 I, I, I refuse to believe it. We, we know, we know for a fact that there's a way to get from this plane to another. We can get him back. We can get him back. This isn't the end. We've done it before. We can do it again. I don't know. I, no, what do you mean you don't know? Once we, we were six and now we are four. No. And you want to tread on her land? Yes! We, we just need the key. We just need the Did key. Did you see what happened here today in the lair of but a dragon? You want to try to fell Glacia in her land? You condemn us all to death. No, no, it's just a matter of learning. If we get enough information, we can, we can answer any question. We can find a way. We can do it. It's 
okay. No, it's okay, Felix. No, we just need the key. It's okay. Felix. We just need the key to the door. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to find the key. I know what to do. It's not time for jokes, don't I'm going to pick him up. I'm the still, face? Fi- I'm still fi- 15 I'm, feet tall. Sure. You're 50 feet tall? I'm 15 feet tall. <laughs> I'm not five stories tall. <laughs> like, holy story shit! And a half How did you not step on the dragon and kill no, it? That's bigger than the guards in the Feywild. <laughs> Fuck you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> now is not the time. You boomers. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I want to try to kind of grab I'm, Caprice. I'm in, like dressing him and preparing him for gentle repose, but I'll let you take him if you want to. And you can, I can continue it while he picks him up. I will, I will wait for that to be done. Who's your... He's right over there. I'll point behind us. This is all because of her. This is not her just fault. Do not, in this moment when we've lost someone so close to us, do not try to blame this on her. I'm not trying to blame her. This is Glacia's fault. We can at least... This is Zern's fault. This is our fault. We knew what we were handing over. When we put the rod of law back together, we knew it. We knew we would pay for the consequences of our actions. Caprice knew the risks of trying to save Hersia. We all did. And I wish any of us had died, except him. Because maybe we would all be together. But at the very least, it was just someone he cared deeply about. So we need to do what we can to to, to, help, to help Persia. It's what Caprice would have wanted. And what do you what do you suggest we do? I don't know. Is she still in that bubble? No, the bubble shattered. shattered. So and she's on the ground unconscious, and she seems to be very exhausted. Uh, it reminds you of Amos, the very first day that you met. Right. Uh, totally unconscious and struggling, heavy in a restless sleep, snorting, breathing heavily, uh, completely turned uh, to a beastman. May I? May you what? Take Caprice. Where? Over there. Can you please explain to me what you plan to do? He's going to take him to Hersia. I'm going to take him to Hersia. That is not Hersia. If she should awake, she's in if she should do something to his body, do you want to risk us never being able to bring him back? We don't know. What we have is. but ten days. <laughs> ten days before his body is incapable of finding its soul again. And you want to risk it with a plague we do not understand? Yes, he loved her, but Caprice is not in this body. Yes, he is. His soul has left Top. But it's still Caprice. Yes, this form is, but his soul is gone. How would we bring it back? I don't know, but we have ten days to find out. This is your job, Iris. This is what you were trained for. And you... Lufty. Step away. Shut your mouth. Until you do anything to help. Do not tell me what I should be doing. I have done everything for you, for all of you. I have screamed into the sacred tomb and heard nothing but my voice reverberate back at me. We are weak. We are tired. I am on the verge of death myself. 
and he is gone. It does not bring me joy to say this to any of you. But let us not waste what precious time, what little life we have left on folly. We must save him and taking him to a beast and allowing it to put its maw upon his flesh. It is sacrilegious and I will not watch it. We have two friends to save here. We must cure her and we must save Caprice. I love you. I would not watch you die. I used all I had to save you, each of you. Do not turn on me now. I need you. I need your strength. Give it to me. Help me. Do not waste this time. I will turn. And I will leave Caprice with Iris. And I will walk over to the wrong floor. Standing there. You're laying there, presumably. You see now the rod of law reforged in its pure state. I'm going to grab your hand. And the the four special forged blade of the glaive shattered in pieces. Now just the pure artifact of the upper planes from the make of Moradin himself. Along with the other gods, the other, this other six gods of, of good and law. Now lies before you. I will kneel down, and I will pick it up. You pick it up. You feel tremendous power within. It almost resonates with with uh, the same kind of uh, tonality of, of music as it hits against the, the the ground as you as you pick it up. The same from the chimes of the Eternal Veil of Aka. It, 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 it rings. Yeah, it, it just very light resonance. It's almost kind of as a just, and it, and it just feels heavenly. Mm. It feels orderly, but it feels good. And as uh, you you grab it, it's probably about you know probably about the size of a quarter staff. Uh. And I like to try to point it at Persia <laughs> and just see if like I can try to do anything with it. Like <laughs> this is a powerful artifact. Just please fix Persia. <sighs> and I'm just gonna like point it at her. And Nothing just... happens as you do it. <sighs> I'm gonna walk back over to Iris. Upon Iris finishing her yeah. her speech, Out no, there. no, you're good. <laughs> um, I, I. Pull out my spell book and a quill. And I begin to jot down and I think, with, with wiping my eyes, to say, uh, <clears throat> ten, 10 days. Yes. 10 days. Yes. I will mummify his body. No. Okay. All right. I, I, I mean, but this isn't the end. That's important yes. and that's what matters. Yes. Look, I, I know it's been a while. I know that it's been a while, but but but, but a couple of things, and and, and please uh, bear with me here, Brother Gruber. We we reached out to him many many weeks ago. He said he said that the brew was was working on Amos. He said that it was. We we saw we saw Amos, and and he looked terrible. He he looked. Like Hersha does now, but he said he said that the brew was working, and 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 we all went, we all did it. We went to the veil, and we did it, and the feather, and 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 the machine. And I I flip through my notebook, and I I show them the crude drawing of of the Irios the uh, a machine that I had, had had sketched, and and I say Caprice told me it, it was a note, it was a musical note. There was a resonance. We can beat this. We can be whatever this plague is, and, and, and maybe maybe the Brotherhood knows. And, and if there's some 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 connection to some other plane, we can find out what it is. If we, if we could get to the Veil, and it was just some resonance, and there was some machine that could do it, we could figure out where Caprice is now. I don't care who has him. We can get there. 
and we can bring him back. We can fix this. This isn't the end. Ten days. Ten days. That's that's all the time we need. I believe it. I believe it, please, and I know. I know you do too. Tell her, please. Can we even get there in ten days? We we get there instantly. Think about how fast we got from here to the veil, and we got from the veil back. It's as if no time passed at all. We, we have a feather left, don't we? Yes. We Just could one. get to the veil. We have to do whatever we can possibly do. And I, I think that's just the first step. This rod doesn't work, or at least it didn't when I tried to point it at Hoja and I wielded it around like a... But maybe you just don't know how to use it. I guess you're right. I just thought that maybe I could try. It's a good try. Look, uh, the feather and the veil, they're connected. And, and the machine, the machine that, that they built, it, it was connected, right? This feather is, is, is something of the veil. And, and, I, and, 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 and look, and I, I, po- I, I point to Caprice with both my hands. He is of the health he told us. There, there, there has to be something, and and very almost with disregard, irreverent, right? I, I pull out my dagger, uh, uh, that is of, you know, the the Talon Guard, and I, I, I clink on his horns, and I try to get some resonance. What are you doing? Stop that! It, it just, he, 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 he told us many times that he's of of the nine hells. It's, it's, it, there's a link. Just, just let me be. And I'm, I'm trying to just like make some kind of resonance off his horns, make as our, as awful and irreverent as it may be. Make an arcana check. <clears throat> Pardon me as I pull up DD Beyond. That's I think most... I think I get what you're laying down. DD Beyond, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's of an not a good phone. roll, is all I'm going to say. Uh, Arcana, it's a 15. 15. On the nose. It it clinks against the horn, and it just sounds like a dagger clinging against the... Uh, clanking against the... Uh, just a horn. The horn, like a wood no. of a goat or a bull. No, no there, there has to be something, and I'm, I'm still, I'm still clenching the, the parchment he gave me in my hand. Uh, th- th- this isn't it. There's, there's no way this is the end. I, I don't believe it. I refuse. I, I need time. Ten days. We have time. Ten days. I don't think you need that time. And I'll put my hand on Field's shoulder. No, no. He had a last wish, and you're holding it in his, in your hand right now. Do it. I will I will un, unfurl this this parchment that he handed me. And it's crumpled, it's a yeah. mess. I'm fucking squeeze this out. You unfurl it. It says, in case I de- die <laughs> Fuck Glacia. <laughs> Curse number one. Every time she gets in bed, it's like someone's eaten an entire everything bagel. What is it what is it written? What is it written? Curse number two. What's it written in? It's What's written it? in common. Okay. Alright, alright. And it's two, three, four, five, probably 36 different curses of minor inconveniences that stack one on top of the other <laughs> would be the worst day that you could possibly imagine. Um, you, you're, the sides of your nose are particularly sensitive. One of them is closed. Uh, you've got <laughs> uh, cuticle problems on every finger, paper cuts. You're you really not uh, helping here, Derek. <laughs> no, that, it, it's, it's literally a revenge document. An eternal hangnail, um, one persistent die. That's that's what you would get reading this document. It's, it's nothing but like, hey, can you take care of this for me? It's just fuck Glacia in these really weirdly minor ways. For you have a sunburn style. in your armpit. I I get I get done reading the parchment, and I'm, I'm speechless. And I look to tell, and I say, "There's nothing here. He didn't do anything. There is." Did you read it out loud? I would read it to myself. I, I did not read it out loud. I scanned it very quickly. So and I and I look to the group Sorry. and I say There's literally nothing here. And I and I would kind Which of let it, it say? I'd let it fall to my hand and, and kind of because I'm stunned. I'm stunned that, that Caprice would hand me 
this piece of paper that seems so significant and it ended up being completely insignificant. And and I would even argue that maybe I committed it to memory, I, right? I will it pick it up the room. and I will look at it and I will start to laugh. This is not insignificant. Caprice gave us what Caprice has always given us. Joy, laughter, and hope. For Glacia only has a chance against us if we are hopeless. But with this, I want to free Caprice from her more than I ever have. And with hope in my heart, she will come to fear us. She will come to know us. For our souls are not hers. But she will belong to us. And I'm going to fold it up neatly, and I'm going to put it in my bag. Someone take this. And I'll hold up the wrong one. Oh, I didn't want to touch that. I can't hold that. I mean, you're the best candidate for it. It's... I probably wouldn't be able to pick it up. It looks much too heavy. Would you mind going like this a few times? Maybe that will get it to work. And I'll just watch as his bicep gets larger. I don't larger. understand. <laughs> no, I, I, was, I think you should have this. <laughs> I... I'm in quite a way. I really needed to see that it wasn't working. Oh. If you want me to carry it, I will. But who is going to carry Caprice? And who is going to carry Herja? Well, I was going to carry both of them. I can carry can you manage? something, somebody. We need I'm to... sorry I yelled at you. I'm sorry I yelled at you too, darling. I love you very much. I meant it when I called you my sister. And... Uh, I know that we have had tension between us. My heart finds it difficult to let people in. But, but it, I'm in, yeah? Darling, it lets you in when we first met. Oh. And you have filled up a room. You live there rent-free. I love that. I'm so glad. I will do whatever I can to keep us together. If you want me to carry the rod, I will carry it. Yeah. What about all these other and people? And I'll grab the rod from him. Iris, as you grab the rod, you oh, feel power oh, within no. it. <laughs> oh, no. You... It, it doesn't cast any magic or do anything, but you feel a familiarity of the power, some of the power, a fraction of the power that's in this rod. Seventh of the power. And you can sense the undeniable divine mark of Osiris on this. Interesting. Hmm. The lord of my master, you know. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Iris, you've changed. <laughs> <laughs> Caprice, you did. It's funny on the lot of that. Oh, hey, I'm your great aunt Gina. It's nice to meet you, Caprice. How you like in hell? <laughs> I've got, I've got my, I've got my family tree right here. Yeah, oh. there you are. <laughs> oh boy, um, I, it's, I feel the magic wash over me, and I will look up at Toa. I want to keep no secrets. I felt something when you handed this to me. The power of Osiris rests in this weapon. Who? The Lord of my master, <laughs> Osiris. What does that mean, Lord of your master? Stop Call speaking in riddles! Who is it? I'm not speaking in riddles. The where Lord I am Sam from, Lord? where I am from, the ruler over death, all death, not just the judging of hearts, not just the pathway of souls. It is through Anubis that you meet Osiris. Wait, wait, wait. Is this like a god of a god? H how does that work? That is how it works. I, I don't understand. Osiris rules above all others. And you can feel... Him? Him. Him? In the world? Part of this world. Roughly one-seventh of this world is up here. That gives me hope. I mean, it's, it sounds like at the very least then, then this being, this god, is, is, is some sort of 
agent of, of, of law uh, and, and, and a force for good. I, I mean, I would certainly think so, coming from you. Yes. And my guess, and it is but a guess, is he was one of the seven that locked away, that broke the rod in seven pieces. But when we were all angels, were you the angel of... of Cyrus? I believe so. Yes. Ooh. So that's, there's a reason. I, I was like some lion guy, like a lion king, if you will. <laughs> Literally. Literally. And you you were sort of the embodiment of, of Osiris then. And that, that's, that's good. Maybe you can use that connection somehow to save the priest, to save Hersia. I will spend time with the world and see what I can learn from it. But I do not <clears throat> believe I will learn much. Is Hersia breathing? She is breathing. Okay, she so is she's passed out. She's alive. alive. She's alive and she's breathing heavily as if she's in a rest, a restless sleep, just like Amos. Unconscious, uh, very weak after everything that happened, uh, but very clearly turned. You you see, still short, but you see the, the dark fur. You see her, her boots have been ripped out and there are, are heavy hooves uh, where there once been feet. Uh, and coarse, dark fur. And the horns come around. It reminds you of Peyton slightly the, in, in, in their shape. And then she begins to sing. <laughs> no. <I'm kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> it feels horrible to say it. But should Hersia awake, we cannot risk the rest of us falling to Beast Plague. Yeah, we need true. to bring her with us, but we need to make sure that she cannot affect us. Uh, of course. I, I, I agree. It goes without saying we have to take proper precautions, but that's fine. We, we, we can do that. But just, what about Torvald? We have to bring him too. We can come back for him. She will never forgive He's stone, forgive us. right? He's, yeah, he's Jane. He's far too heavy for us to carry. Dude, and sh- I'm going... She's going to be so mad, though. Well, sh- I... Th- yes. I, I don't know how to sugarcoat it. Her father is a jade statue, and I, I believe she cared for Caprice, and he is now dead. Should she awake? Oh. That is a very horrible situation to be in, and there is no way around it. But we only have ten days, and there are, there are but four of us. We will have to leave to and hope that... Hope that nothing happens to him when we enter him. Can't we just use the feather right here? I don't see why not. Does it have like a like a limit, like a like a weight limit, or like a wasn't it limit? all six of us? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. But you know that uh, it doesn't bring objects back, so Caprice would have to be alive. It wouldn't bring his body to the veil. To the veil, correct. Does not does not work on it's, it's living creatures. So it wouldn't bring our bags or anything. Anything that, that's, that's on you, your equipment or whatever. But basically, if it's something that's like... We couldn't take that corpse with us, like yes. a bunch of corpses or a statue or whatever. Yeah. Maybe we could get Hizaki to, to watch, watch him here and keep him safe. And all the others, too. That All these statues were people once. I don't think Zoki will help us. I think you'd do anything that we say. We killed his master. And for that, we will be his enemy. Well, he's going, you saw what kind of person he is. You've seen me make master out of uh, so many guys like this. They're just looking for someone to follow. Well, I hope that you are right. He'll fall in line. We just need to... Show him that she's not an option and he'll cling to the next best thing. And that's probably you, so freshen well, up. definitely not me. This is in your hands. You said you were going to do this. Mm-hmm. You just yelled at me to fix this. I, I did. I yelled back at you. I'm yelling you a lot To today. shut up and do something, and then you offered to do something, so you could then turn around and tell me to do it. Oh, jeez. You can should. you do this or can't you? you I should. don't know. He's a dragon You're thing. A dog and a deer and a horse, so maybe. I don't know. What is he? You've probably done worse, maybe. 
It's true. You were sold into slavery, and That's you got true. yourself out of it. That's true. By people who will not be named. <coughs> I'm actually not listening, and I'm sitting. I'm sitting uh, uh, over I'm by Caprice's corpse. Uh, whether you're holding him or whatever, I'm. I'm very. I haven't close picked to, him up yet. I okay, then I am. I'm sitting down next to Caprice's corpse, and I'm. I'm very intently looking at him. But I. You, you make an investigation check while that happens. Okay. I was prepared to really do nothing. I was. I was. Quite frankly, I had no control over the situation. But I was quite prepared to be incredibly angry when you appeared out of nowhere. That is resourcefulness. It is resilience. It, do you believe you can do this, or don't you? Yeah, I, I mean, I can do it. It's just like, you know, if I... I don't know. I'm gonna I can do it. I'm going to shake, shake her. Snap out of it. <laughs> can you or can you not do it? Okay. I have faith yeah, in her. Tower, do you have faith in her? I have faith in all of us, yes. And you too, Lofty. I do. You have faith in me? I, I do. Are you still like 100 feet tall? I'm still 15 feet tall, <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is that, 150 feet tall? I have faith tall? in you too, Lofty. <laughs> I have faith in you too, Lofty. <laughs> this one makes me feel better because he's so big and I'm like a You're little itty bitty. Very tiny. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> His okay. will sense your weakness. No, he won't, because I have none. That, that is my girl, and I'm going to give you a big hug. I'm going to receive this big hug and also give you one. <laughs> <laughs> That's lovely. Now what do we do? It's time for the brains. As Felix. you take a look at Caprice, his violin and the bow, now gently placed at him, at his, uh, on top of him, you see his jacket, his, the jacket that he wears, and in <clears throat> towards the front, or towards his heart, you see a bit of an indentation of something that may have been in a front pocket. Perfect, because I was going to go through all his belongings anyways, or whatever <laughs> answer was. <laughs> you find, let's see, uh, you find the deck of illusions, uh, oh, no. And you would find also these two items. You also find... Oh. You reach into the pocket, Felix, and you find a cracked tuning fork. A cracked what? Tuning, tuning fork. fork. Oh. That seems to be made of a, a, a reddish... A reddish material. How badly damaged does it look? It looks like there's definitely a large crack... In it. If I try to gently use it, what happens? Gently. Kind of lets out the strange resonance that sounds, it is musical. It doesn't tune towards the whatever note. How do tuning force work? Like, you know, basically. Well, it's like you well so generally C, there's right? a resonance, right? But like if it's broken, it might just sound like a thunk. It, it might not. It wouldn't ring, it, right? You see that what the, the, the magical power that it may have had in it is no longer humming from it, <laughs> but it does still somehow let out a resonance, and it's musical. I I drop the uh, two items that uh, Caprice sounds discarded. You, there also would have been a spell scroll of Mage Hand if you care for it. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, I go through shit, right? And, like, I ditch the two items that you just gave me. I, th I put them on the ground, I don't give a fuck. And I am focused on this tuning fork. And I'm focused on the tuning fork. Yeah. And, and, and at, I'm going to keep this tuning fork. You do. But I'm focused on it. I don't give a shit about it. the things you gave me. I put them on the ground. Those are just anyway. on my person that yeah. you would find. If anybody else prefers to look at them, that's fine. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't yeah. give them a second thought. Right. Yeah. I'm focused on this new for yeah. I would see Felix drop them. I just tuck them back in his jacket. Do that. And I'm 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 looking at the new fork. I'm sketching in my spell book, and I'm looking through my things and. So, let me at least carry him. Yes. I will lean down and I will scoop up Caprice and hold him in, you know, my forearms probably. I can probably cradle him, right? Yeah, like in you can cradle him very easily. Uh, and then I will go over to Herja 
and I will lean down and I will, you know, I guess scoop her up as well, and just sort of have them both one in each arm. Um, knowing that I have probably three and a half hours left of being gigantic. You do that. And so you reach down and you scoop up Persia, and she stirs very slightly, but she's very deeply exhausted. You get the sense that you have hours before this creature awakes. But it's barely the Persia. It looks like another member of the Horn Legion at this point. And you scoop her up, and you hold Caprice in your arms, and you are looking at him. And with that, we're going to cut to Caprice. What the fuck? Caprice is dead. Couple of what now? Caprice. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Agony. Oh, God. Yikes. It's the worst pain you've ever experienced by an order of magnitude. You hear the wailing and shrieking of souls, countless souls, hundreds, no thousands, no, maybe even more, surrounding you. All you can see is fire, flame, and you realize your head is entirely engulfed. Your sin, your flesh is burning away and regrowing and burning away, scalding. Your hair is on fire, your horns are on fire. Every single bit of your head but you can't move. You realize that you're encased in something and only your head can move. And all you can do is scream. As you look around and through the fire, you finally make out everything that is around you. You see skies of ash. What the fuck? An entire ocean of lava and towering black spires of horrific make, cragging peaks of just a hellish landscape, as you now can all hear, your your screams are drowned out. You can barely hear your own shrieks amongst the din of countless shrieking souls. And you realize now that your entire body is encased in lava, submerged, only your head free, as your entire body is in utter agony as it burns and, and, and singes and, and, and yet you cannot die. And you look over, and you see... Oh, thanks. You see your family members all around you, and they're all shrinking their heads on fire as they're encased up to their necks in lava. Eternally tortured, and your soul is in utter agony for all eternity. What do you do? (laughs) Suffer? I scream. I, uh... I'm especially alarmed to find that I can't seem to move. I am going to, uh, as, as, as best I can, I want to try and struggle and see if I can get an arm free and, and, and maybe start to make some way uh, out of the lava like this. Uh, you attempt to struggle, and you can't move anything. You are, all it is is agony, is pain, is torture, as you are completely engulfed in flame, and you hear a voice booming over you. You can see no shape. <laughs> oh, welcome home, Caprice Show. I told you your the rest of your life would be short. And here we are, you'll return to me. And you'll be here. And not just you. You'll have the chance to spend all of time with all of your future family members. They're mine. Welcome home, and remember, Capriccio, hell is from here to eternity. I will attempt to stifle a scream as best I can and just be- Fuck! You! Fuck you! Ah! Uh, <laughs> I love to hear it, and I'm going to relish in it for all of time. Welcome to Malibosh. I'm going to try and- See if I have anything on my person. I search for my tuning fork for my viol. I can't. I can't even. Just your head sticking out of lava. 
um, my claustrophobia starts to kick in. Oh, oh my god. No, thanks. Uh, I, I, am, I am a pure panic machine. I am a open, raw nerf uh, screaming into the heavens. I look around. Uh, uh, do I recognize any of the family members? Perhaps a generation back, but do I recognize my, my family in general as I start to stream you around? You recognize, you see faces of past cousins and uncles that you'd seen pictures of, illustrations of from your old family albums as you see that the, it, the entire DeSesto line since Massimo is all here surrounding you. Recognizing that it's real and also being here and feeling the pain that I have, I feel complete loss of hope. Uh, I lose myself in the pain for who knows how long. I can't even tell you. Eons. Eons, perhaps. Could be. I mean, it would feel like that, perhaps. Um, I feel out of options. Uh, I don't know if I have anything that I could possibly do in this situation. You feel like you have no options at this point. Exactly right. There's nothing that you can do. Suffer, of course. I have my voice. You have your voice. Uh, I will scream for Galassia. Um, uh, come back! Ah! Okay, we can we can make a deal. We can do we can do something. We I'll help. I'll do whatever you want. I, I promise. We already did, Capriccio. This is the result of the deal. Goodbye. I, I bye. And he fades off. Oh God! Fe- oh. Feeling that she's gone, I'm I'm screaming. I'm I'm, I'm in agony. Uh, I'm gonna pray to the first god that comes to my mind. Um, <gasps> Anubis! No! No! I gotta go. <laughs> you do your thing, Derek. I gotta go. Anubis! I gotta go. Uh, Anubis, help! Anyone, please! <laughs> Uh, uh, the second, uh, 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 pay, 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 Paylor! Uh, uh, help! Help! Help, Paylor! <laughs> Not even Glossia <laughs> responds. No one is here, just the only voices that respond are the thousands of shrieking, tortured souls. <sighs> Iris! Arja! Toa! Felix, Lufty, please, please. I have the notes in my mind as I start to think of what I would consider to be a last resort. Yep. (laughs) And I'll sing. No! (laughs) Don't let jumps in the (laughs) hell. No! No! I'm Obviously, for, this would be it. a very pained. This would be a very pained song, but I'll sing it for real. Oh my gosh! Come gather round, magics, wherever you roam. The power of words is about to be shown. Yes, the evil of words will soon be known. It doesn't seem worth to be saving. So hear me this first time, my serious tone. It's time to meet Pazuzu. Come wizards and clerics who prophetize with your pen. Keep your eyes wide open, he's coming again. It won't be long now till he makes wide his grin. For there's no telling what evil I'm braving. For the loser now may be later to win. Yes, it's time to meet Pazuzu, come magical spell, please heed my call. Don't fail me now, though you may be appalled. This monster soon will be raging. Close up your windows and bolster your walls. It's time to meet Pazuzu. The moment you finish your song, the sound of screams replaced by howling wind. The smell of fire is rep- replaced by the smell of burning flesh. As you 
look upon a scorched, barren land, a wasteland, badlands, stretch all around you with towering, towering crags and mesas that whip across and winds that blast with sand and dust as you can feel the heat of a brutal red sun that blazes above, hanging in a black sky. You see ancient towers and ziggurats in the distance. And all you can smell is the burning flesh, the howling wind. You are utterly alone, kneeling. You can see you know, now have control over your hands. You, 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 you're out of the lava. The pain is gone. The pain is gone. All you, the, all the pain that's left is just the coarse bits of debris and gravel raking across your skin. As the, and the relentless heat of that red, evil sun that hangs above. You see bits of the landscape, gyrating, twisting portals that open and then close all manner of color. And you feel like you have been spared, at least temporarily, from that torture. I'll attempt to stand onto my two feet for a moment, and I'll look around to see if any of my family is with me. Look around, and all you see is this barren landscape. And then it gets dark for a moment, as a shadow is cast over you. And you see the silhouette, the shadow of wings, four of them cast across the ground, and you hear whoa, 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 whoa. And you hear something land behind you. And as you turn, you see the figure of a vaguely humanoid shape towering over you. It seems to have a humanish body covered in feathers, wearing a tattered toga of some sorts with large clawed feet like the worst of the raptors that you could have imagined in your worst dreams. And its arms are very similar. Long hands with massive talons that extend from each finger. On its back is a huge curved sword and its head bird-like no bird that you've ever seen before massive jagged beak at its mouth and it stares at you with six blood red malevolent eyes and it steps forward as you stand and looks down at you. You have taken my hell. You're you're a hell of a thing, aren't you? You are a hell of a thing. Thank, thank you. Devil. Uh, no, I mean, where have, where are we? What is this place? You are in Pazunia, my realm. Oh, fucking God. I have spared you <laughs> from your fate. <laughs> hey. And he circles you. His head moving back and forth, and it's true. The strange, the movements that he does is the combination between a man and a bird as he, he surveys you. Do you wish for my aid? Because if you do not agree to a deal, 
then you are back to your own hell. We'll return it. And he, there's almost this giddiness as he struts around you, towering right. over you. Fucking bet. Yeah, bet. Kill me now. I, uh, would need to know the full terms of that deal. And if there's a room for negotiation. Oh, of course. I am not a mere devil. Like the terrible Glacia daughter of... He kind of nods and trails off. She is treacherous, but you can trust Pazuzu. Well, we're 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 in we're in agreement that she's a terrible, oh, uh, treacherous bitch. I'm 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 I'm, w- I'm with you one hundred percent on that one. Her power is no match for mine. <laughs> I can free you. So fucked. I can free your family. No way. All you must do is help me bring about my aims. Bring about the great future that I have whispered to. I've been in this situation once before, and uh, and the aims turned out to me not so good. So if you could elaborate a little bit and help me make a determination as to whether or not we're weighing, you know, the world or, or, or just like maybe your own little fiefdom. I don't know. I'm just trying to get a sense of what you're up to. Of course. Make a persuasion check. I have to get my dice back out. It was so absurd. Uh, that'll be a 27. That's pretty fucking good. Okay. It means Pazuzu. <laughs> I will let you in on a secret to show you... <laughs> that you can trust me. You will be my agent to bring about. And he extends a clawed hand. And suddenly there's a, a shift and the, 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 the oppressive red sun overhead uh, uh, sh- starts to go dark. And as you see a blackness, a spherical blackness is a massive eclipse looms overhead and where you in beneath this black this now blackened sun you see a massive towering ziggurat of unfathomable size and thousands millions of 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 of, of entities from 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 all planes in 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 bloodthirsty world-ending apocalyptic battle A war that will dwarf the blood war. A war <laughs> where Basusu is not just the prince of demons, but the king <laughs> of demons. As it swirls overhead and says, where there are no No demons, no devils, no mortals. Just Pazuzu. I don't and want that future for anyone. It switches back to normal. But you and your family. Your love will be spared and will be made of the Susu. Join my flock. We will welcome you and you and Hersha and Thrart will roost.
Caprice takes a long time to answer. He does. And after about nine seconds have passed, suddenly you lose your agency. And a voice emerges from your mouth that is not your own. And you begin to speak. So this is your plan. My associate. see all six of the eyes open wide as he takes a step back. As he takes a step back. What is this? When we made our agreement, the plan was to keep the status quo. It was to keep the blood war ongoing for all time. But I see you, like so many others, have much ambition. And uh, uh, Pazuzu, Pazuzu uh, narrows his eyes and takes several steps forward and raises his greatsword and says, well, now that you know there's no reason to keep secrets, Asmodeus, I never needed you, and this changes nothing. I do not need your soul of this deep ring. I need not you. I only need Pazuzu. As uh, Caprice, you then say, You need him not, but it would not matter, for he was never even my daughter's. He was always mine. <laughs> As suddenly, the Pazuzu is getting ready to swing his great sword into your form. And suddenly it cuts to a dark room, completely shrouded in shadow, but you can vaguely make out holy shit. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> Yo, this is some shit. A <laughs> All these DD sessions have been way too much lore, and my lore boner is exploding. Oh, God. You feel as if you're in <laughs> a study of some kind. You can see shelves built in very slightly, but all you see is shadow, and you see uh. many crystals, rubies, on these ornate stands as they flank you and you realize that you are unable to move beyond this small confine as if you are in a small ruby yourself. And you see a figure 13 feet tall moving around in the darkness. You see the silhouette, very tall, angular features, pointed ears, and spiraling horns out to the side of its head as it moves about and it turns towards you and you see eyes white like lanterns looking at you. I apologize for my deception, Capriccio de Sestum, for it was I who led you to that statue you can call me Caprice. Are we going to be associates, Caprice? Is that the cause for the formality? I don't. I, first time in my life, I'm speechless. I don't know what's going on. What? What? Where are we? What is this place? Who are you? What's going on? What the fuck? I. I am your new associate. I am here to provide respite. For us to make a deal that is beneficial, truly beneficial for all sides. Uh, 
Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll hear it. I, I I don't think I have much in the way of options. Uh, are you saying that Glacios never was never part of the picture in the first place, or are you just scooping me up? She believed that she was. But she always was ambitious. She was always reckless. Did not have the attention to detail that I do. Which is why she will never ascend to my throne. And she did not read the very fine print on that contract that Massimo signed. Let's go. I really like to see a copy of this goddamn contract. <laughs> is 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 my family still in a a, a, a nightmare of lava? Is, is that still happening right now? He waves a hand, and you see a contract emerges, and he extends a long finger, and you see in this horrible infernal script as. At the very bottom, you see the elegant flourish of Massimo de Sesto at the end. I recognize On the other it. side, you recognize it, and you see Glossius in the All souls in this realm are mine, not my daughter. They do not belong to her as much as she thinks that they do. Ambition, Caprice, can lead to greatness and gestures to his sanctum. But unless you are clever and not think you are cleverer than you are, it leads to your folly. It leads to doom. So many ambitious, those that wish to usurp me, my own daughter, that is unsurprising, and my former associate. I apologize to deceive you as long as I have, for I had to learn of Pazuzu's plan. I had suspected his betrayal, but now it is confirmed, and now you will suffer the consequences of violating the contract. As you know, it is far worse than even he, the aerial master of a Beobis, can fathom. Uh, if you say so, I, uh, can I sit? You may. <laughs> I'm gonna go and I'm gonna you pull said, a chair you out realize, and just. <sighs> you are not in a chair. You are in a ruby on his shelf. Oh, I'm in a ruby. Yeah, you are. You are in like. A, I a really ruby. don't want to be standing. I'm like. You can sit inside this this ruby. I. Uh, what the hell? I cross my legs and I just sort of like. <sighs> Do you see the results of treachery, caprice, and ambition? And he reaches onto one of his shelves, and he picks up one of the rubies, and he holds it up, and you see this horrible imp-like creature with almost this bullish head, but it's devilish. And you feel like you recognize that reminds you of Moloch. Oh my god. And it's shrieking and pounding at the sides of this ruby, and he places it back on a shelf. Eh, counterspell, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I offer you and he he, the, he he hovers the contract closer to you. The complete ab- absolution, the dissolving of this contract that Massimo made with a new one. It is simple in its designs. You bring about the end of Zuzu. Destroy him. Be my instrument in his downfall. I will spare your soul, the souls of your family, except Massimo. He is my daughter's, if I will it, and I do. 
he made the decision he should suffer the consequences. Everyone else, their souls shall be freed. Your soul shall be free. Your descendants' souls shall be free. Not 20 minutes ago, I was about five feet away from Massimo, and if I could have fucking moved, I would have slapped him in his fiery face. You're saying we des- they were done. My my descendants, they, they're free. They, they, would, they would turn out to be... If you fulfill your end of the bargain... Pazuzu, gone. Yes, defeated. His treachery brought to its logical conclusion. I think to myself... I will even, and he waves a hand, and you see a swirling uh, glimpse of this almost bird's eye view of the the shattered chamber that your friends are in. As Toa is holding Cradle in your body and Herja's beast plague uh, form. I can even return your love and her father, but I must take them as collateral until I am certain of your loyalty. And one final piece. I will take the glaive of the King of Beasts. Those are the terms, Capriccio. I'm free, my family's free, except Massimo. Uh, all, all my friends are free, and uh, it, I don't have to help you start a war or anything. I just have to let you have the glaive. And uh, you keep Massimo, and what else? Uh, oh, you, you keep Herja and uh, Torvald for the duration until we kill Pazuzu? Until I am certain of your loyalty, you must understand I am wary of... Treachery. Can you define, uh, unpack uh, def- uh, loyalty for me for a moment? <laughs> My man. My man! Your service to me. You must understand, please. Certainly I can prove my loyalty in a, a, a very short term. It doesn't have to be uh, the, the, the death of Pazuzu, right? It does not. It can be loyalty loyalty. If I am satisfied I will return both your love and her father. Revived, restored to their former former forms. But I need collateral. Allow me to be frank and candid with you, Caprice. He moves about, he almost glides. I thought your name was Basmodius. <laughs> Alright, Mike, we're ready to write it down. Just spat it out. For this is of the utmost importance to me, Caprice. Mm-hmm. For I was not always like this. And he runs a finger along his horns. I used to be of the heavens. And it was Pazuzu who lured me to this. So do you understand why I am willing to give you everything you wish? for the goal of destroying the treacherous. And you see a, a slight bit of anger, but then immediately returns to, to coldness. I'm gonna lose her Jenny way. You keep her for a temporary period of time until I, uh, until my loyalty is proved. Glacia gets fucked, we get to fuck Pazuzu, and I get to be free of all of this contract business. You signed this contract, yet a new one immediately materializes in front of you. And it has a blank line, and then one that is already filled in, and says Asmodeus. 
<laughs> My man. <laughs> Let it fucking ride, uh, baby. Here, do I need to um, initial or uh, it, it, uh, 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 I mean, I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm in. What, what other choice do I have? I'm happy to uh, eat. I don't care about any of this shit. All I want to do is go home to Galtica. Be my own home. Uh, uh, tiefling. Be my own tiefling. And you will, Caprice. And I will even sweeten the deal. I will assist you and your companions, whom you must rely on. The power that they call upon, especially the power of the gods, are mighty, and they will be useful in the battles to come. I mean, don't use your my friends, but like you can go through me. All right. I will grant power to all of you. Uh, what, 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 whatever. Uh, the, the, here, uh, just just a tiny little. Uh, I, I I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you're like omniscient or whatever. But I wrote a uh, hundred curses uh, for your daughter. I know she's your daughter, uh, but just once a day, one of them happens at random to her. You know, if if we could just add, like a little addendum right here on the side, that'd be. They're, they're really they're really minor. Her shame and rage and defeat, as punishment for her treacheries. Going to happen regardless of this, Caprice. Well, do the everything bagel thing at least once, and I'm in. Make a persuasion check. That's <laughs> <laughs> yes, good. Uh, that was a eleven. Uh, That's like forty-four. <laughs> Uh, 35. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He waves his hand and you see an everything bagel emerge. No, and all of 25. the stuff on top is like falling very obnoxiously to the ground and then it disappears. And he waves his hand and uh, a new line is added to the contract that mentions the everything bagel. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, I write Capriccio de Sesto, but you can call me Caprice. And oh, yeah. the contract is sealed it ignites into flame and it rolls up and blinks out and you see the contract that Massimo has signed on one corner and it ignites into ash thanks great 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 granddad fuck ya we have a deal Caprice I am looking forward to our business partnership it's been a pleasure Assy and uh, suddenly, back into the chamber, you're carrying Caprice and Herja. As Caprice, you sputter to life as your consciousness returns. <coughs> <coughs> what is that? As the tuning fork that you're holding starts to vibrate and glow in this red light and so it erupts and you drop it and suddenly shadow is completely engulfing the space as you see a tall thin silhouette of a robed devil long horns looking at you with lantern like eyes I have returned Caprice to you. Caprice, are you okay? I'll look down into my arm. I think so, yeah. Is this real? Are you seeing this? You are seeing this. Say something Cap only Caprice would know. It always takes me a while to get up in the morning. Oh, it is Caprice. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Who, who is this? Who are you? Is the... Tuning fork still in one piece. Uh, it's at the center of the shadow, but it, it hasn't shattered. You haven't, no, it's not shattered. It's still in one piece. I'm I'm watching the figure in the, in the tuning fork. It was the power of Anubis that returned him to life, but I have released his soul. I have made a deal with your companion. Caprice, not again. This time I got to set some terms, all right? Who, who, who are you? That is not important. It's, it's the most important. You have to tell me. I am your friend's new business associate. I have returned him to you with but assistance. At what cost? 
the cost of a shared aim, the fall of he who you should never name. Voldemort. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> yes, I do. I, what? What is this? I'm gonna try not to like drop her. Stop. What are you doing? Stop the, this! The, the, the bird with the <gasps> frost. Don't say it. I'm not just say his name Frost, but we will never say his name Frost. That oh my God, Toa, can you let me down? Oh, oh. So <laughs> we, I gently like put you down. Oh. <laughs> we have to destroy that guy. Yes, I have the same goal that you do, at least in the immediate. We are all allies here. We are all friends. What? No, we are not. We're not, but we have an agreement. We have our agreement, and what, uh, what? you see the hand of this shadowy figure uh, wave across the room, and there's a swirling of this darkness as uh, Persia suddenly starts to shrink and 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 get encased in a ruby. What have you done to Persia? And uh, Torval, who's off in the in the distance, once again, and there's two floating rubies, and then alongside them, in a row of three, is Harkleaver, the glaive of Baphomet. As it all floats and swirls around the shadowy figure. What have you done with the trucks? Are we going to let them, let them take them? What are you doing with them? You can't have those. It has already okay. been signed away. Simply collateral. I am their savior, but I demand loyalty. And the eyes turn to, to Caprice. And now that you are all associated with my business associate. I am happy to give you assistance. I want nothing from you. Caprice, you signed Persia away? No, 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 I mean, uh, not really, no. And you all feel the strange kind of darkness that, that surrounds you. You feel this warmth, but it's not the, the pleasant warmth of a... a, a a comfy fire. Warm it's the sands. The warm yeah, sands. Yeah, the warm sands. It is, feels, there's I'm going to push against it. You do. I do not want to accept you, anything from And them. you, in whatever kind of power that is washing over you, does not overcome you. And with, it almost kind of shrinks away and when it, when it gets close to that power of Anubis. And you kind of all feel this power well into you as the the uh, at the center of this is this tuning fork and this shadowy figure 13 feet tall looks around taller than a garden feywild not Not even even close oh two feet shorter than a garden feywild exactly right (laughs) I wish I understood that joke. As they, <laughs> I'm an Vanshin idiot. Chill, Vanshin Chill. <laughs> the point of that joke is I'm an idiot. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second. Uh, the two rubies now, you see the statue of Torvald and the unconscious beast creature in these rubies. Now swirl closer and closer. Caprice can inform you of what he has done and share as much as he cares to. My agreement and my bargain are with him. Do we feel as though there's any sort of like agreement needing to be made to accept this? Nope. It's already happened. It's forced upon us. Fuck. And Not you guys. It swirls well, yes. around as the shadows get smaller and smaller and they slink away from Fuck. the sides of That's the chamber. Boring. As uh, the the the, the light of those eyes kind of shimmer and they turn back to you, Caprice. Remember, Caprice, loyalty, and they will be returned. I will not accept any more treachery. And in a swirling burst, the glaive, the rubies, and the shadow are gone. And the chamber returns. Caprice is alive. I assume I'm, like, at one hit point, and, like, mechanically it doesn't matter, but... Mechan- I, I would say that you're stored to full health. Oh, wow. Yeah, sure. 
Caprice. Caprice. Is it really you? It can't be. Ah. You were dead. We all saw it. A moment ago, you you weren't breathing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's been... It's been quite a journey for me, too, you guys. What, what's been going on uh, here in the real world? Hersha! What about Hersha? Yeah, I, uh... She's she's gonna be staying with uh, the the, the uh, white eyes over there, the guy with the big lantern eyes. Did did they give you a name? Do I remember a name? You remember the name as the dance? I grab Caprice by his his lapels. Did, did did they give you a name? Yeah. Tell me. I'll write it down for you. I don't know how speaking of names works. Now. I'll take out a piece of parchment. Um, I don't have a part. Uh, can I have that list back? I, I give him whatever he needs. The list. Uh, I, I take the 100 list back and I. Okay. Now you have that information. Is this a name that rings a bell to me at all? Uh, make a history, uh, an arcana check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. I would say that it was that in the deepest, darkest reaches of the library, where you were able, and only in High uh, General Zern's private collection, you had seen the name, that word, scribbled down on uh, in a book, on a scrap that was of, of ancient, unknown origins. That the but you got the sense that it was a incredibly powerful, impossibly powerful, uh, terrible evil. I release my grip on his lapels, and I fall to the ground, kind of sitting down with my legs crossed, and I begin to chuckle to myself. And that's... <laughs> what? What? I don't understand. What is so funny? <laughs> What have you done, Caprice? I made a deal oh. with that person that you guys all just saw, but it's not. You guys are free to join me. <laughs> my fate is my own now. All I have to do is show loyalty and Hercha will be back. <laughs> but my, I've, I've freed the souls of my family. I've, 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 I've fixed it. I finally fixed it. All Everything's have, fine. All you have to do is show loyalty, but your freedom is your own. It yeah, seems... but but you guys aren't beholden to anything. I would love it if you joined me, but I I'm not asking you to. I'm not even. The the, the point is is that look, I was. You don't have any idea where I was. What what happened to me after I died? Do you have any idea? I I can't begin to guess. I can't. It seems contradictory that you have your soul back, but you also have to show loyalty. You just sold it to someone else. You too. My choice this time. My choice this time. I get to choose. I get to choose and then I can be free. I finally feel free for the first time in my life. You turned Hersha into a collateral. I don't know the meaning of the word. I get up <laughs> off of the ground and I slowly walk over to Caprice. I'm near six feet tall. I don't know how tall you are. I would say that you're one or two inches taller than I am. And I... Minus the horns. I'm trying to look impervious, is that the word? As I'm looming over you. Uh, imposing. Imposing, thank you, that impervious. was the word. Um, whatever. It would work. Um, Nothing's getting through I mean, me. <laughs> As I'm looking down at you. That works. And then I'm going to pull you into a warm embrace. I'm so glad you're not dead. We will figure this out, Caprice. We always do. But please don't leave us again. We love you. We I will love you. return the embrace immediately. Um, also, you're very stupid. But it's so good to have you. I don't know what else I could have done. I'll walk you through all of the steps that I went through. And and, and, and I, I tried very hard not to be a betrayer. No, 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 no hug me. Hug me. Keep hugging me. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Gosh, oh. you, you smell so good. It's just I crazy. Know. It's I really didn't sense. see this relationship happening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're not dead. I'll lean down to Felix. I really don't know the meaning of the word. What's a collateral? <laughs> it's all of this. 
There's plenty of time for all of that. Oh, all right. I, I need a minute. All right. The tuning right. fork's still there. You look at the tuning fork. When you fork. work with other people, it's when you collaterate with them. Mm. You, you look at the tuning fork. With all of you. It has been restored. Ah, oh, shit. And it is sitting there perfectly. The tuning fork has been restored. It's restored. been restored. And you check your pockets and the scale is gone. Mm. Well, Caprice has returned. I'm not going to pretend like I'm not frustrated that you made yet another deal. But he is right. This time he had a choice. And I'm not quite sure how I would react. Should I have been in a similar situation? I don't think any of us knows what choices we would make in utter desperation. It is not for us to judge. I'm just happy you're back. I'm happy you're back. I'm happy I'm back too. Is this my tuning fork? I mean, all of that goes without saying. You can walk us through what happened and you can not spare a detail and tell us where you were and who you talked to and what you did and where did you get that and what is it made of and does it sound okay now and maybe you should give me the tuning fork. This tuning and, fork? Yeah, that one and I'll take it if you want. I'll just hold on to it for a little bit and you can answer the questions about that and where you were and what you talked about, walk us through the deal and all of those things. My dad, uh, uh, Squeo, he gave this to me. May I? No, your, your dad was not called Squeo. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my dad's name is Squeo. That is not a name. His dad's like name was Pfeiffer, and then uh, Pfeiffer his dad's name, name was uh, Vivashi, and then uh, Massimo. Why on earth would someone name the child Squeo? Was he not liked? Yeah, he's one of the most beloved uh, uh, people in our in our whole town. I mean, until I was born. Squeo. No, maybe it's just like a cultural thing. Maybe. I take the tuning fork from... Squeeze the sister. And I mean, here, I, I write out the entire uh, family line. <laughs> no. <laughs> While she's reviewing the family line, I find something solid, a rock, whatever, and I strike Ooh. the, the tune for it. I want to listen to it. You strike it and it rings out and it's musical, but you can sense that that discordant resonance, the that that quality that was, wasn't quite complete now is as it rings and it has a very unique sound to it. And the, the metal that it's made of is not anything I've ever seen before. No, it's no, not it's like a, a it's not metal. It's like some other weird... It's like some metal. It's like this reddish metal that it almost looks crystalline, <gasps> like ruby. Oh, Kristen, can you please let Dante and Stella know that they've had enough children? <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you. <laughs> They're fucking crazy. <laughs> I have a question Jeez. for the DM. Yeah. When you were saying rubies, like the rubies on the shelves, the rubies floating around, I'm picturing like red chaos emeralds yes, that are like yes, floating yes, around. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so that's kind of what it is. Yeah, okay. yeah. I give uh, Caprice back his tuning fork. After listening to it's it. never lost its shape. It always holds its tone. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I think uh, my dad got it from his dad. It could be a pass down. You have a lot to tell us, my friend. A lot to tell us. Well, I'm an open book. I, I'm not holding any secrets anymore. Yeah, you can help us. So then tell us what happened. Like, what did you experience? Wait, wait. What was it? Before we go a second further, there is an entire chamber of draconic information here. Here. Mm -hmm. we, we can talk as we walk. I gotta see what's in there. Well, and honestly, this is the best thing that could happen to you. We are no longer on a 10 day time frame. That's right. Uh, What's what's ten days when you when you look at ten weeks or or, or ten years or, or ten lifetimes? The information that's contained. In, just just come with me. I'll lead the way. And I want to walk towards where all those dragon crystals were. You do that as the group starts to get distracted and starts to go back to their own business and less concentrated on me. Oh, I'm with keeping the, my eyes on you. With the spotlight on. as off of me as possible, <laughs> I'm just gonna. And then I will follow. Uh, I actually want to hang back and have a conversation with Caprice while we're walking. Okay. Before we, we start moving, I want to look over my shoulder and be like, wait, hold on. And I want to look and I saw that heart piercer or whatever floated up. Yeah. Is the Golden Lotus is, well, and she is the Rod of Law. Is Golden Lotus's glaive still laying there? It got completely shattered. 
the power oh, of okay. the, what bursted out was the energy of, and I'll just say that you could probably deduce this, the energy of Striga could no longer be contained in this process with the death of, of uh, Rajani. Oh. And it basically erupted, and ba- the, both sides had immediately completed the transformation of Herja and Torvald and uh, shattered the weapon. Um, hmm. So all so Rajani's plan to turn it into the that double glade that spread her control like beast plague was completely obliterated with her death. And um, Asmodeus got away with some sort of a basket glaive weapon. Yes, and, and you know that, that was filled with this horrible chaotic power. Good for him. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> you know. There you go, bud. So you begin uh, <laughs> oh. making your way up the stairs. Uh, on the way uh, back out of the way that you came to the the terrace that looks over that beautiful valley, uh, and I guess you're able to hang back and have a conversation. Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to do that. <laughs> Caprice. Yeah? Would you like a bite of my pickle? Kinda, yeah. Well, I only have the one. Anyway, <laughs> how was death? What was it like on the other side? Well, um, uh, the, the, the last thing I remember is uh, uh, Lufty just absolutely crushing my ribs with their spoon until that I was couldn't. Unfortunate. Yeah, uh huh. And then. Uh, it... You won't forgive her, of course. Oh yeah, no, no. I could see the it, it, that wasn't Lufty hit. That was that was mean. She really like spun into it. You know, it, it hurt. It hurt quite a bit. Uh, that that part was not fun. I imagine if I was uh, falling asleep in an old age, that would be less of an intimidating prospect, but that's about as bad a way as I can imagine. Uh, Then, uh, if you're talking about that, like, waterfall moment, you know, uh, it's uh, alive, 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 not alive. It was like, uh, it was like uh, falling and uh, flying at the same time. It was like uh, free fall. Control, but uh, not, not, neither of those things. Uh, the next thing I remember, I was uh, in in what I perceived that I would always be. From from as soon as I learned that I was the way that I was, I uh, was being tortured. I was I was in tremendous amount of pain, the worst, an order of magnitude of amount, amount of pain that I, I can't even describe to you. I, everyone I knew uh, in my family was there. Uh, it was torture. My hubris has gotten the better of me. I've always believed, and I'll hold up a little sack, a black velvet bag, and you'll see that it is mostly empty. I've put one diamond left. <clears throat> always believed that should any of us fall, that Anubis would carry you back. It never dawned on me that there would be powers that could prevent such a thing. And when we lost you, I realized how little power we truly have. I wanted to ask, should you fall again? What are your wishes? I didn't know, so I prepared you for burial, potentially. Sustained what vitality I could in your mortal form, so that we could do what we could to bring you back. And I realized in doing so, I never truly knew what your wishes were. If, uh, if you couldn't bring me back a uh, second time, I, uh, I'd want to be buried in Galtica with the rest of my family. If, if you have the means, I mean, that's a huge, huge favor where we are right now, but... I'll grab your hand and squeeze it. I would always make sure we return home. Thank you. I haven't really given that much thought. It's been something that's been very scary for me for a long time. Yes. I fear this deal that you've made with this entity. I don't want you to suffer eternity, do you? None of us do. Though I've made no deal with him myself, I am loyal to you. As my friend, I will follow you on this journey. I will beseech Anubis for his help when I can. And we will fell whatever this creature is. We will restore good to the world around us. 
until my very last breath. Ditto. Great. Do you like cheese? Are you having pickles and cheese? I do like to combine them. Would you like to try it? Have you slept with anyone recently? What? I sleep next to Lufty in every night. All right. Uh, I'll have some cheese. If I can't have any pickles, I would take some cheese. I'm oh, well, very hungry. I only hungry. have one slice. I'm very fertile. Oh, you're hungry. I oh. have some. I have some pistachios. Oh no! 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 You just died. They're good protein. And I'll look at. I do have like this little piece of cheese, and I look down at it sullenly. It's an actual a hearty piece of cheese. <laughs> I break it in half, and one of the halves is clearly larger than the other. And you can see as one tear rolls down my my cheek as I hand Caprice the larger piece Aww. of the cheese. Well, you've just died, so. I'll reach past cheese, her hand Caprice. and grab the smaller piece of cheese. cheese. Oh, Caprice. <laughs> uh, and you. then I'll, I'll put my arm around you, and then we'll just well, catch up with the girl. Thank you for your consideration. I'll put my arm around you, too, and walk. You walk arm in arm and catch up no, the group as no, 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 no. you get towards the top of the stairs oh, no. at this point. I'm about to have some stone into that, uh Into that chamber. And where you had seen, Go on. where you had remembered oh. up ahead <laughs> that beautiful <laughs> vision of dawn <laughs> that you long, it's just a cold stone chamber up ahead. And you make your way up, and you actually see smoke billowing. And as you arrive to that chamber, where there had been a beautiful glade with a tree, it's all completely charred, burned, smoking and smoldering. The tree is now nothing more than uh, uh, almost like a a piece of charred uh, uh, coal. As the, the... You see that the the, 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 the pond that had, had held those fish are, is, is still uh, bubbling and simmering and steaming. And you see the fish uh, cooked, boiled alive. Oh, As you see everything around you in this chamber Ooh, is completely charred. I'm going to scoop up some fish. Mate. Yeah, you're able to get these oh. big plump fish. No, this, Ooh, this is lovely. This, this, but this is right. The, 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 Everyone eat. We no, need no, no, the, 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 the library, the, the, the wealth of knowledge. And I'm going to I'm gonna proceed with more haste towards well, where I believe that that, I will eat his share. that is dragon a library wrong. is. The smoke continues to billow I'm in each chamber, it. each hallway. All of the murals are completely fried. This is charged. still within her cavern. Yeah. Yep. What? And you see as as you turn the corner and all that that light, that golden light is now gone. There's smoke through the air. And you turn to that chamber that was filled with so many uh, crystalline, uh, floating crystals filled with great magical power and knowledge. And all you see now is just melted glass that coats the entire chamber. As it's completely incinerated, melted down. And it's still smoking and smoldering. You feel the warmth on the holes all around you. I would immediately just have run to like the closest <laughs> puddle of glass. Yeah, you and see like color on my knees. This, like, this whole uh, you see a, a large like it's no. amorphous like a, like as if this this strange a uh, blown glass no. horrible structure that's in this pile of multi colors that have all been melted down as 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 it's still hot to the touch. But there was time now. <laughs> oh, that's my exactly favorite. Right. That's exactly right. And and I will just I will just have taken my hat off, and I don't know what to do as I kneel there in front of this melted glass. Uh huh. Oh, I'm chuffed about it. Oh, oh Felix. It's so, it's so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so sorry. It's terrible. It's so sorry. You have to go back to into it. You have to go back. Let's go back to Germany and listen to some craft work, yeah. Far away from the cold night air. More than you know. More than you know. Oh Bubble Berry! Yes. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. Skip that. I'm not even going to say that. that happened. Was Lizzie doesn't explode. <laughs> 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 <Okay. laughs> I quit! I quit! <laughs> 
Beautiful Felix. Uh, yeah, Felix is feeling distraught. Would you like to say something? No. <laughs> it's okay, Felix. It, uh, it, it was all conditional on her, and she's gone now. Well, Felix, look on the bright side. You never had the knowledge to begin with, so we really lost anything. It's a good point. Everyone must think about what could have been and, and what it could be. And now we'll never have it. That reminds me. Uh, Many hundreds, thousands of years ago, there was a great library along the coast in Nekmet. It was burnt to a crisp, untold vast knowledges, destroyed. Papyrus scrolls, knowledge of the ancients that will never get back. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Well, I just wanted you to know you weren't alone. Oh no, that's terrible. That's I'm, terrible! <laughs> I'm just gonna get up, like, uh, with my hat in my hands. Give you are. I'm just gonna get up, terrible. looking at Iris, terrible. and like, scurry out and away, like, back through. Like, there's nothing I can do, I have nothing to say. I don't feel like that made it any better. It's... Nope. <laughs> I just kept going. I'm gone. There's I'm... nothing we can do. You do. And then, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll fall off your feet. <laughs> I'm distraught. <laughs> I'm inconsolable. You arrive at the library. It is a smoldering... It's nothing but ash. As all of the history is lost. Sweet. And you see the melted remnants of the weapons all along the sides of the armory and the dragon's fire that has melted the even the menagerie of, of, of stone animals and creatures from across of Antris completely just puddles the entire layer has been completely incinerated. Right. I don't know. You look like you want to ask a question. I but do. You're too I don't dumb to ask it. I, I <laughs> this is the face that Kelsey's been making for five minutes. <laughs> no, what, do you, do you I don't question? understand why everything's destroyed. Well, like, do we know why that happened? Uh, Stop it, Felix. Make an make an intelligence check. Uh, <laughs> you, oh you're my horrible. God, no. Check. It's only plus nine to my end. Make, it, make, ain't, oh, it ain't ain't it ain't it ain't sissy cab. Why my dice? That was like it. my what best dice. You got it. Yes. I got a twenty-two. <laughs> twenty-two. Uh, I would say that from what you have read about dragons, um, <laughs> usually that there are many dragons that, that the ones that are, are that build elaborate layers, especially gold dragons. That it is that there are powerful magics that are there for to basically destroy everything on on the case of their death. Ah, uh, dead man switch. Yes, it's you get the sense that this is a dead man switch for Rajami, and, oh. and you get the sense that she's incredibly. So like when she dies, seen. her her layer blows yes, up. Yes, I explain this to the impossibly confused Lufty. <laughs> I don't get it, Felix. Maybe you can describe it to me in Castlefield terms. Felix, why are you talking like that? I'm doing my best lofty impression. She was like that. Oh, yeah, you're way off. Yeah, you're you're way off. The impressions. Please, after you. <laughs> Ooh, I like manhood. <laughs> <laughs> Was that good? Did, did you like yeah, it? Was it was good. good. <laughs> do was you, actually pretty Do you good. have beer so I can get Lucy Lufty? <laughs> oh! Wow, that, that, I'm, I'm, it's, uh, Ooh, high five. it's a fitting image. Oh, well, Aww. next time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the raid. 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 Thank the 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 major climax. Uh, the priest died and got resurrected, and there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff. So if you like Dungeon Dragon, we cried. appreciate the follow. Oh yeah, everyone's crying. God. You miss everyone crying, so I'm I glad we didn't and embarrass bit. ourselves. I uh, really like appreciate a baby that. for like so 45 years. Sorry about that. I think I cried four times. <laughs> yeah. That was awful. dehydrated. <laughs> so I would explain this phenomenon to yes. Lusty in an absolutely non condescending way. Thanks. Uh, as we <laughs> I proceed, accept it. As we proceed to remove she ourselves asshole. from this. Uh, I'm going to just keep proceeding forward. I mean, there's nothing there, right? It's all just yeah. melted puddles of metals and stone. 
There's, there's nothing for us here. Oh, uh, well. We, we should probably find Hizaki. I was that's and, li- uh, um, Oh. That's what I was going to say. Uh, 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 that we should find uh, uh, him. Uh, 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 <laughs> yes, no, we should find Hizaki because Lufti said she was going to convince him to assist us. Yeah. We need him to watch over the people in here. And no, also, maybe she's going home. to come with us. Yeah, no, I mean, we, we, gotta, we, gotta, need... we gotta get back. I'm oh, pretty sure all of like, the give people us a ride. in here are And then he can come back and continue to watch over them, but we have to get well, to somewhere somebody safe. needs to. We've left over there. We I, can, I agree. We can let people know Torvald is gone. Oh, that's right. He's yes. in the gym. But all these other people, they're still people. They're probably I don't really lost. know who they are, like why they're valuable, but... I feel like I'm trying to grow as a person here, and it seems like the right answer. Tell me it's the right answer. Mm, we'll see. So let's go find okay. Hizoki. I think that's the right answer, Lufty. Yes, Guys, thank you. Right what I'm trying to say is I don't trust Hizoki with all of their lives. We should get somewhere where we can find someone that we do trust with their lives. Let's see. Like who? Well, I'm not sure. I don't really trust anyone that's not in this room. Here, right? That's fair. What about Captain Freeway? Mm, still don't trust him. We're going to need to keep this place a secret. And the question is really, in my mind, is uh, how honest with Izaki are we that we did the things that we just did? I have a feeling that he's going to figure it out eventually. I mean, it might take a few years. That's plenty of time. He'll find her dead body in the pool back there, I mean... Unless we say, hey, this is, you know, what she said for you to do for us. I don't think we need to lie. I think we just tell them what happened. And that she was really not a good person. Or dragon, I guess. Yeah, but he might not believe that. And lying is, like, yeah. you know, easier. Maybe she uh, is dead, so... Is it- I'm with Toa. Yeah. I think we just come clean. Tell him what happened. Well, All right. she's dead, so regardless of whether he he's happy about it or not. You're right, he has no one to serve. That's true. I was right. Let's this. focus on and that. we're the ones that killed her, so we were clearly more powerful than she was. Yeah. Clearly. Yeah. Just, uh, just barely. Just barely. But he doesn't need to know that. Well, it maybe it's know, like these rooms. Maybe Hazaki is uh, uh, back to wherever uh, Hazaki was before... Golden Lotus showed up. That's a great question, actually. That's oh. a point I didn't even think about. We kind well, of miss him a little bit. Maybe not. I well, don't know. Let's make our way to him. We'll have time to figure it out. Agreed. To the terrace. We make our way to the terrace. You, you make your way, and you see that the door is still shut. But with uh, some force from Toa, you're able to strong arm the door open. <laughs> It swings outward, and the su- uh, uh, I guess what time of day would it be? Uh, oh, I guess it would be moonlight. It'd be night at this point. Hmm. Um, as the you spent a whole day uh, in this in this uh, in this layer hellscape. As the moon is high overhead, as, as, it, as it shines down, and that shimmering gold mist is no longer there, and you see the terrace stretching <clears throat> out in front of you as the door. Uh, opens uh, just enough for you all to uh, make your way out. More of a crack for on a dragon scale, but you're able to easily all get out, even with Toa's massive size. And you see the the mountains of, of Grand stretching <clears throat> out and the sea to the north stretching out uh, f- far to the darkened horizon. And at the very edge of this large terrace that overlooks the valley, you see the large form of Hizaki standing alert, guard at exactly where you left him, <laughs> watching the entrance. Uh, he doesn't even turn, uh, completely dutifully keeping his attention on the on, on the valley. I'm so excited to be in fresh air and on the terrace and in the position that I now find myself in after being the luckiest motherfucker on the planet, I immediately see the moon and I'm just like, when the night has come and the land is dark and the moon is the only, and I do just the song. I don't change the <laughs> lyrics at all. I just do Stand By Me. He just wants a rhyme. I love nice. that. And uh, it, it, you start singing into the night and Hizaki immediately turns his Kirim head and he looks at you and he says, <gasps> 
you guys are back. That means, and, and that means that you convinced Rajani to, to you, you, you convinced her to, and you joined her. That's so great. Where are your tendrils? <laughs> There's like dried blood all over me, and I'm, <laughs> I just kind of sit down and look at Toe, and I'm like, I shake my head. I, I don't even know what to say to, to Hazaki. Yeah, you know. Hazaki, uh, come on down. Come, oh, come, join us. Uh, we're we're yeah. all gonna we're all gonna sit and hang out for a minute and have a quick chat. Oh gosh, where where's Rajani? Is she is she with you or is she is up to her important business? Is it, it's gonna succeed? We're gonna have a world of peace and, and order pretty soon here. It's taking a lot longer than I would have thought. At this point, we really should have we really should have gotten the whole. All yeah, we're gonna need you to stop and that and, and be quiet now. While this conversation is going on, I I just like I put some tinder down and I, I like set up a teapot and I. Press to digitate some flame, and I start to boil some water for tea. Because clearly, uh, I, I can sense Caprice is going to say something, so I, I'm, I'm just trying to rest, and like I, I start to boil some water for tea. Yeah, no, it doesn't take long, and he just talked. Well, you know, I really, after I mean, the plan was that everything was going to happen t- tonight, and we, well, t- well, today, and it's already night, and and I, I don't know what's happening, but she, I mean, she works in mysterious ways, and that's what I said. We that's why I love her, her so much. What? We killed her. Where Johnny is unfortunately uh, gone. No, that's impossible. She is a goddess. Yeah, no, well, she's so gone. The thing is, she lied to you. If she was a goddess, clearly we could not have killed her, but we killed her. And you'll know that because her entire lair is slowly crumbling from the inside out. So. You're, you're fast if you want to go check it out. Lufty is actually the most powerful of all of us. Yeah, it's true. Um... You know, it was a group effort, but I only say that to make them feel better. It was me and I killed her. She's gone now. She's dead? Yeah, she is, but Why with her you last- kill her? Listen, baby! Why would you kill her? With her last dying breath, do you know what she said to us? Mostly to me? She said- She, she said, my sweet, sweet, dear dog, Dragon something boy. Man. What are you talking about? Yeah. In her Hezaki, dying breath, Hezaki. she said, My dear sweet Hezaki, that's right. Mm. Whatever you are, she said, Please take him under your strong, strong wing and let him follow as he has followed me. I don't even know what that means. You don't need to, why, sweet boy. Why would thing. you kill her? She was so His beautiful auntie. and kind. And, and this is this massive Lucky. creature who's like, who's stomping, or who's not stomping around. You he's, don't he's, need to worry. He's worry. floating around as, yeah. he, as if he can't believe what you're saying. Lufty. Yeah. This is a hard moment. You, you can't sugarcoat it. Hizoki, the truth is, in her dying breath, she said, the only thing that we could do right is to behead you. <gasps> as she never truly loved you. You were weak and pathetic, and that you were not worth even an an ounce of the care she gave you. And in that moment, Lufti, her eyes shone with hatred. She said, no, he is the smartest, the kindest, the most strong Kirin I've ever seen, and you shall fall for saying those harsh words as she cleaved her head from her body. For you, Izaki. I didn't because want she to have to tell you this. She saw in you what the golden lotus never could. Thank you for sharing that. I will give you inspiration. I understand how much you wanted to <laughs> save Hizoki from the harsh reality. Yeah, I did. But it's important that he knows so harsh. what you've done for him. Yeah, so much. And how much you truly care. Oh, I care so much. <laughs> Make a deception <laughs> check at advantage. <laughs> Me or her? You. Damn it! <laughs> hey, you Let better inspiration. You'll be right. Natural 20. Oh. 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 You said deception? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have to see what it is. 23. Yay! 23. As you say this, his eyes are welling with tears. He's already his eyes are already welling with tears. <laughs> as he's just as in he looks with utter shock and disbelief, stunned. It takes a moment. The the you, all you can hear is just the the wind, uh, the, the breeze passing through this valley, as this massive Kieran glowing himself. Um, it, it, his face falls. He said, "Did she really say that about me?" It was very clear that she was not who she said she was. What about our love? Was that a lie? Yes. Why would a woman ever lie? 
Yeah, it's terrible that they do that. I don't know. It's awful. But you can know that Lufti would never lie to you. He would never lie. I would never lie. <laughs> And, and all the love that you thought she gave you? It was a lie, but I could give you that and more. And what is better than the love of two women over the love of one? You know what I'm saying? Oh my. We could love you. I don't know what to feel. Wait, no, I and just, aren't we beautiful? I went across the plains for her love. And this she, tall, yeah. tall kitty in this short, short cloud. Here yes, to cool. love She's you eternally, there, and you cleaved her head off with a spoon. How is that even possible? <laughs> it's a very sharp spoon. Yeah, it, it gets going, like and you know it's really not stopping it. <laughs> I, I would be able to tell you, but uh, unfortunately, she crushed my ribs horribly, and I died also. So I yeah. can't. I have no idea how she did that. You know, the, the truth is, Sasaki, that is really just simple physics. Once you get enough force behind the spoon, the head will just come clean. Never mind. <laughs> The point here to remember is that she's gone, and there's no bringing her back, but we are here, and we love you, and, and respect you. And Hisoki, do you want the love of a woman who never truly loved you, who lied to you and deceived you? In case you're confused, you don't. Yes. I can tell you now. I'll yeah. also add. And Lufty would know. Just one additional detail, know. which is uh, you were also in a, a big believer of the. Oh yeah, good, no, I know because I love you. The big, the big good world, full of peace and harmony, and the whole thing. Welcome aboard. Um, you did she really just lied to me about our love? Was she using me just to get all of those pieces of the rod across the plane? Yes. Yeah. And to be fair, somebody who truly believed in some sort of grand peace plan wouldn't have attacked us like she did. Yeah. And what did she, are you promised that she said all that stuff about me? <laughs> C- come sit. Come sit down by the fire and have some tea. Have some tea. The the, the pot is boiling and I am. We are here for you and to comfort you. He goes to check an advantage. (laughs) He floats towards the pot. Then he uh, hunkers down, but once again, uh, you can see that he's hovering just like an inch above the ground. He never actually makes contact with it. 20. 20. And he said. Wait, persuasion? Yeah, persuasion, yeah. I can't believe you, Johnny, would do that after everything I did. I thought our love was real. <laughs> did you really love me? No. We just met. Well, I have loved so many because I, I have so much love to give. and Love happens in an instant. It's happening right now. Don't you feel it? Don't you feel it now? I just feel... Tell me you feel it! Oh, I feel sad. Oh, oh. That's sometimes how love feels. And you see these, like, shimmering, and, like, as he cries, they're like, ting, 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 ting. Like, music is floating through the air as he's crying as each tear falls onto I'll, the onto the ground. I'll pour a fresh teacup, and, uh, you know, here, you have some tea. You know, a, a bit of nip, and I will, uh... Oh, just no. keep just keep your uh, eyes just keep your eyes on uh, on Lufty and uh, uh, here have a little bit of uh, uh, extra brew and I'm going to pour my filter of love into the tea and see if she will. <laughs> Slate of hand check. I'm not trying to pretend. I'm lying to say that I am putting no, in. A... You're secretly putting in. Okay. You're, it's not deception. It's sleight of hand. How stealthily are you doing this? Okay. Uh, that it's would be a, um, a twenty-one. That's okay. pretty good. That's very good. Uh, compared to the natural one that I rolled. Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> As he looks at so, and, and he doesn't even, he doesn't even, uh, uh, he's looking at, at Lofty, is, is like, well, you know, you're, you're really nice, but I probably need to just kind of work on myself for a while. <laughs> 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 and we've now destroyed him as a person. <laughs> Drink up, buddy. Oh, no. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> as he We're drinks. And he drinks. And how can you explain what the filter, what the filter love fucking does? Uh, the next time you see a creature within 10 minutes after drinking this filter, you become charmed by that creature for one hour. If the creature is of a species and gender you are normally attracted to, you regard it as your true love while you are charmed. And he drinks it and he says, 
Well, actually, you're kind of hot. <laughs> and I mean, I, I know they say not to do rebounds, but <laughs> I guess I could give intimacy a shot. It probably isn't healthy, but <laughs> I don't know if I'm in the place to make good decisions for my own well-being. <laughs> Lifty will love you. She's, uh, she's it's a- okay, baby, because I can make the decisions for you. I'll just take all of that off of your shoulders. I take a long You just listen like, to me. If I had a gold piece. Come here now. And I'll, I'll, I'll snuggle him into my bosom and say, oh, you know, that's the right. The size difference between you is absolutely, it's it's comical. As he leans down, I'll take and, his and, and his massive head, as it leans down, his like horns going a horse up, head. the antler like, like is going car. up. Oh, as God. he nuzzles into you, and and he, he's he's still the tears are still going down, ding ding ding, and they're shining with rainbows. Oh, uh, he's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> they're shining with rainbows. Like, I can't believe it, but I guess I'll I'll just be able to, to move. I don't know why I feel this way about you, but I guess this is this is a good coping mechanism. <laughs> oh. Yeah, everything would be right as rain. Just don't you worry, Mama Lufty's got you. Okay, that G was really good. Can yeah. I have some more? Have some more. Oh, <laughs> Bottoms up. <laughs> and he takes his, his hooves, and it's very tiny in his hooves, and he uh, sips it. And uh, he, uh, <laughs> I feel a little better now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I guess. Oh. Oh, if if only we could stay here forever in each other's arms and just just oh, can we talk so about how man? wonderful you are because you're so wonderful. Well, I'm really feeling right. very vulnerable right now, so any kind of praise that validates me will, will be very yeah. effective. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, you're just so smart and so, you know, oh, it's just so wonderful to look at. You're like a splendor to the eyes and, you know. Um, splendor? Splendor? I'm more of a sweet look here. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Holy shit. Uh, you, get, you get inspiration as a DM. We're giving you inspiration. What the fuck? Abby, a sweet love here. I'm begging you. I'm more of a sweet love here. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. Do we feel like we have maybe like a little bit to rest? Or should we? We can rest when we get back to where we need to go. Oh, gosh. It'll only take a quick trip. I'm so tired. I can sleep under Kieran. <laughs> uh, uh. Yeah, you can. <laughs> so, oh, how much I would love to snuggle with you all night and oh, talk about how nice, wonderful you are. Yeah. Oh, but I wish that we could. But now there is time for action. I'm going to pop a potion because I'm at one hit point. <laughs> <laughs> you trip and break your toe and you oh, fucking pass out. What kind of, I, it's time for action. I mean, that's moving a little fast. I don't even know how mechanically that would really... Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, we have time to think about that. Don't worry. Not that kind of action. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's like a, a rainbow blush that comes to his face. It's okay. Everybody <sighs> goes there with me. It's fine. What do we need to do? Okay. Is get away from this horrible place where you have been hurt and you have been shunned. The farther away you get, the more your heart will heal and I will take you in my bosom and heal you with love. You're right. I need to That's exactly get rid of right. everything that reminds me of her. Exactly right. And so he, he, he gets up and he floats and uh, he says, okay, get on my back so you don't fall into the valley. Oh, I really appreciate that because I'm so tired. And he leans down oh. to uh, welcome you on his back. Everybody get on. And do you know where we should go? It's okay, I know where we should go. I can take you back to Bokrigai. That's a great idea. You're so smart. Please take us You're there. Right, Johnny. You, you broke the heart of the wrong cure, and I know where... Tell a baby. I know. <laughs> you didn't know that I know, but I'm a lot smarter than you, Rajani. And I know how to bring this all down. And he floats over, and he goes actually beneath the terrace, and there's actually this one, um, this one, uh, uh, very right well hidden uh, uh, branch with uh, some gold flowers still uh, 
still blooming. And there's a branch that's going out, and he says, well, this is my last revenge, and he kicks it, and, it t- and suddenly you hear a loud uh, grumbling and groaning as, as, as there's a blast of golden light from above you. As he uh, bursts away and flies, and you look behind you as you see uh, the terrace completely crumble into pieces and fall away, and the door uh, falls off its hinges, and, and the entire layer collapses in on itself. A single tear rolls down my face as I look at it, and I say, my teapot. <laughs> <laughs> what about all those statue people? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm, 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 frankly, I'm blown away that you that, that it survived all of the battles that we've been in. <laughs> I say nothing. It's just it's the one tear <laughs> down my face. That's it. All right, all right, that's it's fine. I'll get you another. You rock it, and you also see one tear go down Kazaki's <laughs> face. It shimmers in a rainbow color as it falls behind him, and there's like, oh, this 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 trail of uh, of rainbows behind him as it just he just cries quietly as he as you rock it. And you remember how fast Hizaki is and. And as you uh, you see Mogra Kai out ahead, and from this vantage point, you get a full scope of the devastation. All of the battle is over. You see the smoldering out ahead, <laughs> and some encampments of some of the soldiers, perhaps where they had been routing and hunting down the rest of the Horn Legion, uh, well beyond the walls of Mogra Kai, the now crumbled walls, thanks to the uh, thanks to that horrible uh, demonic labyrinth that erupted out of it. And you are able to fly back down to the glade, and he lets you lets you down, and you see uh, the sleepy city ahead of you, and there are a number of, of torches and braziers lit, but and there's some movement, but it, the, the the and you see some of the yetis and the tigers, and but every everyone just seems to be settling down and resting, and everyone most of the town seems to be asleep, the city rather seems to be asleep. As we're stepping off of Hazaki, <laughs> I turn to Iris. Uh, can you say uh? Mogra Kai, mind the gap for me. Mogra Kai, mind the gap. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And I get off and I make my way out into the Mogra Kai. What was that about? I don't know. Is that, are you horribly cursed? Did you make some terrible deal? I didn't make a deal. I simply said what he asked. Good luck, Iris. <laughs> now I'm nervous. Oh, Trevor. no. Why don't you say it? No, I don't want to say it. Well, say it. So what? I'm not the only one, Lufty. What? Say whatever that thing is that I don't think me. I should. I'm shocked that you Felix? listened to anything you said after I don't know. I, was, I, I wasn't thinking. Will you say the thing that I just said? Uh, I'm not going to say anything. You know how I feel about saying random oh, words no. and names. This is not safe. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Uh, you it's probably okay. find a way. You usually do. Lufty. Yeah. You're going to have to sleep on the floor tonight. I don't care where I Ooh, sleep. Right. So we I just feel like I could just crater, fall down right now. Where, we, like, where he found us originally? Uh, you remember that glade was totally untouched oh. uh, in that, and so it's still beautiful. So and we're able to find. Okay, so, so he, he, he didn't drop us up where he picked us up. No, 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 no. Okay, he, he dropped. He took you back to Mogur Kai. You're back in Mogur Kai. You're in that glade, and you see the crumbled ruins of of uh, Golden Lewis's former uh, dwelling. But uh, it's th- this this glade is perfectly untouched. All right, that's okay about me. Oh, should we set up camp? been a while since we've had to sleep in <clears throat> makeshift sleeping range. Yeah. Should be fine. I'm exhausted. I've got to get some sleep. I have a very long grueling process of grilling Caprice until he wants to cry. About what? Everything. Should we all listen? If you want. I mean, either way, I'm writing it all <laughs> down and I'm telling you all anyway. I, it's for all of our own goods. I agree. Uh, you're not going to make me cry. Uh, the, the thing that happened to me in the story that I'm going to tell you about made me cry. That, that, that was not a pleasant thing. You would not be able to make me cry in comparison to the experiences I've had in the last 24 hours. Yeah, well, I think my experience is too. Azaki, you were the voice tonight. Come sit over here. I'm all ears. Oh, am I? Are, and, are, 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 Lufty, are we going steady now? Uh... 
Yes. Yeah, yeah. So steady. Oh, that's nice. I trust you. You have good time, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh, okay. Now. Okay. Yeah. Go to sleep. I guess. I that's have okay. one hit point, so I'm gonna like pass out the second. Okay, week, that's fine. Yeah. No, tomorrow we'll talk. Area. That's cool. <laughs> am I back? Am I a hundred percent? Uh, like a full rest? No, just uh, just. It full was health. just the health. Just health. Okay. Your body was just basically restored with the 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 hellish okay. uh, nature. Okay. Well, I still have a uh, 12th level spell slot. I cast Wind Scenario. We immediately win the scene and uh, continue on. Yeah, that's how <laughs> that. <laughs> works. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want to know? What? So, so if there. Sorry, guys. While you're talking, I'll make dinner. I have all of this fish from the lair. Oh, you kept that? Yes. Would you make a fire? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. And without really looking, I'm gonna just like snap my fingers and press to just see some flame by some near nice. uh, nearby like, you know, a brazier or something. Yeah, whatever yeah. It is. yeah. And uh, I'll start making drinks and um, cooking, but eavesdropping and listening in on their conversation. Yeah, there's a beautiful fire. Eaves, but, like, and there's a great right, number. You were yeah. able to get a large number of fish that all were killed, and they weren't overcooked. They were basically boiled, and you're able to like, tar them <laughs> to get them nice and crispy. And they're big fuckers, so you're gonna eat very well. With my nine hit points, I spend the next as long as it possibly takes, starting by telling, having Caprice tell us everything that happens, and then with the precision of an attorney, grilling him about every detail, and like writing it down and trying to absorb as much as I can, and making him tell the story over and over and over in a grueling level of detail. I, so, have, I have minor illusion. So what I can do is, within like the context of this perhaps size of space, I can be like, and this is what it looked like when I was on the uh, the plane of shadow or whatever and like it was. And, the, and like, the, well, the, 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 there was an eclipse in the whole thing. And my understanding is you guys don't know that he said Bazuzu three times. Correct. Well, yes. and, and to be fair, play that scene. Oh, yeah. and to be fair, as, cool. as we don't even know Pazuzu's name as, as yes. character, we exactly. do not know exactly. that we never shared only, the name only, with us. Only Caprice. Does. If I walk through the story in real time, we can do it in a in a role playing way. Let's I'm do happy. it. Okay. Wait, so. I'm still huge, by the way. I'm like oh, sitting down. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I keep breaking all these. Yeah, chairs. I was. I was sorry. I was a little slower. You're really big. Yeah, I'm at least this way for at least like two and a half more hours. Oh well, I, like... I understand how it's tough to be big sometimes. Yeah, well, yeah. before I before I start, what, what happened after I died? I uh, the last thing I remember was Lufty uh, fucking crushing my ribcage like uh, uh, so many funyuns. <laughs> well, to be honest, uh, I'm not entirely sure either. I blacked out shortly after. Oh, everyone died or almost died. It was me and Iris left, and I dealt the final blow and killed him. It's about it. We Thank tried you. to. Do you remember being coming back and then going away again? No, I. I uh, the last thing I remember was Lufty crushing me like so many funyuns. You don't remember when Iris resurrected you, and you came back for just a moment. You spoke to us for a while. And then she took over your body and she sang a horrific song, rubbing your death in our face. Would I remember any of those details? No. I, I complete blank. I, I, the, the next thing I know, I'm I'm uh, up to my neck in lava, or, or some sort of hot, burning, sulfury. I, I can't even describe you, which I, if you've ever imagined what it's like to be without skin and, and in a hot tub, that's that's a fraction of where I was. To be without skin in a hot tub. You were in lava. Did you feel it? Did it feel terrible? I don't even want to think about it. Is that almost like getting a sunburn and then going into a hot tub? It would be like getting having a sunburn and then having that sunburn have a sunburn and then having that sunburn having a sunburn and all peeling away like okay, so many. I've had enough. Okay. And then funyuns. What happened? Uh, I was say funyuns. Uh, well, uh, I prayed. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've, ne I've never really been much of a, a prayer, uh, but I tried for the gods. I, I, I screamed out for all y'all. Felt like, I, I don't know if it was a minute. I was panicking. I don't know if it was a minute or a neon, but I, I, I only had one option left to me. And do you remember when we were at the top of the mountain? When we were in that tower and I described to you uh, the dream that I had that wasn't a dream and there was yes. a statue. Caprice, yes. Well, the reason why we're here is because I invoked that, uh, the name, the, the, that I shouldn't speak for three times. I was in a terror. You didn't. 
I did. I had to. What? But, but that wasn't even who we saw at the end of all of this. It wasn't him. Keep going. What? I was looking How? for help. I was looking for help. I, I prayed to the gods, nothing. I was looking for friends, nothing. I don't know how much time passed. I said the name three times. I, I'm not going to tell you the name. I'm not going to repeat it. And I'm never going to say it again, I swear. Because the moment that that happened, I was transformed to this space. And I show you via minor illusion what this space looked like. And I describe the the landscape, and I describe uh, the eclipse that happens. I describe the choking, gasping, bird-like uh, creature that I uh, faced, and his nightmare talons, um, uh, and that he wanted me for for uh, his own goals, for his own purpose. I describe all of those things, and then just as I am about to perhaps make a determination of fates, is when this new entity shows up the lantern entity that we all met we all you were you remember you remember very specifically uh, uh i i i thought that was uh uh perhaps a fever dream at that point i was totally off i mean i was way deep into it this is this is so far beyond anything i could even possibly imagine this, this, this entity the first entity it was something that that that, that is so fearsome and, and, and horrific and the second entity that I know has a fight just showed up and, and snatched you away like it was nothing yeah he's got fight in him he's got he's got crazy power and and he offered me freedom and a choice and for a smidge of loyalty I don't know what that means but I'm also still reeling from the fact that perhaps all of the situation that I've had with Glacia was perhaps a deception in order to get me here. I mean, for the entire time I've been in Strig, it was the roar of the bull will spell her doom and all, it, it, all cards are off the table and on the table. It's crazy. This is so far beyond us. I mean, we're just mere mortals compared to all of this stuff that is happening. I, I don't even know where to begin. And, and, and now you have this deal that's like, well, what's the catch? We, we just have to dispatch of that other entity? I'm thinking back to the deal. Was it dispatch specifically or stop? Something like, was it kill or was it destroy, prevent? Right? Was it destroy? It was I'm destroy, to, yeah. Okay, there was a specific destroy word. Yeah, I, it was it, annihilate and destroy. Uh, I, I think there are only a uh, number of interpretations in common. That's on me. I didn't behold in any of you. I, I took Toa, I took you very seriously. I tried to do right by you all. And aside from invoking the name, I... I was very close to just saying, fuck it, I can't make the decision for all of these lives and going back to a pool of lava and claustrophobia insanity. Look, we're... I, I can't speak for anybody else, but I'm, I'm glad you're back. Thank you. I, and, and look, I, I appreciate what you're trying to say, but... Something happened. I, look, I, I don't know what it is, and I, I know that you say that we're not wrapped up in this, but there was a, a level of, of, of darkness, of something. I mean, it was nothing like anything I've ever felt with the Raven Queen. I, I'm talking darkness, and I felt it, and I don't know what that means. And, and this is, again, is so far beyond my means and, and my books and my notes. I, I don't know where to even begin. From... I'm going to call him Birdman. From Birdman, I I felt darkness. From Asshole, I felt like the first godlike entity who had ever actually reached down and gave me a hand. I, I'm not saying loyalty or, or anything right now. I will figure that out. But it's kind of nice to be here because I got saved by something that was more powerful than me for the first time in my life. You think that it cares for you? No. No. No, I think I'm being used again. But like I said, I had a choice. I got to make that choice for myself this time. Do you think that whoever that was, do you think he's better than the last one? And better than the bird guy? Birdman. It's at this point that I remember 
what he said about once being in the heavens. I don't know. He said once he may have been something like a, like an angel. I, I don't know what his motivations are, but he has power enough to scoop a poor soul like me out of that nightmare. And if he's up good for his word, promise to me the world. Oh, this can't be good. I, 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 I'm I, sorry. I just, again, I'm at a loss for words. I, I don't know what could, this could possibly be. What do we make of this? The, the, there's this entity that this whole time we know has been uh, horrific and atrocious. And, and then this other person just comes up and just, like, it's nothing. Yeah, just boops it out of the way. What, what does that even mean that we're dealing with? On, on some... Horrific cosmic level. What does this mean? I don't know what it means, but I do know one thing. I don't trust any of it. Uh, everything seems evil. Everything seems out to get us. Everything is scheming against us, and the only thing that I trust is Anubis. You especially can't trust a dragon when she says she loves you. You Anubis, got that right. Anubis has been the only power this whole time that has led us down the right path. And, and I believe deeply, deeply, that his will will light the path. Isn't that right, Iris? Of course. I'm with you. I think that Iris and her God has, has, has our best intentions at heart, and I'm in. When I think back to my transformation uh, through death and into the Nine Hells uh, and that whole experience, did I get a whiff of Anubis trying to be like, nah, push away or anything like that? For uh, the power? No, no, no. Uh, when I first died and transitioned into death, uh, I know that Revivify was attempted. Do I get a sense that, that mo in that moment, Caprice would have any awareness that he was trying to ferry his soul? Ferry. I would say that you, that make an arcana check. Uh, the first arcana check of the game for me. Oh, baby. Ooh, what is that? It's a 16. A 16 That's good. plus a four is a 20. Okay. I would say that, yeah, you get the sense that it, was, it wasn't it was the power of Asmodeus that resurrected you. It was the power of of Anubis that did that. And the reason which why you're said, alive, he mentioned which he that. said. He and so that, he yeah. just released your soul from Glossia and from Vizuzu. Yeah, I, go, I completely agree, To Anubis is... He's really been present here. And I, and I think largely thanks to, to Iris. We're lucky to have her. Oh, Caprice. Oh, you're here? Oh, yes, my God. Yes, I was making fish. <laughs> Would you like one? Yeah. I'll pass you a plate yeah. with some fish. Yeah. You all pass out the plates. Eight. It's all it's all done. Sure. You're able to sit down. Eight and eight fish. Fish. Even Hazaki takes some and he just fucking scarfs that shit down. It's like, well, I know I'm not supposed to eat my feelings, but <laughs> <laughs> and he just fucking I flavor it with him. some uh, sea salt and thyme. Oh. And he, this is so good. I didn't. Can you make more? Well, I have a few left. Sure. Okay. I would like seconds, please. And I continue to cook and make our fish. I'll go through the into my entire stash of fish I pulled from the waters. And he, after he finishes, he he floats up and he uh, goes off to the side and he says, "Well, I'm gonna go to sleep now. When I'm asleep, then my thoughts can't hurt me. So good night." And he, he kind of circles around and uh, he nestles his his head up oh, along nightmare. the side and he like, tucks in his hooves. And uh, once again, as he, he he settles into sleep, there's he's still just floating an inch above the above the ground. Hazaki gets good sleep right away. I'm gonna use a suggestion and oh. attempt to get him to go right away. I said he fails, and uh, <laughs> you suggest and he immediately passes out. And you hear even oh, as he sleeps, you hear you hear that uh, he's breathing, and it almost sounds like a song, like a song as he's hum as he's humming from his his breathing uh, as he sleeps. I feel sorry for the guy, you know. 
Mm. Yeah. His whole worldview has changed. Yeah, I guess we've all kind of been there. So we let Captain Freewing know what happened. Maybe in the morning. First thing, we can try to find him, but it's pretty late, and to be fair, I'm all out of steam. Oh, you're right, he's probably sleeping. We shouldn't disturb him. I wouldn't mind a long rest. Let's do it. Good night, everyone. Good night. I'm glad we're all alive. I'm too dark. I'm going to curl up as close as I can bundle outdoors we'll take the best watch. next to the uh, fire. And for the first time in the entire campaign, Iris takes a walk. Wow! <gasps> That's very nice, Iris. I'll take second watch. I'll wake you up when you need your time to Wake me up before you go, go. <laughs> you settle in. I'm gonna do something before, like yep. during my watch. Yep. You settle in and are able to fall asleep if you care to, and it's a very quiet evening, and none of the orcs come to disturb you it's as if they didn't know. You arrive so fast, uh, and most of the town was sleeping that you that no one disturbs you. Uh, so as everyone is falling asleep, I tend to the fire and I say a couple of prayers to Anubis, my normal nighttime ritual, and I wait until I can hear the deep um, snores of Lufti, and I will make my way over to her, and I will pull out um, the large fur that I sleep with. Um, It's a regal pelt that was passed down in my family line, and I normally only sleep with it myself, but I lay it over her to keep her warm, and I will tuck it in around her, and clean off some of the remaining blood that's uh, around the edges of her mouth and I will slowly brush out her hair uh, braid it into two little plaits, one on either side to make sure it doesn't tangle up. And then shave her head completely. Then shave her head completely and stuff it down her throat so she experiences (laughs) her first hairball. (laughs) Don't do that. Don't do that. Darren started it. Um, Nice. (laughs) um, And then I will lean down and I will slowly place a kiss on her forehead and though she's sleeping and doesn't hear it I will say you're my best friend you're like a sister to me I will never let anything happen to you do not leave me like you did today I could not handle this life without you sweet dreams my darling and then I'll take my watch (laughs) I won't wake up but you'll see a little like a little satisfied smile. A satisfied smile my sleeping ever so slightly. As you all enjoy a long rest. Yes. The night passes very Thank uneventfully. God. <laughs> I needed it. Me and mine six and hit points. For the first time, the my one hit point. morning comes and you allow yourselves to sleep in. Thank God. Morning comes and for the first time there's no creepiness, there's no bizarreness, there's no, no looming creepiness. there's no looming army of oh Baphomet, God, there's no, no looming threats of Rajani, there's no No bullshit. No bullshit. And for the first time that tense that, that, that tension that you've been feeling, you're finally able to at least breathe for at least a moment. And you all awake, feeling absurdly rested, incredibly comfortable. I, I would try and wake up earlier than everyone else, um, except for obviously the person who's on the last watch, and I will cook breakfast and I'll make a pot of coffee. Got it. Got it. Wow. If coffee exists in a van trip. It does. It does. It does. No, it it's does. only switch ever, uh, you know, <laughs> bullet, hell, 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 blue bullet coffee, whatever the hell it was he said. <laughs> <laughs> Hellfire. Hellfire coffee. Hellfire. You all wake, and it's a, it's a beautiful morning. Um, Kizaki's still sleeping. You get the sense that he he needed it. I uh, wake up with the rest. I'm not late. And you get the sense that Hizaki is that 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 Rajani did not let him rest very much. You get the sense that he was constantly doing stuff for her, uh, and that that he there's a weariness, and despite his sadness that you sense from him, there is a a, a bit of uh, a burden off of his shoulders where he's able to relax and rest. I'm gonna prefer my spells for the day. <clears throat> oh yeah, I need to do that too. Well, now that we have the rod, we need to get it back to the to the angels. Well, and now that Caprice is alive, we could use the feather. Well, how are we going to get back if we don't? Is it safe to just take the whole thing back, or should it get broken up again? 
I don't... I mean, they said that they needed it. Right? I mean, I mean, that's the whole reason what, that that's what we wanted to do. Was to return it to them. That's true. And, I just know of us. And I don't want it so to... Nothing's what it is and what it seems. No, that's fair and... I don't know, maybe Anubis would know what to do. Aris, do you think you could ask him? Yes, if you give me a moment to finish my breakfast and enjoy this nice cup of joe, then I would be happy to query Anubis and see if he would respond. Cup of what? Joe. Oh. Joe. We had this portly old chef. Mm. His name was Joe. Mm hmm. Yes. And he made, he made the. Coffee. Oh, he made coffee. And as a little girl, I would call it a cup of Joe. Because Joe would give it to me. Technically, just hot bean juice. Yes, but it was cut from juice. Oh, beans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Beans juice. Yeah, you can juice almost anything. Yeah, it squeezes <laughs> hard enough, juice generally comes out. Oh, I guess Ew. that's sort of true in most cases. Well, it's uh, time to be in the old dusty trail, I guess. Uh, while they're finishing breakfast, I want to like get up and just look around the city. And is it like you know what's happening? Are they, do I see orcs? Do it's I see absolute them? shit show? Captain Freeway. You are able to make your way through the 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 rubble of of Golden Lotus's uh, dwellings, and you can see that the the city has come to life. Definitely uh, a population that has been pretty heavily destroyed. But life is returning, and there's a resilience there. And you get the sense that all, and, and you see all of the orcs around there are totally free of their tendrils, as they are all walking around free. And there's there's a, a sense of 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 pride, despite all of the devastation that's happening. They're immediately back to rebuilding. You see, you hear like the the shouting from from craftsmen that are trying to get buildings re-erected, uh, and. Uh, build uh, makeshift temporary structures so they can continue their day-to-day life um, as they're trying to rebuild. Hey, Felix, do you think all their tendrils uh, suck back into their face or do they fall off uh, and are being swept into dustpans like so many dried-up cicadas? Well, (laughs) as eloquently as you may put it, I'm sure it's probably the former as opposed to the latter. I've spent a lot of time studying Draconic and the lifestyles and, and history and Nothing in anything that I've ever read has there been a history of yeah falling off. Oh, not falling off? Okay. Not to my knowledge. Well, that's why I asked you. Thank you. I didn't see a uh, dendro to be seen. I figured they either really clean or they're just, you know, sweet raven queen. <laughs> uh, I will uh, also walk along with Toa as he starts to uh, scope out what Kai Mogra is up to. Mogra Kai, I'm sorry, I reversed it. <laughs> Kai Mogra. Kai Mogra. Uh, as you as you look, or, sorry, are you leaving the the camp, or are you just kind of taking a look? I thought uh, I, I'm sort of I'm, I'm just kind of like looking around. Yeah, right? you're I looking haven't around. Yet, you're but... able to see. And at this point, uh, Hizaki kind of stirs, and he uh, he enjoys uh, some breakfast, and he there's a, a bit of calm to him. He still has the sadness that's hanging on him, and he looks around and says, "Well, I don't know what to do anymore, but." I think I need to leave this place for a while. I I tire of this world and the mortals and getting caught in the tangle of their lives. I think I need to go back to the heavens for a while. Work on myself and figure things out, you know? Where, where in the heavens will you go? Just like the heavens broadly? Probably Mount Celestia, yeah. Will you be back? I mean, we miss you, buddy, I, I, already. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. But, and he, uh, he leans down to his, uh, his side and he bites something and he pulls off a scale and he, he floats over to you, Lifty. Here you go. And then he hands you a scale or, or... He holds a scale Thank to you. you. And it lands, and he says, It's an and interesting he says, oh, gift. Hold on a sec. And there's like a, a burst of rainbow <laughs> light that, that, uh, that bursts from it and says, If you ever need me, just think real hard about 
how you feel about me, and oh. I'll hear your call. Oh, that's so sweet. It would be uh, so hard not to use it all the time. Well, I think I need to focus on myself for a while. I think that's wonderful. Um, Happiness can really only come from you. Yeah, you need to be happy with yourself before you can ha be happy with any dragon or person or whatever. So that's exactly <laughs> right. Whatever. You're gonna be. All, you're gonna or be alright. <laughs> just take care of yourself. You know, if you need to grieve a little bit, that's totally understandable. Just stay in your room, have some ice cream, smoke yeah. a bowl, watch seasons one through five of Gilmore Girls, and you'll be all set. All oh, right, is rain. I don't know what most of that meant, but that sounds really nice. But I'm gonna go now. Thank you for everything. Thanks for waking me up to what a terrible, horrible traitor is lying. I'm just, uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I don't want to. Just breathe I don't wanna through it into now. A, just a breathe bitter, through it. Bitter Kieran. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Mount Celestia. That'll make me feel better. Good leave, morning. Leave Evandris behind. For now. Right. We'll never forget you and your help. That's for sure. Yeah. Well, You've been a real chief. We're very good, Kieran. Oh, the best. Thank you. Remember the time you you spied on us? Oh. Yeah. It feels it like yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, Me, you, you were really Kieran it, you know? Oh. Yeah. Maybe one day I'll believe that, too. Oh, all right. Well, I, I guess we'll see you around. <laughs> goodbye. Yeah. Oh, goodbye, yeah. guys. Goodbye. Good, good, goodbye. And he slowly floats up, and you see in a, a streak across the sky as a flash of gold and a rainbow follows behind them. And as he streaks across the sky, out north towards the mountains and the sea, you see it a flash and a burst of rainbow light, and he's gone. God, that was awkward. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what a weird creature he is. I feel terrible. His heart is broken. I mean, you know, we've all been there. We, you know, one day you're in love, and the next day you wake up, and your girlfriend's a horrible, murderous gold dragon. Yeah, but I'm usually over it after a couple hours. Uh, He's really, really down the dumps. Well, give him some time. Uh, he'll come around. He needs to figure things out. I think he's doing a great thing. Yeah. Oh. He's he's living on his own thoughts. I know. Making I just, his own decisions. I hope it all works out for him. Me too. Honestly, he's probably like, free. I, he, he's he's going to really, he's probably going to put, put it right back together. Either that or it'll be dead in a month. Oh, oh jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. I hope it's the former. Huh. Yeah, me too. Well, honestly, are you ready? Sure. We can ask him up to three questions. We should decide what they are. Oh, you can ask yes, actual I'm going questions. To, I'm going to commune with them. Oh, well, do, well, before we do that, do do we have any idea where we need to go next? I mean, we're just kind of at a loss here. We have this general direction from you know who about taking care of you know who, and we don't really know where we're supposed to go next. So the way you're be saying able is to answer me with yes, no, or unclear. Oh, that was going to be my first question. Are, but we're going to be able to commubus? <laughs> what? It's a, it's a portmanteau of yesterday. commute. Well, you know, that's fair. I'm going to remind myself that you were dead yesterday, so this is not going to anger me. Yes, no, unclear. So we can't be like... I mean, unless the location is literally named yes. We can't oh be like, my where gosh. are we... That's why you said a new biz. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> <laughs> You know, I, I, I will make that for you one day. I, it won't be a new bisque, it'll just be bisque at that point. <laughs> Fuck. We'll figure it out. Take inspiration. <laughs> hey! Oh my God. Uh, out of character. Yeah. You, we had a conversation last session about the Dusk Elves. Yes. Uh, and potentially needed to go out that direction. Yes. Why? 
I can't remember what the tip was or what the what the hint was. Anubis told us. To Anubis. Do it. That's what it was. And okay. did you tell us that okay. he said that? I told you everything. Okay. 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 So Iris is very much so in the. I'm Ske- not keeping anything from so, yeah, him. So whatever I know, you know. that you have to go to Skethernil. Yes. You didn't use that word, okay. but you were able to piece with what he, what she said. Right. right. With your knowledge. And we had that conversation. Ske- that okay. Skethernil was next on the list after you. Um, right. Return. So, so we do know that we have to go east. So we should ask then: Should we return the Rod of Law to where? the 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 Vale of Arca and the Windukes? The Vale of Angel Arca. people. Should we head to Skethrinil? Well, no. He already told us that, so we should now, ask him a different question after. Oh yeah, like order of operations. We've yes. got to know where to go and when. Well, I... do we go to Arca first? Well, Skethrinil first. I think we return the Rod of Laws. But we should we make sure he wants us <laughs> Okay, then that's question two. If you two. remember, there was some kind of blight there. Oh, you're right. So do we risk returning the Rod of Law to that place? That's a great question. Yes, question two. Question three should be, can we trust Caprice? And, and the new the new guy, the new... Just the new guy. Well, and, and Caprice. But but if the answer is no, I, then you you're going to think like fucking shit about me, and it could just be the guy. Well, how do we phrase it where we can get it at both? You can't. You can't. Should we? Get them both. Are you saying you don't trust him now? Well, I'm saying maybe not. I'm cool, man. Should we assist cool. Caprice and by proxy as Medeus with Caprice's mission? And if he says yes, then we do. If he says no, then I'm sorry, Caprice. What happens then? Hmm. We'll find out then. Well, that to... sounds fine. Oh. Are those what? questions then? No. <laughs> yes. You guys are plotting to kill me right yes. now. No, no, no. We went through so much to get you back. Why on earth would we kill you? Because you guys are plotting to kill me literally right at this moment. How would, how would none of us have talked about killing like you? It's mostly you just a single war. thing about death. Do whatever you want. I, whatever. I don't care. It's fine. I, whatever. It's uh, all right. Well, I think you should ask your questions. All right. And I'm going to, Aww. as a ritual, I'm going to pass commune. You do that? Yeah. Um, and it takes me two minutes. Commubus. 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 Um, and I'm going to contact Camubis. my deity and ask up to three questions that can be answered with yes or no. You light the sensor and the flame flickers and you're able to channel in. And once again, your consciousness goes into the flame and you feel the connection to Anubis. As you stare and you see Iris's intense trance as she communes with Anubis. My lord. Should we take the Rod of Law to Akka and the Windu? I mean, ask monsters actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, do we. Head to Skethrin next. And lastly, my lord, do we follow Caprice and Asmodeus and fulfill his wishes? You stare in and you ask each question. Then lingers as the flame licks back and forth, flame all around you. You feel the looming presence of your god. And this hesitation. Unclear. Yes. And then hesitation. Yes. <gasps> Interesting. And he was just joking. What did he say? The first, the first question. question. Okay. Whether we should return the Lord of Laws, Arca. He was unclear. <gasps> I do not trust it. We should keep it on us. That's a good point. If corruption has come to Arca. The last thing we can risk is losing the Lord of War. I agree. There was a firm yes that we should head to Skethrinil. Skethrinil. 
And there was a very hesitant yes. We should follow as the days of the priest. <sighs> Oh, we can be friends, Caprice. Oh, we are don't friends. Have to kill you. Oh, I know we're friends, but I, don't I knew be, it. I don't be worried about it. Like, oh no, is he going to betray us all in the end and kill us? Probably. No, if Anubis says he's cool, then he's cool to me. Well, you know. He says that we should follow. Th- I believe. I'm very Anubis easily would influenced. Like for whatever that creature's name is to be killed. And if this gets us there, it seems he is behind it. Whether he believes we should trust Caprice or not, I don't know. I didn't ask that question. Well, that's a relief. Uh, thank you. Um, great. I'm glad that we don't have to kill each other yes. and that we have our next destination in mind and we can study the rod of law as we're on our, our path. No. As much as I love to speak with Anubis, I'm afraid you would start to tire of my constant querying. Hmm? So we should start to find answers on our own going forward. Our own answers? Yes. No more Kamubis? Well, he... He did not send me on this mission to constantly ring him up, as it were. Yeah, it's like you have to prove yourself, you know, you can't just like ask for the answers all the time. I'm not saying that because you do, it's because you're always like, hey, what's the answer, Iris? Yes. Well, but I mean, if why would we look for the answers ourselves if he already has them? And you can just ask him like, hey, what are the answers? Because it's like, you know, like teach a man to fish, that kind of and thing. Was... I imagine a god is constantly busy. What, what are... about fish? What? Uh, what? Huh? You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't fish. I drink. But the bottom I, line. You get it. Is there are many souls that need to be ferried into the afterlife. Mm-hmm. Nubis is busy. He does not have time for all constant questions. Well, the next time you ring him up, don't ask questions that are pertinent to us. Ask him about him. How's your day? Oh, is life true. good? Do you need a People massage? People like that. Yeah. I do not want him to turn his back on me. I do not want to push my luck. Well, I think, regardless... You're right, we should... I think we have enough to, to, to move forward. We know what to do now. We, it's we're, a bit of a hike to Skethra. I mean, are we start. ready? Is everybody feeling all right? I mean, I'm with Iris here. The sooner we get going, the better. I feel just way better. This is the first time we've traveled without racing a horrible army of beastmen. I think since we started this journey... Yeah, I mean, we should. It shouldn't, feels kind of nice. I'm honestly, we shouldn't like dilly dally, but no, but we can, you know. I'm looking forward to a little bit of travel together. Can yeah, you know each other a little more? I'm ready to stretch yeah. my legs. I think Herja is in a safe place, so, so we can be comfortable in that space. And so we're like walking. I guess, yes, the whole time. Too. And for what it's worth, they're going to be very aware of us as we approach the border miles and miles out. So we just need to be aware of anything that could happen. Yeah, who's they? The people of Skethra. Oh, oh, just making sure. The Dust Elves. Dusk. 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 That was way off. Our reception is not going to be very well welcomed. Why not? Uh, we've been over this. I don't really like Korvakians in general. She drinks a lot. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but you're the only one who looks like Korvakian. The point is, we don't look like them at all. None of us do. We're outsiders. And I'm just saying, be aware of anything. And they're going to know we're coming. And I know we've relied on my father a lot where we're going. He will have no sway. He will have no pool. Well, we'll just have to make our own pool. Yes. Uh, I mean, we, 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 there's no yes. way of knowing... Consume your rations, Felix. There's no way of knowing... Long journey ahead of us. <laughs> that is literally what rations are. I'm a little hungry, you know? <laughs> it's canon What now. do you want from me? I mean, we're... Tube of meat. We'll do what we've always done. Just walk up and figure it out. Yes. We should... Get Captain Freeway. <clears throat> He'll probably want to go. No, I think we should do this one. We I just leave him? He has an entire city to be, to rebuild. Why? Well, he doesn't live them. But he doesn't live here. He's not from here. He may want to come help. We should at least ask him. We can, right? give, we can give him the option, but I, I'm with Iris on this one. I think that he actually would be a better help to the people of Mogra Kai. I will use my silver raven to send him a message and ask if he would Ooh. like to come on this journey with us. We're heading to Skethrenel. Um We don't need him to, but ask him if he would like to or if he needs to stay. 
but so he at least knows where we're going. How did this work? Great question. It's like Animal Messenger, so it basically turns into a raven, flies off, delivers your message, and then comes back. I think Did we all know have I one. Had that. Yeah, we, we all have, have one. Them. Oh, yeah, I one. totally forgot. Yeah, you uh, It's you been do that, two years. And the <laughs> raven flies off and is back very soon. You get the sense that he's actually really close. Uh, and he lands. Uh, the, the, the raven lands, and you get the sense that it's, it's, that it's close. Captain Freewing! Captain Freewing! As, we're over here! As, uh, Can you see my arms? As you're waving from behind, from around the uh, the tall stone uh, outcroppings that, that, that really <laughs> shelters this glade, you see uh, Rivali uh, turn the corner, and he uh, he looks tired, but uh, content. As uh, there's some, some, some soot on his face from, from where he's been uh, maybe building or cleaning up, and he uh, walks in, and he looks at all of you, and he takes a moment, and he he actually genuinely smiles and says, I cannot believe you guys survived. Hey, buddy, what's up? How's it going? Well, given the fact that neither you nor I have tentacles on our faces, I presume you were successful. Listen, did they just, like, or did they fall off and you had to, like, oh, told you. All right. I owe you a healing potion. And he steps forward and says, is there any more of that tea left? Yes, of course. It's coffee. Yeah. Fine. Were they, like, he sensitive? What like, did that feel like? It's hard to describe. Was it prehensile? Could you move them? Yeah, they were a little sensitive. It was... Uh, I could, you could get a little bit of movement, more of, like, a tingling and a quivering. It wasn't... It, I, yeah. I don't recommend it. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like an earlobe? He pours himself a cup of coffee. I, there. <laughs> He grabs a <laughs> coffee. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry I asked about so that. So once again, you saved the day. Congratulations. We're getting pretty good at this, yeah? Well, it's just right place, right time, you know? So do you want to come with us? We're going east. To the right. Duskhills. Just get through them. Why? Because that's where, what Anubis told us to do. We don't really have a choice. We, we think that this is uh, where our destiny lies. I'm not going to go hang out with a bunch of elves. I have... And he kind of, like, uh, subconsciously kind of gra- like tugs at his ear a little bit. And he says, uh, I don't have... Uh, I know it's a little hypocritical. I'm not, I'm not really looking to hang out with them. My people are... are not them. Well, uh, we wanted to make sure you felt like you could join us. Uh, what are you going to do next? Are you yeah. going to stay here? Can I try to save the world, huh? Is that the is that the intention? Well, if not us, then who? At least we're going to stop That's a what's good going point. on. You guys took care of Baphomet. You helped me get revenge for my entire squad. Horn Legion is smashed. <laughs> the, I guess... They don't need me back at the lodge. I guess I'll stay here for a while. I know that it's not the tendrils talking this time. I actually mean it. Did you, uh... I mean, I know it's only been a day, but do you, you remember that chamber that we fought in? Uh, yeah. I asked you to, uh, to, to cover it up, uh, to, to try and break it up uh, as privately as possible so that no one knew it was there. That's that's important. That seal that was broken down there. It's it's an important seal, and uh, I, I think it would be very prudent if we could find a way to reseal it magically. I, I, that, that could take a ton of research, but if you're rebuilding the city, the time is now. Whatever's down there is rubble. It's it's inert. It's over. There's no way to. There's nothing. There's nothing that's going. It is no better than a root cellar at this point. It's a good idea, Caprice. Uh, don't don't dig it up. I, I'm, I'm my concern is that there's not dirt underneath the the, 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 the foundation. That they're they, they, they lift it up and all of a sudden a hand will come out and grab everyone. What kind of hand would come out of the earth and grab everyone? Well, we've been talking this whole time about like a seal chain thing. I've had in my mind that like underneath each seal there's this, this guy punching. That's oh, really creepy. Yeah. No wonder you haven't been able to sleep. I don't think that's how it works. No? Uh, no, I, th- I think... I was only to infer what I could get out of the the Huntmaster when he was drunk. 
I don't think that's how it works. All right, well, um, but it was fuck good, me, I it guess. It was a good thought. Thank you. Thank you. Seconded. It shows that you're thinking about all of the facets of what we're dealing with. I am trying my very best, and I don't understand I say the, that with no sarcasm. the arcane magics at all. I, I, I play, you know, uh, a jingle, and uh, insane things happen. You guys have to do all the real homework. It's not easy. No. But we appreciate your effort. Okay, that's all. Well, it was lovely to see you again. Free, Professor Free... What, 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 Captain Free... Was a captain. Oh, a, ravioli. <laughs> it was great to see you again. As usual. Well, but we should be on our way. With a long journey. You guys are heading out now. Yes, of course. No time like the present. Yeah. Well, you guys know how to contact me. And we're, you know where we're headed. When things really get bad, you can always come looking for us. Roger that. And you know that it's these people, these orcs. I had spent my whole life hearing how they're horrible monsters. They're the biggest threat to the people, our people. And they were just slaves. These are people who have not been free for decades. And now they're finally learning free will. I kind of want to be here to help them learn how to be free again. Captain, if, if, I've, nice. if I've learned anything traveling with this group of people, it's that not a single thing in my life has turned out to be true. And I am surprised every single day. Well, he stands up and he looks and says, well, I should probably help help these people learn how to be free again. Try to guard the war chief if you can. I'm worried that now that they are being pacified, that maybe there will be fighting or, or, or anger or rage and it will break apart the, in, in, in the infighting and, and everything will tear apart. Well, so especially just, since the word is that Korvaki has been reclaiming land. There there, cool. there might be some, some tension. I'll do my best, but if military keeps doing it, he spits on the ground. If they keep marching forward, then... I can't promise there's going to be peace for much longer. Just don't get yourself killed, all right? Yeah. I made it this far. Do whatever you can to help them keep the freedom they have earned. There's nothing more worth fighting for. And he looks and says, one last toast to the wings of freedom. To the wings of freedom. Wings of freedom. Yeah, wings and cheers. Of freedom. I wish you luck as you save the world. <laughs> he downs the coffee and places it down. And he uh, turns... Oh. And, uh, and and says, uh, ping me if you need me. I don't know how long it'll take me to get there, but I'll come running. And he turns, and he, he disappears uh, around that bend. We should pack up. We should head out. We should try to travel in as much daylight as we possibly can. Agreed. All right, goodbye, Mogulkai. Good boy, Captain Freewing. He was so cool. We'll see him again. <clears throat> yeah, we always do. We'll be back. Uh, we'll find out what happens next time in the chapter of uh, Mogra Kai Z. Caprice, are you, are you all right? <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I feel. Just trying feel something good. new. Oh, all right. It's nice. Just making sure. It's exciting. Make sure you're all right. All right. Oh, Caprice, mm. I had a dream last night. Oh, yes. That we were in a rock band. Oh, yes? Yes, called Capricci and the Pussycat. Oh! oh. That sounds fantastic. Yes. A uh, rock band? Yes. Doing rock music. What's rock music? Well, I don't know what you mean by rock band. No, we had a bunch of rocks with us. Okay. Yes, that's all. Is this related to that uh, I was rocky talky thing that you were telling me about, like, no. years ago? No. I still don't understand what you're talking about when you say that. I was just telling you we were in a band. Why do you have to make it so complicated? Well, you said rock band. Well, yes, that's what it was in my dream. It was us and rocks. And what was I in the dream? In the audience. Lucy turned herself into a pickle. It's the funniest thing I ever seen, I swear to God. As, as you say that, you hear something. 
from behind you. You hear the flapping of wings. <laughs> you hear the flapping of wings uh, I from behind you of a large, of what sounds like a large bird of some kind. That's not okay. <laughs> None of that is okay. You turn and you look, and you, that on the branch of one of these these uh, blooming trees. I've got my crossbow. You see a very large raven yep. staring at you with six red eyes. Raven. And tied to one of its large legs is a scroll. Yep. And it blinks and looks at you. And it opens its beak and a voice comes out. When it blinks, does it all happen at once? All, or does all it like... happens at once. Okay. Oh. Well done. But... You must return to Zentra immediately. No. The eighth seal has already been shattered. Boom! We must discuss our next plan. And with that, we'll end the Oh, no! Oh. Mike what? Says there was so, a fucking curveball. Before we do, Anubis said we were going to Scathrinel. Iris isn't going back to Zentra. No, uh, obviously. Yeah. I mean, Avengers and Jill, baby. That's, That's all I can say. Wait, I don't trust Zer. Avengers and Chill, baby. That's all we can say. No, no, no. So if you want to hear what Nikki has to say about this bullshit, bullshit join bullshit. us in Avengers and Chill, don't which is a subscriber-only stream that we are going to move over done. to. But we, but, but first, I'd like to see all the notifications. We have a lot of people. Yeah, to yeah, we got some things. Oh, we got some uh, things. We got a lot of people to thank. So nobody uh, go anywhere. I got, we got, a, we got a couple things it? to talk about. There it is. Some people to thank. Look at all this. So give me one second. So we're gonna come over here, everybody hang tight. All right, so we got, oh, we got the Question Chaos Raid, which I'm sure we said thank you for. We thank really appreciate it. Uh, we need the Druid ago. cheered 500 okay. bits, so that's a twist of fate. Oh my God. Thank goodness, we're gonna, we're gonna get that. Oh, can we do that now? Wasn't was it? it? This five yeah. hours ago. I mean, I thought. Oh, well, I don't, I don't this think, is where we I left off. No, Rich no, no, Rich did, Rich didn't clear it. Yeah, we, we yeah. were like, uh, yeah, we're, Rich, I can uh, do this we're too. Twilight Red. Red. We're a Twilight uh, Red follower. Okay, okay, well, you know what? Yeah, we, already got, no, we already got the raids. Then you guys can all go Sugma. Oh, so we got Monty. <laughs> thank you very much, Monty3646. Thank, you know you. thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Monty, thank, thank you. Monty. Everybody else in the same we'll go fuck When you're a sub, you can join us. Um, yeah. 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 So we're going to switch over to a subscriber only stream, which is what we do after every single session that we play, where we talk about our favorite moments, and Nikki talks about what bullshit this is, bullshit, and the curveball that's being thrown to us, and how she's going to follow her God, and that's all that we got. So there's a lot to discuss. Hang tight. There's a lot to discuss. Okay, we're cut over, guys. Uh, thank you very much, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. See you on Tuesday. Bye.